to start again. Let's do it. Onwards to platinum. Oh, thank you guys for sticking with the stream, by the way. You guys are awesome. I hope it is at least somewhat entertaining. I know we're just playing aggro for basically a whole day straight. But hey, it's like weird aggro with non echo, you know? Very weird aggro. Okay, we're going to drop Clockling, parts made whole. And I guess we can keep a scrap heap in case. Mm, this tea is so enticing. Oh my god. I have the peach tea. If you have not tried peach tea, it is so good. If you like sugar, it's amazing with sugar. It's so good. Mm. <laughs> that was too hot. <laughs> I tried to act like it was fine. It was not. <laughs> oh. Definitely on stream. Um. Uh, let's just do this. Boom, boom, and then we can discard it with Zion Urchin. Enticing. Very enticing. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Oh, my lord. Enticing? Oh, you... I... Stop. I thought you just typed... Oh. <laughs> uh, we're going to shield here um, to let our Flame Chompers drag a second time. And we're going to drag the Junk Construct so he has to block with Nora if he wants to block at all. There we go. And honestly, he probably should, because otherwise I think he's just dead. Yep. Awesome. We got we got opponent to block with Nora. Mm. I had a one-man spell. I thought it would auto-pass. For anyone who's been watching, like, basically the whole run, how do you think it could be optimized? So far, like, what could we have done differently to save time? Because, like, I'm thinking we could have honestly switched to this deck earlier than we did. What do we want to grab here? I want Return of Wrench, actually. Even though it's not, like, reducing the cost won't matter for it, I think Return of Wrench is very good here because we have so many blowbacks. Um, we'll do this, and we will not do this because we don't want that portal to get found. And Jinx? Yeah, absolutely Jinx. Are you kidding? <laughs> um, let's just discard it. No. That's right. We could play it, but, like, but we want to discard it, obviously. Summon a sapling at next round start. That's frustrating. <laughs> if we could find, if we could get Jinx, that'd be great. But hey, we are we're making do. It's fine. Uh, let's do another clockwork. Get some more elusive damage here. Teemo as well. Even more elusive damage. Maybe even throw just drag the return wrench onto Teemo. Okay, now he has a ping. Probably <laughs> now he has a ping. So. We will drag the return wrench onto Clockling. And basically just doing a looser damage push this turn. And then have enough damage and burn otherwise. Because yeah, this this ephemeral's annoying. And we don't want him getting portals right now. Yeah, we're just we're not we're not we're not messing with it. Okay, so the six damage. If he has a ping, that's unfortunate. But at least if he has a ping, we're getting five damage through. Mm-hmm. What's coming? Is that the needle? Um, that's worth a mystic shot, right? Yeah, I'd say so. So it saves one more damage and keeps our clockering alive, or gives us one more. Hit spike or on it. Well, he doesn't have any mana. Oh, cool. if you're oh, if you're saying that hate uh, what's it called? Thread the needle's equivalent, then yeah, <laughs> thread the needle is equivalent. Yes. Um. Let's see. 
Um, do we? I guess we like block one of these. Yeah, let's block one of these. Then we can, I guess, just electro, like electro harpoon something. And then we can make it so level, close to the levels now. The chance he hits his portal is low. Right? Hit spike? That would be okay. I'd be fine with that. Honestly, if, he'll, if he gives us the return wrench back, that's great. Okay, he's not willing to give us the return wrench back. Um, well, we can do this. Deal four. And have our guys still. That's better. We punish hate spike. And second hate spike? Probably? Oh no. Well, we still deal four. And that means he needs to kill this one, the clockling. And hit zero puff caps for the rest of the game. I, I like how the darkness player is not playing darkness. The darkness, the player darkness is not playing darkness. Black Spear, okay. <clears throat> like, I think we're still fine. Oh, this stays as one man. That's interesting. I always forget that, actually. I know, I guess that is how it worked. I just always forget the fact that if you reduce the cost of like an equipment or something, it keeps the cost reduction even when it comes back to hand. Makes sense, honestly. Uh, okay, so... Um, if he has, like, hate spike, we should just do this. Okay, he just turned it. Cool. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, I can't do it. Good game. That, that sat on the surrendered page for a little longer than I expected it to. It was like, I don't know why. All right, going up the platinum ranks. Are we still getting stuff? Could we find a jinx? Is it possible? We're so close. I think we're, we could. It's possible. Undefeated in Platinum. Let's stay that way, please. <laughs> okay, now that he's perfect. Stardew Valley mug. It's not coffee. Who knows? Maybe if we're not doing so hot in like two hours, if we're not out of diamond, we'll bring out the caffeine again for the long haul. But uh, not right now. Right now, it's looking good. I would say, I'd say if we're actually, yeah, if we're not out of diamond fully in three hours, we will bring out the caffeine again. Or if we're not close in two. Because, yeah, we're going to, we're going to shoot. I think we can do it. I really do. Okay. Oh, yeah. Big sip. Um, does he have a turn one blocker? Bard karma? I don't know. Play Teemo. Doesn't? But, hey, puff caps are good. We also have puff cap pop in hand, so this is potentially a turbo puff cap game. Especially on five. Could be nice. Um, anyway, we can stop that. I think we're just going to take that. I'm fine with that. Bird, the bell ringer. Bird, bird. Third most watched LOR stream right now. Can we get first? Because this has never been done before. But yes, third is awesome. I think we can, I think we get first by the end of the night if we're diamond, actually. If we're like all under 11 hours about Basically, almost masters. I think we could hit top streamer. Emo's first thirty. Come on, guys, share it with your friends. Let's do it. We're making history. What else are you gonna do before the uh, variety patch comes out? Like, besides speedrun Legends of Runeterra. The most random thing to speedrun, but hey, it's actually working, which is really cool. 
Um, I'm going to give, I think, oh, wait, could we? No, we can't. Okay, I was thinking maybe we could, like, give level Teemo, but no, we cannot. We would need a second Teemo to do that. Um, Wow, if he actually doesn't have anything, then we should boom boom, right? Okay, he has nothing. Perfect. That doesn't make sense. Oh, Hell Cascade or Equivalent? Tag out, sure. That's a crazy tag out. <laughs> That's crazy. Wild. Okay, uh, Teemo's at, what, 10? Okay, so we can level Teemo. And double his puff caps. The puff caps are providing, like, just enough damage to be worth keeping in the deck. Like, it is occasional chip, which is nice. He did just recall a bird. His hand is that bad. <laughs> um, okay, we're, we have a weird hand. I think we're actually going to play... Hello! Oh! Pizza's here. Pizza's He's the best! Is that good? Yeah! Thank you! Cool. No problem. We got pizza. Eight hours in. We're eight hours in. We're in platinum, though. Yeah? It's good. We're going. We're, we're going. Dinner has right. Oh, wait. Uh, we'll take this fast. I hope not either. <laughs> but I, I'll, yeah. <laughs> um, portal. Okay, that's fine, right? So we'll we'll level Timo. Add a spear on him. Probably. Like we can kind of just go all in on him not having a way to deal with Timo at this point. Let's double. Come on. Please. <gasps> no, don't. Don't have it. Oh. Two and a stun. Rip. Still, we're doing pretty well. Our hand's a little weird. I think we're just going to open blowback here like this. Just to use up our mana effectively. Yeah. He's still got like 14 puff caps and he has 31 cards, so he's dra drawing an average of 0.5 per turn, roughly. Okay, get a puff cap. We might just get good puff cap luck this game. That'd be nice. Um. I will, I will throw this puff cap up in front of him if he swings right now because then we can discard a uh, squeaker which would be great honestly he probably he probably shouldn't otherwise we'll just discard electro harpoon i think um okay we're gonna pass if he doesn't swing okay just fine we will try to deal five in this case oh he hits puff cap um, that means he probably did not have any units, but he did just use draw. Do we want to go wider? I don't think we want to go wider. Well, actually, he's in Ionia. He could have stuns. Let's do another. We have Electro Harpoon if he plays a blocker, basically. Not that blocker. Okay, well, that's annoying. And that's huge as well. Um, that makes things a little bit more difficult. So let's try this. We're going to use Nars Pokey Stick. Oh, um, I think we just win, right? We can discard the Pokey Stick. No, actually, discard Squeaker. Like this. First. Is that a deny? Okay. Do this now. See what we can find. Okay, so he's going to be at one. Effective. Blowback. Cool. Um, do this. Right? Yeah. If he has a way to recall Smooth Mixologist, we'll need to be able to commit blowback. Like, right away. Uh, 
okay, the, the, the lack of audio on the chimes is just really unsettling. I'm used to the... Oh, never mind. He had a puff cap. Good game. Cool. So yeah, it's good to uh, pre-commit the mystic shot. Um, because if he had a way to recall and like then also would deny and ha could have played her, it would have been bad because he would have healed again. We have pizza. This is so hype. Pepperoni. Good pizza. Streaming pizza. Okay. Woo! Just Lucian. So this is Siren Song? But pizza. I know, right? We love pizza. That we do Return on Ranch. This is a great hand. I like this hand. I could not complain. Find our echo. We're attacking on evens, so if we hold up two mana, we can predict on our round four attack. Puff cap, pup, and puff cap, pup. Zoop. So, round three, we'll probably just play Yordle Squire. And then we'll play echo on four. It'll be nice. Okay, this is fine. We'll still swing. Deals more dealing damage. Has someone has just informed me? Is there another person doing the exact same thing that I'm doing right now? Is there someone else doing a speedrun to Masters? Can someone scout out the uh, LR Twitch stuff? Was it someone who was doing the stream? Okay. Um. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll still just play Yordle Square. Or do we want to go wide and then just skip the Echo Time Trick? No, I think we want the Echo Time Trick. Time Trick is good. Basically just finding what we need. Oh, he's not going to attack? Sure. That makes sense, I guess, but still. Echo's here. So I guess we're looking for just like mystic shots and stuff, um, right? Pretty much on our echo. Maybe like uh, we could find if we could get another. I don't know. We have like no discard tech, like nothing to discard and nothing to use to discard. So we want something that can do either of that. Dealing one, but his board's gone, and we have quick attacker, so it's great. A form up could like get him to save Pool Shark, or a single combat could make, could kill Echo if we didn't have Mystic Shot. Barrier. We will still Mystic Shot, right? Because we would rather save Echo. Keep him on board, getting his value. We're going to lose the time trick, but that's fine. I'd rather have board advantage. At this point, he would have to have single combat. And it would, he would still lose his Lucian. Cool. Okay. We're doing good. I think the music has stopped and we're going to restart it. There we go. Music's back. You guys can just like yell at me if the music ever stops. <laughs> I'll start it again. I can't hear it too loud. I have my game pretty quiet so it doesn't get picked up by the mic. Because I have, I normally use wireless earbuds when I'm recording, but like they would totally run out of battery if I left them on for like 
the whole day. So we're just on speaker with the mic far enough away from the computer. Um, with that, did we? He didn't take puff cap damage. Okay, no. So I think we're just gonna put puff cap up. A whole board of quick attackers. This is really nice. Like I could honestly see. Puffcat Pup is a nice addition to this type of deck. Like, it's the same reason Kennen's good. It's a quick attacker with a two attack. And this is two health, so it's an even better stat line. And it does damage to Nexus effectively over time, which is very solid. Um, yeah, we'll take that. If he doesn't want to develop, that's fine. Uh, we can also burst, block, burst speed summon and burst speed attack. Like, right here? Yeah. I guess, no, should have done the other one. Shouldn't matter, though? He's doing so much damage. And he's getting a lot more puff caps planted. And we have a Teemo. So next attack round, we can double puff caps if he isn't already dead by then. Because we have blowback. We can search for more burn. Basically, if we can search, if we find a Mystic or if we find an Electro Harpoon, we win the game. I think, right? In theory. The Swindler's Den! Oh my. Um, I think, I think we're fine. Uh, let's... I don't know if we even want any of these. Let's see if we can find burn. Like, that's all we want. Yeah, okay, there's burn. Perfect. We have eight. We can burn them next round. And they have no denies because they are... playing Bilgewater Demacia. We're gonna, there we go. Lots of burn. Uh, he can't play anything. Let's just do that. Good game. Cool. I think we're still undefeated in plan, right? Are we doing better? And I think we just unlocked a wild capsule. <laughs> Are we gonna find a wild card that can let's get Jinx? Oh, we already, oh, we already had it. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize. All right, let's see. Come on. Please, champion wildcard, please. Wow. Oh. That's so disappointing. <laughs> We're not getting these. Maybe, maybe the epic capsule, like, in, like, four hours. But probably not. This is what we're sticking with. We are optimized right now. It is going very well. We're undefeated in platinum. We went through gold pretty fast, honestly. Faster than I thought I would. Eh, honestly, more like anticipated. That's probably average. Yumi Teemo. This is just elusives. We should be fine in this. Right? So how do we want to deal with his team? Unless we just forge Chief now. If he has Teemo, he'll play him now. Nope. Doesn't have him. Okay. Um he could have top decked him, but only we're just gonna play this one now. As long as he doesn't have a um daring poro. We can scrap heap and then return our wrench. Esmus. Interesting. He's going to block, I guess. Um, uh, Salty Spinner. Or Dune Hopper Mac. Salty Spinner would be nice. But also... I th Ugh, it's hard, right? Okay, let's just do Dune Hopper Mac. I think he's better here. I shouldn't spend too long thinking about those things. We are trying to go fast here. Okay. Should do Flame Chomper, uh, Boom Ba Boom, then Electro Harpoon, whatever is here, or wherever he plays this turn. Assuming he doesn't immediately swing. Acorn? That is so, 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 so tempting to just do now. And I think we might have to. Well, 
No, well, we obviously just told him we have it, so we're gonna do it now. Because we need to. If he has Pale Cascade, we're punished. Or if he has uh, the one, the three mana, grant two allies, one in play, one in hand, plus one, plus one. Or Mikael's Blessing. I wasn't expecting Mikael's Blessing. Let me still do this, though. Then we can uh, drag. Right? Yeah, we can drag. This is a good top deck. <laughs> Otherwise, we're just going to have to play Flame Jumpers. <laughs> it would not have been good. Uh, so he only has four mana. We can probably develop a little more. If he has a blocker, he probably only has one. Based on how he's played this game so far, he didn't play anything round one or round two. Or no, he didn't play anything round one, so he doesn't have any one drops. It would have to be two, two drop blockers or... Oh my goodness. Nothing? Nothing. Awesome. Okay, we're doing 10, and unless he has Mystics, she pro I think he runs Mystic. He's in PNZ. Would make sense. There we go. There's the Mystic. Still dealing 7. And we have a Dune Hopper mech in it. It's like, we are overflowing the board. With this Dune Hopper mech on attack. So we can afford to block. I don't think we'll need to, but we can if we have to. Uh, okay, so that's going to be 7 damage probably. Plus 4. 8. 12 damage. Okay. A little little iffy right now. Oh wait, he only is playing one card. Okay. And then we can, I guess we can do uh, Return All Wrench. Just play it onto something for a little more damage. Okay. We take damage. So let's put Return All Wrench on... I don't know this. Doesn't really matter what. Just something that isn't valuable. So it's not going to get also destroyed by a spell. Uh, we are just going to do this, and then keep one of these back. Yeah. So pushing 18. Can he stop it? He has to block with his elusives. And you would have to have a heal, or a stun, or a mystic shot. Like a stun here, or like an, or a damage removal. <clears throat> but then it's just a matter of us finding some burn. Hopefully. He could win next attack if he has ways to heal or stop these attackers. A mist it would have to be like a mystic shot here and a heal or a double mystic shot. So it would have to be his third. One mystic shot, probably. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Um, Hush wouldn't do it. This, like, remove the impact. Well, actually, Hush plus a Mystic Shot, yes, would do it. Hush here and Mystic Shot. No, it'd be Mystic Shot here. Hush here, right? Or that? The Mystic, okay. So we, he lives at one. So now we need to find anything. It's totally possible because he buffed something else that's in his hand right now. Which is probably also an elusive. That is Teemo. Okay, do we have puff caps in the deck? We do not. So we are actually completely down to finding an elusive blocker here. Okay, did not find an elusive blocker. Unfortunately. Um, like, I guess we could play Von Mech, and then just, if he decides not to open, like, I, all right, Divine Clerk, <laughs> nice, never punished, hopefully, no heal, nope, Please? Yes. Good game. <laughs> Top deck Mystic Shot. Top deck Gods. 
never punished. <laughs> so I, I maybe we should have developed the um return wrench there, but he might have had a unit in hand. Well, he probably would have played his Teemo and then blocked them. So actually, that was fine. The only way we could have won there was a top deck of some sort of damage spell. So glad we found that. I've not heard back. Is there someone else streaming this exact run? Like doing the exact same thing? Is this the same Gwen Kale that we played a, while, a little while ago? I dropped the second team. I don't think we need him. This is better. Okay. Uh, he definitely has something to play round one. So we're just going to team Yeah, Poisters Host is going exactly like the other game we played. Okay. Just like last time so far. Except he had a puff cabinet. Alright, so we'll just take that, right? Yeah. Well, uh, boom boom. And then we can do Forge Chief and then drag, I guess, the Flim Chompers with Scrap Peep. Maybe we can even find the two drop. If and then we won't do four chief. We'll just do this into the two drop and start dragging the stuff to death. Let's see. Come on, two drop. No two drop. Uh okay, based on this hand. Honestly, I think we're fine with Smash and Dash here. We don't need the value that, that much. Now we can go wide. Could have also chosen Sacred Shears. Could have chosen to do Spear um, and then drag with Chompers and get Chompers a kill, but that's less damage overall. This is fine, I think. So now if he blocks, he has to block with his Prodigy, which he does not want to do. Or I guess he can have a Pale Cascade. Pell Cascade. Okay, that's fine. We got a Pell Cascade out of him. It's going up to 10 Puff Caps, or 10 Planted Puff Caps. It's looking like we might be able to actually do Teemo this game. At this rate. He might have a Hate Spike, obviously. Very likely. Okay, um, so probably Smash and Dash and then Zonite Urchin, but Zonite Urchin first. What's this Hollowed? Wait, does he have no Hollowed buff? Oh. We can just smash and dash now, then he can't he can't attack with Gwen. That's great. I think that that's pretty GG's, I think. Okay. We'll block like that. Yeah. Block like that. Him not being on attack with Gwen is huge there. Like he's not healing there. That's big. We get more impact. We have a blowback in hand now. Whoa. Okay. So now we're going to start open with, I think, Tidy Spear. Um. Oh, but like if we don't win this turn, it would be very nice to have a blowback to guarantee it without the Tiny Spear. So let's just do this. Basically, I want to be able to discard the Tiny Spear and still have a card in hand. If we don't survive this. Or if he survives this. <clears throat> it's just, this is the safer play. I would say. So now we can like clockling and look for something. Look for more burn. Feel better about it. Teemo levels. Assuming. Okay, Pell Cascade. Like, yeah, I think we're just going to blow back now then. I don't think we need Gnar. Like, Gnar is... If we attack with Gnar, maybe? But, no, not right now. Let's see what he does, if anything. 
Maybe he'll put Sacred Shears on her? Okay. So we kill her. Okay, and then we have a draw that we can use to try to find more burn. Okay. Cool. And he hits the Puff Cap. <laughs> Good game. The Puff Caps are saving us. Like, there's a many a match that we have won completely because of the Puff Caps that we're planning with Teemo and with the Puff Cap Pups. I'm very happy about that. Addition to the Jank deck. All right, so we're like we're approaching middle of platinum, <laughs> like, and we're like 35 minutes in platinum. We are still, I think, are we no losses in platinum? I can't remember honestly. Shenjarvan. This is gonna be tough. I'm anticipating. Because we have really no way to deal with Barrier. I'm going to do Teemo, in case he doesn't want to drop. Because he doesn't have any pings in this deck. Cool, good thing we did him. He might not have blocked Forge... Well, he actually probably would have blocked Forge Chief. This is, that's worthwhile for him. He's attacking on evens, which is kind of unfortunate, given the fact that he's Jarvan. Um, okay. Sucks. So we'll block here. We might try. Maybe we can attack with Teemo around five, get him up to 30 puff caps. Possible. Ooh, pup. Hello, pup. That's a really good top deck because we didn't really have anything we we're playing this round. Single combat would be a mystic shot and a half. I think that's single combat. Yes, awesome. Punishment for you, sir. Feels great. Oh, I'm gonna stretch after this match. During the, uh, during the queue. Okay, so now we clockling, right? Clockling. Yep. Um,. So, another blowback is probably not going to do us anything. I think we're going to do Forge Chief so that we can just play a card for zero mana. That will be then generating us mana. Okay, so we just don't block here. <clears throat> Alright, um... Let's just... Yeah. I don't think we're going to plant the, uh, drop this Mushroom Cloud. Mmm, that would be nice. Well, actually, he probably has barrier. Nar will just die. Now is a very good thing for him to block with a barrier. So let's just do. Yeah, doesn't really matter. We just need puff cap up in front so that Timo is doubling. Okay. Um, I say let's just keep this the way it is, because like although we could get an extra like ten puff caps in deck, if he has a way to remove Timo later, we have a second one that can keep doubling. So pretty relevant. Okay, at this point we're going to Gnar. So, Shen is going to become... Oh, Cataclysm. We just walked into a Cataclysm. Oh, he doesn't have it. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh no. That's such a good Cataclysm if he has it. Well, to be fair, I don't actually know how he would have countered Cataclysm. Okay, he took three. He's almost dead, basically. Jarvan's grabbing Gnar. We'll break. I don't think we need the team at this point. Do this. Right? We'll break Jarvan Shield to the Nar. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We'll take five. Five's fine. Warm up. Okay. Like, that's fine. It's not, like, super necessary. We don't need to kill Jarvan. Okay, Pine Stone. Awesome. Good game. We have the elusive damage that he cannot deal with. 
we're making it. Okay, so we're all we're all two matches from Platinum Two. All right, stretch, cause I need to. Oh my god, my. Oh, oh there's so many cracks. <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay, Nico Nidalee. I think this is not the one. There's one good Nidalee deck right now, and this is not it, so I'm happy to see that. The, the one good Nidalee deck is not Nidalee, I think. Shroom or Bandle. Uh, Tiny Spear. Don't see why not. Swing. Free damage. We like to see it. Right. Uh, we're gonna Squeaker into Return Revenge, turn two. And then Puff Cap Pup, turn three. Dun -dun -dun -dun. We could also, potentially. I was thinking maybe we could like double spear Puff Cap Pup becoming a 4 2 quick attacker. But that seems a little greedy. This seems better. Getting Using Return Wrench and getting a, um, getting a Mecha Yordle. What is up? Are you playing? You may put Bird, Cat, Dog, Elnuk, Fey, Reptile, and Spider followers into your deck. So it could be Solace on Hook. Nico could be Slayer Um, Okay, we'll just do. Yeah, let's do this. Probably actually Smash and Dash. Then we can play it next turn. That's just insane. It's like, oh, how does he stop a 4 4 on turn 3? That's Impact 2. It's effectively a Decimate. Like, you're gonna probably be striking de with the uh, Impact twice, two times. So it's 4 damage. And trades away two units. They, if they want to nerf this deck, this is somewhere they could start. They could sh uh, switch Smash and Dash to like a 4 3. And I think that would be fair. There's just so few things that have four attack on turn three. It's like in this scenario where I have the attack token on three, this is very, very good for me. Obviously, you could have a stun, but he already used one of his stuns. Okay, cool. Um, so he'll block this way. So he'll block the 2 1 with the 1 3, which is unfortunate, but we need to push the damage. Like, that's still a lot. Yeah, he could do that instead, but it's still a lot of damage. Six. Still six damage, even though he only has one attacker coming through. That's Ron. He should do this instead because now I can discard this again always block the other way never let the return wrench come back to hand okay we're gonna discard return wrench probably then yordle square then puff cat pup just in case of something good we find off of zonet urchin that we'd rather play Could be vulnerable, could be a deny. We don't care about a deny at the moment. Like he'll probably end up having to block it and just lose it, lose the deny. If it's vulnerable, that sucks because he can actually get rid of our now impact three, dude. So, yeah. I suppose we could drop, um... Okay, if this is, well, we're going to do this in case this is the deny unit. We're gonna do this as well to plant one puff caps. Nidalee? Okay. It's a Nidalee. Punished for Nidalee. But that's okay. 
<clears throat> so we're going to put Spear onto Puffcat Pup so he can swing through. And then I think we're just going to hold up four mana in case of like a quicksand or something. We can we can uh, blow back the Returnal Wrench and this Tiny Spear. Could also just let us win during the attack. And kill Nidalee. We're going to do that. Because then it gets us the impact on something. Just taking 11 now. He has to deny this if he has one. She doesn't. So now I think we're good because we have another blowback. Oh. Okay. So he's at six puff caps. Okay, right, surrender. Awesome. Are we still no losses in platinum? I actually have I literally don't know. I cannot remember. Okay. Well, either way. The jank is working. Kaleon of Mono Targon. Okay, we got so we got stuns. It's probably like a Daybreak style deck. We'll keep this, and we uh, do we want Parth Made Whole? I don't think so. Well, we'll draw into that later. Check Discord. He was the mod. Uh, yeah. There we go. He was checking. We lost. I don't think we have. Let's, okay, um, I think we'll just do this. This is the most damage. I think we're gonna do Mecha Forcer because then we can play um, Yordle Squire and Mecha Forcer on three, not on four, and just have a crazy, crazy turn. This is, we're not gonna attack into this. We're just gonna do this. Uh, like we can trade this later, basically. We can also give Squeaker plus, oh, plus one, maybe? Actually, no, we can't, because we're not going to have enough mana to spend uh, the spear. But I think having shield just for that reason might be good. Just later. Alright, um, we'll do this. It's an even trade. Um, and then we'll do Mecha Forcer and then Gnar, right? Depending on whether or not this Sun Guardian gets Daybreak, we might be giving the plus two damage to Gnar. Or the plus two, plus two in Spell Shield. This is a crazy, crazy curve. We just curved out so hard. There's what, Team on one, Mecha, Squeaker on two, Geo Mecha Forcer, and the Spear unit on three, then Gnar on four. Like, we are so, so developed this early in the game. All right, so yeah, we are gonna give Gnar plus two, plus two, because we want him to live. Yep, okay. Mecha Forcer dies? That's okay, though. Cool. Because Mecha Forcer... Uh, and our other guy does as well, so we get to use his Return Wrench again. If we can find... Oh, we have a Scrap Heap, so we can discard with that. Let's see. Double Scrap Heap, cool. Stunned the strongest enemy, he's stunned. Okay, um, that's fine though. I'm gonna return our ranch. Actually, no. Well, yeah, we can do it now, why not? No reason. Um, let's do Dune Hopper actually, and just play Dune Hopper next turn. Yeah. Cool. We could hold up Wallop, but I think it's actually better to hold up Wallop so that we can do Overwhelm with Gnar. Um, let's do Forge Chief. If he wants to drag Forge Chief, I'm happy with that. He's definitely going to drag Team Elf. Cool. Um, 
we're just gonna take five people. And that's okay. So, um, honestly, I think we're just gonna pass you. This is fine. We want to have the no the wall up up. So, Dune Hopper Mech inbound. And now Nar's not getting stunned either, which is nice. We're gonna drag Sun Guardian. Okay. Now we're gonna drag. Um, oh, does the only get like barrier or something? Or does it work? Stun the strongest enemy. And give me barrier this round. Yep. So daybreak. Oh, that sucks. It's hitting our Doombreaker. Um. So we're gonna do this because I don't think he wants to lose Leona. Now we're going to put the Poke Stick. And in the inevitable... No, actually we have to wall up, right? Because if he has... um, Well, if he has Spell Shield, I don't think we can get around it either way. So, it has to be this. Alright, cool. Five damage. Maybe we should have had... um, Spear. It's hard. Hard choice. Um, I guess it's just discard fire now. We might need to develop our board a bit because we are probably going to need to block at this point in the game. Two? Um. Pokey Stick could. Uh, okay, we probably. We definitely should have done this Pokey Stick last round so that we could have maybe found, like, Burn. But we're here now. It's fine. Uh, we're going to do Boom a Boon. And then get the flame trompers out. This is gonna have lifesteal, which sucks. We could actually pokey stick our own unit. Probably worth it, as long as he doesn't. Yeah. We are literally gonna pokey stick our own unit. Okay. And then ideally, we use Echo to find burn. That's the goal. So we do what? Uh, Flame Trompers discard. We need a unit that's below two mana. Okay. Um, or below four mana. Four below. So we can do um, we can do Von Mech here. I potentially find something that could be useful to us next time. Okay. Now we Pokey Stick. As long as he doesn't drag like this. Okay. He drags the Dune Hopper Mech. I don't think he has thought of the fact that we can do that. I'm going to assume he hasn't. Wrong. Yep. Okay. So let's do this. Um, then this and this. And pokey stick like this. Do we want to keep this alive? Does it matter? No, I think 9 damage is way too much. So we're just going to do this. See if this is from the lifesteal. And it's just this round anyway. So awesome. Found a blowback with it too. All right. But that in mind, we definitely should have committed this Poke Stick last round and just because we would have found the blowback. Because we couldn't have assumed that he had Solari Sunforger. That would be ridiculous to assume. Um, okay, so now we just want to hold up. What? Let's just, play, let's just play Knuckle. And then we can try to win with just the Poke Stick. And then use blowback if we need to. Okay, now we're just going to use the blowback. Um. Kill the lifesteal. And drop. We don't want this changeling. And we don't want that. I think that should be game. Right? Because we have impact and a pokey stick. Even if he has a heal. Okay, cool. Good game. Okay. There we go. In Platinum 2, we are halfway through, and I think at this rate, we are less than an hour into Platinum. If we keep this pace, we are going to get to Diamond faster than we got to Platinum from Gold, which is crazy. That's insane. If we can manage that, that's nuts. Okay. Renekton, Renekton, and Sejuani. 
Um, I think we should only do this. One, one squeaker. Teemo, perfect. Dun dun dun. Renekton, Renekton says. <laughs> he has many Renektons. What can I say? He might have. I don't know if he has one drop, so we're just gonna do Teemo. I think it's actually usually Teemo turn 1. That's something we weren't doing earlier in the run, was we weren't playing Teemo on turn 1. We were playing like Forge Chief or... Well, no, actually, we were doing Zonite Urchin instead, which I think is correct, because then it's potentially 3 damage versus 1 damage on turn 1, which is a lot. A big difference. The Puff Caps are not worth that much. Like, the chance of them hitting 2 out of those 5 Puff Caps is not likely. Well, always felt awkward because there are too many non-meta decks of random cards when in all play meta you have matchup tables. Yes, that is I think why we're doing better honestly. Because yeah, we saw some weird, weird stuff when we were in gold. That's just how that's just how ranked goes in LR. Okay. Um, cool. We're going to discard the return our wrench. And then I guess we'll play, s what? Smash and Dash, probably? How does he stop that? Like he could play Treasure of the Sands, right, onto his Tusk Speaker, but that feels fine for us, right? Like, then he blocks, he still takes like seven, six, and he gets Puff Caps in deck, and that's his whole turn. And the next turn, we can just block with um, Squeaker if he does that. Okay. That's, I think, his plan, because otherwise he would have attacked. If that's his plan, is it better to go wide? I don't... Uh, maybe, actually. I think it is. It is better to go wide, if that's his plan. We'd rather deal with this first and have, like, a good opportunity to... Yeah. Just push more damage this way. I think this is a great chance to do that. So we're going to go like this, and then just swing. Push 10. He, has, he can block the 3-2, and then he's taking 7. Like, sure, we're taking, like, 7. Yeah, we're taking 7 next round as well. But we have way, way better board advantage than he does, so. And he hit a puff cap. Okay, um, probably Clockling for more elusive. We'll just take this. Like, that's fine. It'll take him three attack turns to kill us. That's more than enough for us. Uh, we'll take a Mystic. That's closer to death for him. Sure. Okay, so now we're going to develop a Squeaker into a Smash and Dash. Oh, Echo. Mm, Echo could be better. No, actually. Could it? No, I don't think so. Okay, uh, let's get a Shadow Tech Walker. Because I think he has no way to deal with elusives. Echo will be our defender next round if we need it. So on the defensive, we'll get a time check. Grand enemy vulnerable. Um, okay. Timo is. Okay. Are we good? Do we just win? Like, he's dealing damage to his own Nexus. We have two damage from Mystic Shot. He loses a lot of his board. Then we just put this Mystic Shot, and it's exacties. Nice. Good game. <clears throat> Zoop. More mushrooms. Oh, we have to wait to the team animation. Thank you. That was clean. Thirty-five LP Platinum Two. 
I think we're gaining um, 25. I think we're gaining 25. And then, because in diamond, you gain 22. And lose 20. I think in this we're gaining 25 and losing 20. If we lose. Hopefully we don't. <laughs> That'd be nice. Pike Rex Eye. It's some Lurk. We should be. We've. I don't think we've had many. I think we've lost one of our Lurk, ma lurk matches today, but we haven't had many problems in the Lurk. With this hand, we might have problems in the Lurk. We'll see. We need some blockers, basically. Mm, Turbo Puff Cap, maybe, maybe. Okay. Free attack. Do, 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 do. I don't think I've ever played Runeterra for this long in one day. This is crazy. Um, do we do this maybe? Because then, if he if he wants to trade Timo, he has to lose his unit. Could also like held up Mystic Shot to plant a little more puff caps, but I don't think that's worth it. I think we'd rather him just do this. Cause we can't block this anyway. Okay, our hand is barren. Honestly. But we're dealing with his board effectively enough. Okay, free attack. He doesn't it doesn't look like he has the Lurk attacking card on an opponent's turn. Uh, Snapdraw Swarm. Okay. Um, I think we'll clock him here. Like we could do Zion Urchin. Well, actually, it depends on completely on what he uh, plays here. Okay. Uh, that, we're just going to block that. With our Puff Cap Pup. It feels weird to play that now. He must have literally no other Lurkers. With that in mind, we should probably go wide. Because we'll do a 4 then instead of 2 if we did Clockling Line. Maybe even more if we find a good draw off Zion Urchin. Parts made whole. Maybe we'll top deck a um, Return on Wrench. It's possible. Okay, yeah, that's that. And then we deal 4, right? Oh my gosh, we top deck Return on Wrench. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's so tempting to go even wider here. How would he punish it? How would he punish it? He doesn't. He doesn't. Well, I suppose get a top deck to decent card. This is fine. Like we shouldn't get too greedy. This is eight damage. We have five. We have two in burn. We can find more with Clockling. Okay. Didn't even lurk. I'm gonna call out GGs. Throw in our bets right now. I'm personally glad that I'm here. You sound like a chill person who is not instantly raging on their opponent for having the wrong cards or good draws. Yeah, I think the best way to play Runeterra is to never get mad for things like that because you have to remind yourself in a card game, like a 60% win rate is like really good. Right? That other 40%'s losses. And there's just nothing you can do. And it's okay. Right? Like sometimes your opponent's just gonna get crazy good odds. And there's just nothing you can do about it. And it's okay. Right? And you still try to have fun. So we got another mystic shot. I think we're I think this is sealed, right? He's not even lurking. We're not discarding. We're just gonna go really wide. I think we actually, uh, we played that Return Wrench last round. I was debating doing it or not. Uh-oh, Rek'Sai levels. I think we're still fine. Right? Like, I, I do not see us losing this. To be fair, we wouldn't have even used the discarded Mecha Yordle. We would have just swung anyway, like open. Yeah, that's weird. We're not hearing anything. From Rek'Sai? Uh, music stopped. 
Okay. As long as he doesn't have, like, two more one drops. Okay, don't. Don't do it. There you go. Um, let's just do this. We can try to pull more burn if we need it. He probably doesn't expect double mystic shot. Okay, cool. Now he has to have double deny or rally plus deny, which we have we which actually doesn't even work because we can just mystic shot around it. Okay, uh, let's do this. We are good. Even with a deny, we're good. Cool. Well, we might get through the entirety of platinum without losing a game. It should be so cool. <clears throat> Platinum 2. I believe we have not lost much. What? Fizz Samira. Any misfortune. You see it. And then you're scared. We're going to keep one of these mystic shots for Samira. Because he should only have one or two. Probably two. Did Mo just raid us? Oh my god. What's up, everyone? Mo raid. Um, I think we're gonna Teemo here. In case he has a turn one blocker. Like if he has fizz, it's fine. We are currently undefeated in platinum. Nine hours, seventeen minutes. We're good. Definitely my most viewers. It's pretty good. Thank you for joining. Yeah, we got we have the jank going on right now. Iron to Masters. It's possible. We're proving it. All right, um, I think this is really nice because we can just play. I think it's probably going to be Forge Chief. Wow. Triple Forge Chief. Feels good. Does not have Samira. Even better. Well, he can't play her if he did. Well, he can't play with Flare at least. All right, uh, we're just going to go Forge Chief, which is super, super, super wide. Father Fury? Sure. We're wide. Um, how do we get around? I think we just let him trade, right? If he wants to trade Father Fury. It's not worth a mystic shot on Father Fury. I'd say. Like, if we find a second spear, then we can make Timo 1-3. Press mid hole. Um, no, we're just going to keep going wide. And I think you will squire with a spear. On... Eh. Yordle Squire with a spear on Yordle Squire because he wants to block these Forge Chiefs so that they stop getting mana cheat. Every single one of our Forge Chiefs is in hand. Although this is a cool hand, we are absolutely out of resources in a little bit. Like, we have parts made whole, so I guess we could find a... Um, Oh, okay. I guess. Yeah, we'll do this anyway. He probably... He should block all these. If he wants to block the Earl Squire, then we get to make more mana later. Mmm. It's pretty good. 17-3 is a good record. Okay, so we're taking, we're dealing four or five, depending on how he chooses to block. Oh, wow. I would think he would use that Father Fury, but he didn't. Um, hmm. Difficult. Let's end around. Uh, okay. One puff cap. Whew, 
So what? Timo has planted five. Pupcat Pup can start planting more because he has no way to. He has no idea with it unless like Mystic Shot or something. I think we're gonna actually plant this Mystic Shot just on his Nexus. What's and he's only at two, so I'm not even worried about her. All right, he has a Mystic Shot and he has a Parts Made Hole or a Parts Made Hole. I'm guessing he's going to take Mystic Shot to chip down our board a little bit. That would be the best play, I think. May Depending on how he spends his mana this turn, it might be worth Mystic Shotting Father Fury instead. Or like one of his units so that we could get more damage through effectively. Something it Basically, it's something that can't block a Forge Sheaf that's getting us more mana. Fortunate. Um, so yeah, we'll just do this. Right? I guess we should have done that earlier if we were anticipating to do this. Um, but I think it's fine. I think if we're not winning in like the next two attacks, we're probably not winning because it's Annie. They have a little better burn. Maybe they have better burn than us. They don't have like the full Fizzmere package, clearly. So, like, Annie's probably not going to level. Okay. This is interesting. I could for sure get a riot card back for this. That would be awesome. I will tweet them after this. If I can do it. If I can do it. It might, might be possible. I don't think anyone's done this before. Or tried this. So. Okay. So it's definitely just drop this Mystic now, and then parts made whole whatever we draw next turn, trying to find more burn. And round. Cool. You guys haven't already? Follow me on Twitch, and also my YouTube's in the Twitch description. So... I'm probably going to make a video on this once the run's over. I think we're going to make it. Like, I said I'd make a video if we make it, and it looks like we're going to, which is really nice. Um, Nar? I th Can he deal enough damage? Why does this... Bear plays a skill? That's not a skill. I'm going to play Nar. I think we're fine. Hearts made whole... It's just like Nars are really nice top deck. I would like to find something else. I don't think we're going to take 13 damage this turn from 6 cards and or 6 mana and 5 cards in hand. Prove me wrong. <laughs> um, you can also block... If he prize fights Nar, then we're still getting a pokey stick. And if he doesn't, then we can block any. What you should probably do is swing and hold up the prize fight, because then I can't block any at all. Right? Why he didn't put it on any? I don't know. Yeah. I think we're still getting a little bit of people don't necessarily know everything that they're doing in um, this rank, which is okay. Like, people learn over time. It's fine. But yeah. Like, later in the season, you see that more in Platinum than you do early in the season. So definitely, latter half of the season is the better time to try this run. Because, like, a lot of the really good players are going to be in Masters, and they're not going to be fighting them till the very end of the run. Okay. So that, yeah, that's cur... I don't know if that's correct. Like, we get a Pokey Stick now. We just win, right? Because we... Because the strike on Nar, now he can't attack. With with Pablo. Also, in our level, let's do this, right? Okay, we can take four. I think we're good. Oh wait, we could have just done it with Nar. I, I think we're fine. Anyways, <laughs> now that was something. All right, six, here comes. No, okay, I was gonna say six damage and burn from two cards in hand. We can drag with Nar. 
Should have blocked. My bad. There are some misplays after playing for nine hours straight, as expected. Uh, yeah, Let's do that. Shelly's like his way. Scorched Earth, or something. Cool. All right. Awesome. Still undefeated. Thank you for the follow. Vivo or lore. L O R. Legends of Runeterra. Take a bite of pizza. Hammer Jace. Okay. So, this could go really badly if he has Quietus, or really well if he doesn't. That's pretty much how I'm expecting this to turn out. Okay, we don't have a very amazing hand. Thank you. I'm trying my hardest, given, given the nine hours. <laughs> like, yeah. Um... It's, there's only so much you can do. But yes, thank you. Scrap heap. Let's see if we can get the two cost. Salty spinner is also fine. We could have done the two drop. Should probably. I just don't like the two drop that buffs the deck. I feel like. I don't know. Okay, he had Quietus. But hey. This could be like six damage. That would be really nice, right? Let's see. A 3-4? Okay, not ideal. But, well, maybe he has a Mystic Shot and this is ideal. Who knows? Or, double Mystic Shot. Or, the broken card that shouldn't exist. It sucks. <laughs> I don't know how we stopped that. We can't swing into that. I guess we could swing into it, but... Now we can't block it. Which is probably worse. Um, do we want to do more? No, I'll probably just do Forge Chief to match his Forge Chief. <clears throat> We're just going to take five from the scrap direction. We will swing into it once this guy can swing it, or once we're actually going to deal damage on the swing. Why not swing? No. Okay. Um, I think we're actually going to get our parts made whole. Because, like, this is still draw. It gives us, it's a good thing to discard right now. Teemo, you say? Oh, well. Hey. Now I feel better about playing Teemo. I was debating it because of the Mystic Shot. Could be a Quietus still. But then he's low on cards in hand, and we're doing a little better in card advantage, maybe. Ooh, let's do this. There's more elusive damage. Um... We could play Puff Cap Pop. Three mana Parts Made Hole is pretty nice, though. Three mana draw. Two. Three mana discard, one draw, two. I like to see that. Formula, okay. Um, so he probably is looking for Mystic or Quietus. Did he find it? It's one of these two cards. If he did find it. Oh. Soul Harvest. Okay. That's unfortunate. Bye, Teemo. Alright, so I guess we're just swinging like this. Are we? Yeah, because then we can blow back next round, I guess, and kill the Brash unit so it stops dealing damage to us. Which I think we need. <laughs> we need that right now. Um, Let's see. What do you want to do? You want to discard? I'm going to discard the Scrap Heap. Got to. See if we can find something better to discard. Um, not necessarily better, but hey, Zonate Urchin could get discard foddered. And if he lets us develop Yorl Square. Okay. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Um, hmm. How do we stop that? Like, we could spend six mana on it, but that just feels terrible. 
I think we're just gonna do this instead. And kill this, I guess. Blow back it. it seems decent. Um it's not great though. Yeah. Like Mystic Shot and Blowback. Just is too much, I think. Yeah, actually, do we want to keep Zonite? No, we don't, right? Yeah. Um, let's just do this. Then we can play Gnar next round and hold up Mystic if he blocks with the Brash. Play Gnar, attack, hold up the Mystic shot. Okay, cool. Um, ooh, interesting. This could let us win the game next attack round. So round nine, if he hasn't won through the inevitable anything he has in his hand playing Shadow Isles or Reggie, <laughs> then maybe we can stun through with Overwhelm. Okay, hold up Mystic to kill the Brash because we're going to die to it soon otherwise. He does it. Cool. Um, vengeance. Hexploder. Equivalent. Equally bad. Um, we are still gonna play. No, we can't because not is four mana, not three mana. Well, we'll go down to three then. <laughs> I guess. Uh, it's actually probably worth blocking with Nar here. Because then we get a Pokey Stick. Oh no, stop. At least that wasn't a 6 cost one. Well, it's 6-6 six, six because it's... Yeah. And Heimer is leveled. And spooky. Okay, we have to block. Have to, have to. Like that. And then we get a Pokey Stick. How do we win? Do we? Is it possible? Like, maybe. Let's just see what we draw. If we don't draw anything good, I think we're done. Like, it's GG's. I'm reluctant. Okay, actually, wait. There could be, like, a Mecha Yordle. If we got something Mecha Yordle-wise. Not a Mystic Shot. That is over. Okay. We went pretty far without losing a match. And High Radius is one of the harder decks, so... I'm okay with it. Good game. All right, we keep going. 65 LP, Platinum 2, just small setback. Do do do. Riven Gwen. This is just like push a ton of damage. Probably no parts made whole. Otherwise, I think this is fine because we have a thing to discard and a one drop. So, Forge Sheaf followed by Boom Baboon. Deals a bunch. Okay. Probably doesn't have a one drop. Which is good for us. I think. Do we just swing open? Like, what's the chance that he has a two drop as well? Or doesn't have a two drop? Because Ribbon Gwen. Well, the only two drop he have, he might not want to play. And that's the um, the guy that's a 2 2, and when he attacks, um, he summons one of the guys. Cool. Yeah. This is fine. Always push. Always push damage. Cool. So now. We're in a really good spot. We can squeaker onto Flame Chompers. And play Teemo if we want to. And we could even pick Geode Mecha Forcer, the guy that gives plus two plus two, and then push a looser damage with Teemo next turn, along with playing Zionger. Okay, we're Mystic Shotting our own unit. <laughs> That's what's happening. 
you had Mecha Forcer is correct, right? Then play Teemo next round. So we put the Zero 2 in front. Thanks for the follow, Rathlon. So do that. That saves it. Um, he's our least valuable unit, so. Because he's not dealing damage. This might be the only thing in his hand, basically. Cool. He could have had, like, Whirling Death. Um, but it's fine. It's still the best play. <laughs> it worked, yep. <laughs> it worked. We are Mystic Shotting our own unit. This is also the best turn ever. We can we can Teemo and Zonite Urchin into Returnal Wrench, and we have a six wide board on turn four. Like what? And we're dealing three elusive damage? Best deck ever. This deck is so dumb. It's it's really not a jinx problem. It's a synergy problem. Because like this deck doesn't have jinx in it. It's not a jinx deck. It's a jinx deck with no jinx. So we do this. And then we're pushing 15. Nice. Like, that's crazy. Oh. Weapon help. Okay. That's fine. I feel like it would still be better to block something that isn't a Rotona Wrench and something that is higher damage, but hey. Like, now we have Discard Fodder, basically. And then we can play Electro Harpoon, he's down to two. He has five Puff Caps in deck, he could hit one, and we have a ton of burn, so. Also, we're at 20 health. We're gonna drop a GG. I think it's okay. Don't think we're losing this. Always possible, but I don't think so. And Nar levels with the Electro Harpoon. Cur we're curving out so hard. So hard right now. Insanity. Oh my lord. <laughs> uh, how? Okay. Sure. That's fine. We will just not block that. Right? Like, we're taking 10. We're not blocking it anyway. If you think this is Riven, we will block Riven. With our 3 2, but yeah, no. Cool. Pause. What, what does pause mean? Oh, the music? I think the music's good. I think it might have just hit a song. Uh, get a break. Let's do... So it's like this, 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 and this. Drag like that. Push 12. So hard right now. The music is hard. It's crazy. We gotta keep the fast music, otherwise I'm gonna fall asleep. If I play lo-fi like I normally do, I am falling asleep. Gotta go hard base. Man, you're too thin. Cheers. <laughs> well, anyway. Is it it? Because what? We're like 90 LP, I think? Platinum 2? So that's 5 more matches into Diamond? So we should we should be able to beat our Gold and Platinum time. If you haven't yet, please follow. I'm literally sitting and playing Terra for 16 hours. <laughs> Potentially. That's the max. By, if you haven't heard yet, the max is 16 hours. I think we just keep this hand. This is fine. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate everyone. Even if you don't follow, I still appreciate you. Because you're here. I swear all of letter is SI control. You're right. 
because basically there's this I don't know, I don't know honestly I can't really give a good explanation as to why SI control is the best deck ever there's like the best thing ever probably because there's a lot of strong unit based decks like Samira and Shadow Isles is just a hard counter to them all right we're gonna discard the return on wrench we might spear on pup who knows um what do we want here so we're gonna we would like to play non on four and then something else on five maybe it i think it's smash and dash with uh squeaker on five yeah puff cat pup got the return on wrench which makes him a little valuable yeah so he's gonna remove it which makes sense um we can push two or we can push three depending on whether or not we spear i think we're just I don't see why not. I don't think this is a better time to use this. We're pushing three instead. He blocks like this. He's down to 15. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Basically, it's not. Oh, it's still not. Even with the past. Still develop. Risky Venture. That's okay. Like, unfortunate that he had a second. That's a lot of coin. He has a lot of mana this next turn. He effectively has 10. Um, We're still going to just do what we were planning on doing, though. So much, that's so much mana. It's kind of concerning. I think I have to change the name of this alt <laughs> after to make my main name TTV. I don't actually know how it works. Maybe the tag just has to be different. I think it's Dune Hopper mech, honestly. Like, our hand does not have very high value. And this elusive husk means that picking the elusive would not do good. It wouldn't be a good idea. He just can't really get to this coin mana fast enough to utilize it to play a big unit, I think. Um, y'all, maybe? What is he gonna do? He could play Jack. Undergrowth? Drain two from unit. What does that tell us? He has a second undergrowth. Doesn't have another risky venture because we just saw it in the toss. We're still just gonna swing like this. If he wants to block like this and has like. Uh, ping, sure. If he has second undergrowth, okay. Like, like, that's nothing we can do about that. Wow, that's the perfect combination. Alright. I'm fine with this, because he has two cards left in hand. That's a terrifying husk combo, though. <laughs> that's spooky. Elusive overwhelm? Nuh-uh. We don't want that. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, if it's a 4-3, um, if, uh, if if we pass here, he'll totally take the pass because he has less card advantage than we do. I think we're just going to play, just going to play Forge Chief, see what he does. Okay, he's just going to swing. Cool. We'll let him do that. Play Dune Hopper mech. And I think we're just going to open... Because Teemo's not getting developed. Um, this is 16 damage threatening, so yeah, he should probably block here. Or maybe he has a Vengeance. He has a Vengeance, okay. Still fine, we can Electro Harpoon Jaw Hunters. Uh, get the Return of Wrench onto Yordle Squire. Maybe actually, it's probably... Could be better to get it onto Teemo. So we're going to play Teemo first. Then try it. Let's see how it goes. Then I'll play Boom Baboon. And see. Okay, Boom Baboon. And round. Let's see. Ooh, very nice top deck. 
good for flame chompers. Ruination. Oh yeah. Okay. Can we push enough damage? This, key, this draw is super important now. I think we'll do. We're gonna do flame chompers so we can guarantee the return revenge onto Zion Urchin. Nar? Awesome. Okay, we can level Nar with Mystic Shot. And put the return wrench onto Zion Urchin to reduce. Because if he is targeting anything with Vengeance next round, he's going to be targeting Nar, because Nar's Overwhelm. And then we're going to be dealing exactly 8 damage, right? Because over he goes up to 5, 6, 7, 8. Very, very, very good pull on Zion Urchin. Okay, we're just going to send it. Good game. That was awesome. That was an amazing, amazing game. We got through the ruination. No vengeance. He used most of his removal early in the game, so I was pretty confident about opening there. Okay, we're Platinum 1. <coughs> Less than two hours. Gwen. Is it Gwen Quinn or Gwen Vane? I don't actually know what that skin is. Gwen Vane. Okay. One, two. Parts made whole. We don't need it. I'm fine with this hand. <clears throat> okay. We don't have anything to discard right now. I think we're actually going to get rid of this Mystic. Do we need it for anything? I'd like to get wider earlier, so we're just going to do this. This is effectively a mystic, like this Zion Urchin. Alright, so we're gonna do. Ooh. I think it's just Boom Boom. Like, we could do two one drops, but I wanna be able to discard effectively on the Flame Trampers. Okay. Two damage. He gets the draw. Could we do Diamond? Before, I think we can definitely do it for 10 hours, 15 minutes. Very possible. There was very, very little prep for this run. It was like four hours, I think, maybe, of just looking at like what decks we want to run and like planning out how we're going to progress with the XP that we have for the day. Okay, uh, we're just going to ignore that. Gonna draw. I think we're gonna squeaker, squeaker forge chief. Actually, no. I don't. Never mind. We're gonna do forge chief echo. Then the mana refill from forge chief is gonna give us enough to play echo's time trick. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Now swing with a quick attack. So he. He's below Vengeance mana. We'll just do this. Deal 10. And then we need to play Time Trick and search for Burn, I think. Probably Mystic Shot. Because, yeah, like... What else to play? Um, Mystic Shot? Cool. Maybe sometime today we can level Echo. That'd be nice. <laughs> um, okay. Augmented Clockling is working into the potential leveling Echo in the not Echo deck. He's just a quick attacker that gives us access to burn. Gwen? Um, we can't kill Gwen, and Gwen is getting a decent bit of damage. I think we're just going to do Clockling, though. Right. Uh, another Mystic Shot. Right? Yep. Yeah. We have enough burn to win the game at this point. We're just going to take whatever damage he throws at us. Maybe, maybe throw a blocker in front of one of these. Okay, now we're going to throw a blocker in front of Gwen. Right? Because that's a lot of damage on Gwen. 15? Yeah, we need to. I think we can actually just afford to do a full block right here. Um, Do we want the mana? Like, does that help us in any way? 
I suppose it could. No, actually, let's do it like this. Just so that we can mana cheat more, potentially. Could you have Harpoon Mystic? Yeah, uh, too much health for that. Hate Spike on Echo? Sure, honestly, that's fine. Echo isn't really doing that much at this point in the game. Okay, so Gwen levels. We could find more burn on Echo, but I don't think it's necessary. Basically, he has one blocker, which is Gwen, for next turn. She will then die to blowback. And we can also... So we hold up this um, blowback to return our wrench. Or to use it on return our wrench, and they'll go into combat and deal extra damage. And then we can Electro Harpoon after combat to kill Gwen. Hate Spike. Um... In that case, we're going to do this instead. So we're going to toss this and this. So then we still get the damage through. Then it's just one Mystic to win. If he has another, we'll Mystic again, I think. And then we'll still have another Mystic. Form up. Wait, so he's taking two. Right? Two from this. So if we do this, it's dead, right? So long as it's not another hate spike. Catch? Okay, guess what? It's another mystic shot. Now, the problem. I think we can survive. But he opens. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that. So that was a reason I guess we could have held the um, Electro Harpoons and just tried to kill Gwen instead. I just did not expect him to have Catch Catch. Catch Catch form up. That was nuts, yeah. That was kind of just bad luck. Um, may If we find exactly Mystic Shot, um, Mystic Shot and the other thing. The other card, I don't remember the name, Blowback. Maybe. Nope. Okay. Yeah, that was nuts. That was that was crazy. The crazy odds. We had to win before this next attack or kill Gwen. I suppose that we should have. We could have played around double catch, form up, and hate spike on the same hand. But given the the chain of events, I think we played okay. All right, another Hammer Jace. So what did we learn last match? That we lost to Hammer Jace. We need a really aggressive hand, I guess. Like this ain't this ain't it, basically. This is also not really it, but could be okay. We have to win with blowout, basically. We need to have a really nice hand, and he has to not have quietness. That feels wrong, because then he can't play his 6-mana spell on turn 3. But hey. Dun -dun -dun. Okay, puff cap pup. Puff cap pup. Okay. So we will we'll scrap heap the Ren turn row wrench at like first and then see what we find on the mech yordles. Ideally like the boost. Ah, uh, this is good too. But so is Fury Horn Crasher might actually be good. In this matchup. Hard choice, hard choice. I'm actually okay. I'm gonna do bounce from bolt just because. I don't want him to have a good block for Puff Cap Pup, because right now Adaptatron is an okay block for it at least, right? Because then Reggie doesn't have to die. So we're just going to drag like this and get a good trade on Adaptatron. Get to use this twice to kill things. This could potentially kill a Jace on a round 5 attack if he doesn't deal with it. We're going to play Teemo. If he has a Quietus, it's unfortunate. 
but at least it's not on Puffcat Pup. I'm going to say at this point, he probably doesn't. He might have a hate spike, though. Okay. Um, we will just do this, this, and this, then. The music. The music. YouTube, I am... I'm still here. I'm still playing games for 10 hours straight. Stop pausing. Thank you for the ho the follow, Haley Alien. I almost said thank you for the hollow, Faley Alien. <laughs> Alright, um... Just wanna say GG. Did I, oh, did I just face you? Oh wait, were you, um... Were you playing Gwen? I think you're playing Gwen. That was a good game. That, that was a very, very, very good game. That was an insane string of cards. <laughs> I had an insane stream of cards too, to be fair. Like, I had an answer, but you had an answer for every other thing I was playing. Which is very cool. I had a good time that match. Gwen is your baby? Did you talk to Hugh? Hugh Gwen is also Hugh's baby. So you guys might have to fight. See who's see who wins. I think we're just doing this. We're doing the Master Strength speedrun right now. Um... I don't know what's right here. I think it's probably do this and then drag so that this dies with Bouncer. I got an ABG because of how much other I used to be an ABG. I left ABG. Mainly because I had too much going. <laughs> ABG's great. ABG helped me almost top cut in a seasonal last summer. They are a great team. If you guys need a team or want to join a team, I would totally check them out. If you're if you're up for, they're very rigorous. They're a very good team, though. Okay, that that's correct. Unfortunately, <laughs> put him up, buddy. <laughs> I just saw that. Um, I think I'll put spear on Puffcat Pup. So that we can start continue swinging with Puffcat Pup through uh, Scrap Trap if we need to. Thank you. Have fun. Um, okay. Blowback here does not work. I guess we can do this. No, but that's still bad. Like doing this and then blowbacking doesn't work either. I think we just have to take this. I'm gonna I'm gonna sacrifice the spear. I don't think we can I don't think we can manage it. Have we dealt puff cap damage this, this round? Or anything? No. Don't, wait no. That was last round. Oof. Okay, we're gonna play Nar. Maybe we can find a return on wrench on top deck. Oh oh, oh no. Oh, no. Yeah, if I did, be coming. That's right. You're you're correct. Oof. All right, we're gonna parse my hole. This. Oh, I can't. No, we can't. Okay, no, we can do Zonate Urchin without draw and then parse my hole. Oh, <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> that sucked so bad. <laughs> that was terrible. Mmm. No, uh, I don't want to drop down to pl platinum two or yeah, platinum two. That would be sad. Please, good boss 274. Be good to us. <laughs> also, stop ripping me. I'm trying to speedrun. Thank you. More parts made whole. Adaptatron! Come on! Good cards. I'd say that's pretty good cards, honestly. Rummage. Now, if we find top deck return on wrench, I'd say we're doing pretty well. Right now, we're pushing like, why did you urchin first? So I urchined first because I wanted to make sure that the return on wrench went onto a unit. If I discard it without a unit on board, then no bueno. 
None of the other stuff. Is this worth it? Probably. Because they'll probably block Urchin. And then we'll use we'll use Rummage. It's damage. <laughs> like he shouldn't block Urchin here? Oh, if he has a Mystic Shot, then yes, he should. Um, that means he probably has a second Mystic Shot, and we're probably very dead if we didn't have Flame Chompers. Well, it's still very close to dead. It's probably a Shock Blast, right? Scrap. Well, we can blow back the Scrap Trap, actually, so we're fine. That's someone first. No, it does not. I, well, you know, I don't, I don't know. Do, no, it does. Oh, no, you're actually, oh, you know, I don't know. The reason I did it, no, you're correct. I was wrong. I'm just brain farting from too much Runeterra. Um, the reason I actually did it like that, oof. The reason I actually did it like that was because I wanted to get the 3-2. Um, I wanted the, the uh, parts made whole to be the card that was discarding. Because otherwise I wouldn't have gotten it. Yes, you're, you're correct. It discards the card before. That's really bad. <laughs> that's, that's not good. Um, well, he... We do this now, right? No, wait, not, not like that. So we do it like this. This gets the wrench, and then he can only deal one to us this turn because he only has five mana. He cannot play a six cost spell. And then we have Echo, so maybe we can find more burn on Echo. We're going to get one damage of burn from the impact wrench, so he's effectively at six. Possible. Okay. I've become... I, I've, like, not played this deck very much before this. I have now gone full circle. Not striking. Well, oh, no, I mean, like... Oh, come on, no! My, I meant, like, when when Echo's attacking. It's a combat strike, and then he'll return our wrench. But he had Aftershock, so it's irrelevant now. <laughs> um, let's see what we find. This is a very good top deck. That is a Shroom. We like that. This is a very, very nice top deck. We're getting rather lucky with our draws this match. Like, the fact that we're still alive is because of our top decks. Okay, we'll discard like this. Yeah, cool. Burn. Oh, this could be two damage burn. Electro Harpoon. Or is it Nar? No, it's not Nar. It's definitely Electro Harpoon, right? Let's think about this very, very carefully. Will we have anything to discard? Maybe, actually. Yeah, we will. Because if this elusive gets through, then we will. If But he can make six cost turrets. If he can get the mountain time. If. Big if. This is going to be the closest match ever if we make it. I'm going to do this in case we find, like, a blowback. Right, because then this trades off. We get the impact. Then we double discard. Yeah. Come on. Let's let it strike. No! Oh, no. Okay. Well. Now... It has to be, right? We can only win off of a blowback, which we have played one of already. Right? We've already played one blowback. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, if we... No, he's he's winning on open anyway. No, not necessarily. If we do this, right? Is Okay, the chance of a strong blowback is 1 in 10. So I'd say it's not worth it. Is it, though? Oh, so hard. Because basically, if he swings, um, he's going to drag like this. Um, no, he has an Acceleration Gate, so he can just Acceleration Gate and develop further. Not if we kill Teemo, but then we die to the Elusives. So it has to be a blowback, actually. Unfortunately. 
Well, one damage short. If we could... Yeah. Alright. Let's find blowback. One in ten chance. Please. Tunnel wrench. That's not going to do it. No, it's throwing a GG first, because that was a good game. It was close. Did I just say the french fries has become Timo? <laughs> oh no, the french fries became Timo. I thought that I literally called the french fries Timo. Did I? I might have. I wouldn't be surprised. You could tell me I did and I would believe you. I did? Dang. Everything's Timo. I do that sometimes. I just call things the wrong, the wrong thing if they look slightly like the card. Maybe I have bad eyes. I don't know. I know it's not Timo. Lurk. Okay. We will... I kind of want to keep two return on just... This hand's actually enticing. It's like we're going to get to discard these a lot in the Lurk. Every round, because he's attacking all the time. We will always have discard fodder. This feels good too. We like Boom Boom. Blowback. Nice. Okay. Well, we can't block it. It's probably Rek'Sai. Knowing Lurk. Yep. Cool. So we'll do this. Right? Yeah. Um. Smash and dash or Shadow Tech Walker. If he has the zero two, we would want to Shadow Tech Walker. But we can't play it next turn. Let's just say he doesn't have the zero two and let's play Shadow Tech Walker. Let's pretend for a sec. It's not possible. I think it's a good line if it works. It's also a good line to parts made whole and just go for it. No, no, we're going to save that line, actually. We're going to save that for an attacking round that we don't have something. I'm like, kind of surprise it out. I was like, okay, here's our burst speed blocker. You actually aren't getting a good lurk attack. Okay, he doesn't have it, but he has that. Which is equally annoying. Um, we, We're going to swing like this, because he'll want to block like this. He's not going to block like this. He wants to get rid of this smash and dash. Yeah. Cool. We're, we're chopping up his board, though, which is good. I'm getting our turn on wrenches back. Still got a boom boon still got ways to generate value. And we still have a draw, so. We're, I'd say we're now okay spot. And a second parts made hole with two return wrenches. Could we go up to third parts made hole? Like, is that worth it? Okay, now... I'm going to pass if he doesn't want to swing. Sure. But yeah, we're just going to parts made whole. I think we, we will lose. I believe we lose the return wrench. Which is okay. Because this is the only way we block this fearsome. Yeah. We have two return wrenches. It's okay. Now we will discard like that. Draw another card. We can't parts made whole right now. If we need to, but that's okay. I think we have a pretty... We have a hand that we can go very wide with next turn. That's fine. Vulnerable and that's okay. Okay, we're gonna go. Um, We want to be able to discard and use the Flame Chompers, so we're gonna go like this, right? Spear, right? I think it's always Spear. Maybe he plays a 1 health unit and we can put it on um Flame Chompers. I don't think so. <laughs> yep. No, speed. Okay. Uh, flame Trumpers. We wouldn't actually be able to anyway. Because of mana. Pike. Well, I think we'll still do this for damage. Damage purposes. 
And we're actually probably gonna drag Pike, because Pike we can kill with blowback. I'm gonna say Von Mech is the best into Lurk because it's more blockers for their weak units. Okay, so we take we deal five. And he's giving us our eternal wrench back, which is I think pretty wrong. But hey, because like you always should assume that someone playing discard aggro has a way to put their eternal wrench back on something. You shouldn't take it off. And it's usually a valuable thing for them to do anyway. Like they want to do that. Okay, this turn, I think we might go Puff Cat Pup into Teemo. Okay, that could be Ruthless Predator. If that's Ruthless Predator, what do we what how should we play around it basically? Well, it has to be. He wouldn't have played Rek'Sai otherwise. We can kill Pike. Basically, if he has a deny and uses it here, he loses his Rek'Sai. You can say, basically, that's what we're going to tell him. If you have a deny, you can play it, you just won't have a Rek'Sai anymore. So he's probably going to let this through, if, even if he has a deny. This is the only time we can do this if he has a deny, without getting punished for it. You know, Ruthless Predator. Oh, uh. Oh, uh. Ex excuse me. <laughs> okay. Whoa. We're uh, we could have. I was thinking we could bring our we could bring our card back. I just don't know if I want to parts made hall right now. <clears throat> Basically, we want to play. We want to have enough mana to still play Von Mech. The line, like the thought of playing that line, just went through my head. But yeah. Um, unless he has a board wipe. Well, in that case, we'll play Echo. Right. Echo lets us find stuff. Feels good. If it's Castigate, we have Echo. I think we're, st we're still just going to do this. He'll block Echo. And we'll deal six. Thank you for the follow. He's Burger. Uh, oh, Heisenberger. Aha. <laughs> Pike striking Teemo. Why not boom boom boom? Gonna be honest, that doesn't strike me as correct. That strikes me as a 6-3 pike. Okay. I'll, I'll mention that. say that again. <laughs> um Mystic Shot, probably, right? Because that's a that's burn that we don't need to discard for. Then we can use parts made whole after a block. I'm very worried about another Rek'Sai, based on his last Rek'Sai play. However, like if he plays Rek'Sai here, I think we just have to parts made whole scrap heap, because this is going to be up to nine damage. Rek'Sai is going to be up to ten. He doesn't have it. Awesome. Perfect. Uh, we should do this, right? Yeah. This is correct, because then we can use parts made whole. Oh wait, Pike levels. Oof. Like, it's not a huge issue, it's just... Yeah. Kind of unfortunate, basically. Uh, if he has Rally, how do we get around it? If he has Rally, we need to parts made whole now. Right? Or Professor... Yeah. No, oh, parts made whole now. On the equipment. Look for two cards. Mystic shots. Cool. Um, I think what we re would we like to just pass here, or would we like to throw down the mystics? Because if he has a deny, then he can exactly deny us and rally us. I'm going to wait and see what he does. We pass this at the end of this turn. We can just go wider than him on the attack next turn and just win. He can't have Rally, right? But he could have Deny. So we should assume that he could have, and sh does have Deny, and go wider. Rally's five mana. There's no way he could have reduced it. So let's go Let's go Professor on Mech. Go very wide. Hold these two Mystics as a backup plan. Let's go Bristlehog. Um, at this point, we can also just do them one by one. 
like get rid of Stark Cross Lovers and do that. Because now that it's not, you no, know, we're not really that worried about the attack, he would use it last round. We don't have to be as worried about the deny. Okay, now we can Glory Seeker. And then just swing. Then get around the deny guaranteed because we're going to be dealing two damage if he doesn't have another card. He does, okay. We'll, but now we're fine because if that last card's deny, he denies this, then we miss a shot again. Okay, he doesn't. Cool. Good game. So we're back at what? Platinum 1? 5 LP now or something? I think. Uh, yeah, 5 LP. Are, do we have rewards, by the way, or did we stop collecting XP for the day? We are getting XP still. It's totally possible for us to find another... Or to find a Jinx. Technically, we could. It's not, not likely at all. But we could. We're like, if we found Augmented Experimenter, we'd probably add an Augmented Experimenter. There's not many changes we want to make to the deck right now, though. It's going strong. It's a Snowy deck, right? Okay. Callista Norm. I think we played this against this once. Someone identified it as the Snowy deck. Or I think Snowy made a video on it. So, what would you rather him quietest slash hate spike? Teemo or Forge Chief? And what would we rather be attacking? We'd actually rather play Forge Chief, I think. Because if we play Teemo and he has a Nora, he'll just block with the Nora. Hopefully, we can find some discard fodder. No discard fodder. We're just going to play Forge Chief. I'm going to get up and stretch after uh, this match during the queue. Because my arms are sore. Um, we maybe we just puff cap pup because squeaker's not getting us anything right now, as opposed to puff cap pup. If he has Nora, it's not a good time to play her, so good. Conch, conch is fine. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Hmm. Dun -dun 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 -dun. What's what's the ponder here? I was gonna big brain. Ponder. Get three puff caps in the deck. I think we just boom baboon into um <clears throat> Zion Urchin. Right, like maybe we can find something to discard, then we can play Squeakers next turn. So right now we're dealing six. Fortunately we'll hit seven if we play boom baboon into something else here. I think we're just gonna take the six right now. He can't. It doesn't give him a chance to develop, and we keep our board space efficient, which I think beneficial us right now, given the fact that we have a handful of units. So, no spells, no burn yet, but we have good ways to find them, and we have good units upcoming with the Mech Yordle manifesting. Okay, there's Nora. Get another Flame Chompers. We will, I think, still discard it with Zonaderchin. Mmm, actually, now nah, we're gonna do we're gonna do Squeaker to pretend to find one of these big guys. Um, not really the big guys I was looking for to be honest. Let's do Smash and Dash. I was looking for like the Sandstorm guy, the Sand Soldiers, or maybe Trumple Tacker to play on either this round or the round after if it was Trumple Tacker. Hit one of the puff caps. Timo's at six. We could level him on turn 8 if we wanted. I don't think that's going to be relevant line, but we should keep it in mind if we need to. If we find a mushroom... 
uh, like a repeat Teemo, then it could be relevant. Um, so he's swinging no matter what, right? If he's fine not swinging, then we're fine with him not swinging. We'll block something, we'll make a trade. Well, are we fine with making a trade here? I think we are, because we're basically going to replace one of our units otherwise, so... We'll do that. Yeah. Then we'll just play Smash and Dash. Boom, boom. This is a pretty good attack. Uh, we can drag, I guess, Callista, because then both of these will die to any of our attackers. Black Spear. That's unfortunate, but that's how it is. Um, I think... We'll just play Squeaker now, I think, and discard this scrap you. Let's see what we can find. Earthshaker? Probably Earthshaker. We can use it later. We're not going to use it right now. We're just going to open this round. But we want, it. we want our board full. Cool. Drag like that. Threatening lethal, he has to block with something. He'll just probably do that or that. That's very, very risky for him in terms of health because we have so much brain in our deck. And we have draw on our hand too. We'll probably discard the Teemo because there's no way Teemo's getting through with Nora. And I don't, well, I guess it's a blocker for Nora, but I don't know if that matters. Oh. Definitely won't matter if Nora is dead. <laughs> it's fine. In that case, we would just Teemo, Blind Urchin. If, if this kills. It might be like Hate Spike to cross over like this. Whoa. The most valuable Puff Cat Pup ever has just been Hate Spiked. Not Hate Spiked, Vengeanced. Way different. Also, why not, like, Nora over here? I guess, who comes back? Um, who's coming back? I guess, maybe it's Nora. It might, Nora might be the one coming back. Uh, I think we're just going to play Earthseeker now that we know he's dropped down to Vengeance. He might still have one. But yeah, he didn't take nearly as much damage as we anticipated. Because he blocked with Nora. That would have been good last round. Actually, well, we still wouldn't have won because it wasn't a hate spike. Uh, let's just do, let's do Echo, and then Zion Urchin on Teemo. We'll do like one blocker here on the Callista, and then because then it kills the Junk Construct. Yeah, that's fine. Sack Teemo. And then we're getting draw off of Echo's time trick. Very nice, like, slight addition. Like, just for the moment, we needed it. We needed another champion. Echo has been doing things weirdly well. Like, there have been many matches that I've actually won because of the one-off Echo. That just needs to be in the deck. Okay. That sucks. <laughs> um... Um... With that in mind, how do we win? Like, what's the best way we can? Uh, like, that's a lot of damage. That's double impact. Then if we can just find enough burn, should be okay. We can play the time trick and see if we can find a mystic shot or something. And if he blocks, um, he should block with plunder pro here, I think. For the lifesteal, it's very minimal, but I think it's better. That's fine. This is what we want, right? When we look for Mystic Shot, we look for um, the thing that does uh, Electro Harpoon. I think that does discard and damage. That, that's not blowback. <laughs> uh, what does this do? When another ally dies, drain one from the enemy nexus. Okay, so we're not killing allies. Or his allies. Let's see what we can find. Mystic Shot. That should be game. Because we just do this, and so we shoot him instead. Right? That should be game. It 
Should be fine. Okay, cool. Good game. We're making it. We're almost in diamond. So it's gonna be... It's a little over... It's probably gonna be more like... Slightly more than it took us to get from... Gold to Platinum, which was two and a half hours. So that would be um, 10 minutes and 40 seconds. Not 10 minutes. 10 hours and 40 minutes. Um, so it's going to be a little more. Thank you for the follow. Anyone, please follow if you can. Because I'm literally sitting and playing on chair for a day to try to world record Masters rank speed run. Which hasn't been done, I don't think. My Sunday is going to you guys. So, yeah. Please, I beg. Also, so to me on YouTube, I'm trying to get to 100 subs. We're going to make a video on this once we're done with the run. It's going to be great. Have I been to Masters before? Yes, I'm a t I've am cut I've top cut seasonals. This is just a Smurf account. We're trying to world record speed run to Masters. Okay. So. We're going to drop all of these. I think we don't want this entire hand. Thank you, Tricky Tracy. The very first on the try. Um, you called me crazy. And he can't deny that. Bullying kids in plat? Exactly. Yes, no, but... I, I think it's... Yeah, it takes about 8 hours to do first Masters, but that's from Platinum to Masters. This is from Iron. The bottom. Um, I think we just boom a boon here, right? Like we could. You like I don't think he'll swing. Okay, he swings. Uh I don't think we block though, right? Yeah, I don't think I have sense for. Q, if you're still here, confirm that you called me crazy, because you totally did. Um <laughs> uh, And to be fair, it is kind of ridiculous to even try this. I could have just been hard stuck in gold for like five hours. Um, let's do what? Von Mech? I don't even know because this is an okay matchup for us but like what's going to help us here? Maybe Geode Mechaforce are on these Clocklings? Because we have a lot of units already in hand. We just got back. Welcome back. Does our account have access to good decks? Is it totally working what we've got? So uh, we made this account 10 hours and 28 minutes ago. So we are come and we are not spending any money on the account either. That's like part of the challenge that I've determined to be part of the challenge. We are literally going completely with like just stuff we got. So the beginning of the run, if you've missed it, if you weren't here during it, we actually played Timo Elusives to um ba to get um enough resources. Uh, I don't know. We don't have many good plays here. We played Timo Elusives to get enough resources to build a jank version of the Jinx deck. This is so bad, by the way. We have to kill this. We have to. We're just going to slam a Mystic Shot down on him. This is equally as bad, just not leveling into a champion. Kill the Healing Weapon Master on site. If he has it, yes, it's dying. If we can kill it. <laughs> yeah, we just have this deck. This is basically it. Like, we could, I suppose, build Timo Lucius, maybe. Um, do we want this back? I think we want the Return of Wrench back. I think we can already. They've got Crazy Tempo. Yeah, probably. If they don't have Orn, there's maybe a chance we win. Um, I'm going to stick it out for a little longer. We could hit some crazy stuff like this. Unfortunately, the way things look right now, do you have Mecha Forcer? Well, we can use Mecha Forcer to drag and kill um, Combat Cook with the with the spear. What was your season top cut? That was three seasons ago. I think it was in May. Yeah, May. I, I got knocked out round one, to be fair. <laughs> I was not expecting to get top cut that seasonal. I think I went in with some weird off-meta, like, deck combo. I don't even fully remember. I think it was, like, Galio Udir Deep? 
I think Hugh remembers. I showed him the lineup before I did the run. I think I think it was Galio Udyr Deep and something else. Very, very off meta. It was actually just fully trying to counter what the winning lineup of Mastering Runeterra was. You don't remember the last deck? I don't either. <laughs> It'll come to me. Just not right now. Not not with ten hours and thirty minutes of Runeterra today. Not gonna not gonna remember. Um so what? We could win off of Elusives, right? So we're blocking here. We're t uh, we're taking. Hmm. Can we live? I suppose we could use Nar as a blocker for the fearsome unit, or the overall unit. Probably the overall unit. Oh, stop it, Jax! No, go away. It, it's not good. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, oh, I accidentally just ulted for Drontaro. <laughs> it's okay, it was going to be a surrender anyways. Oops, one moment. I clicked the I clicked the X on Windows instead of hitting, uh, yeah. <laughs> My bad. We're coming back. We're making it. <laughs> it's a surrender anyways. We've lost maybe 30 seconds. Right, we're back. <laughs> I have my game in windowed mode so I can see the uh, timer. There we go. Not gonna miss the FF button this time. Rage quit. Yep. Exactly. Okay. Well, I we're getting close. Oh, what's our loot? I don't want to check our loot. That's a, that's a waste of time. Actually, no, I'm going to show this for anyone who's curious. Uh, this is the list, and this is like our whole collection. These are the starter decks. This is what we were trying to build. This is just Jinx Cannon. Then this is our deck with what we have. It's very similar to Jinx Cannon. We just don't have the resources to build Jinx. So we have like an Echo, two Nar, and two Teemos. Very Marsharima, it may as well be a good strategy. Jackson the Cooks. Yeah. Oh, reputation. How do we okay, how do we do in reputation? I think we would do very well. Because like we have two attack units everywhere. Also electro harpoons insane. Mm hmm. Alright, we're gonna, I think, just Yordle Squire round one. If they drop Blood Marker issues. Yep. Hmm. I feel like I'm 13 right now. I'm eating pizza. And I'm playing a video game for 10 hours straight. Yep. The two mana landmark gray apothecary. You get too much value. You would win going too wide. We have no way to remove that landmark. Uh, let's we'll play. I think we'll just play spear, right? Mm. Yeah, I think it's just spear. Like, we'll trade this. It's fine. Like, we could do shield and then give it plus one, plus one, and whatever. Um, I think it's fine though. We'll just do that. Oh, the tr oh, the Temple of True Ice. Act that's true. Actually, you can run that in Reputation. That's a good point. That could be a problem, but I don't think they'd run that. Okay, didn't find the round three play, but we have a Von Mech, which is I think fine with this hand because we have three spells already, so this is fine. Okay. Deal two. It might have made more sense to draw this round and then wait. I think probably did, honestly. <clears throat> but it's fine. Frostbite an enemy. Okay. 
I think we'll get rid of one of these blowbacks because we cannot use all of those right now. Echo? That's very tempting, but he probably has Frostbite, so Von Mech is probably still better. We'll do Echo later in the game. Sure. You think it. Yeah, Echo later in the game. Two Mystic Shots is very nice. Plus one, so if we one cost value summon this game. I think we're going to be doing a lot of one cost allies. Chemtech, Catermobile. Catermobile? Not Catermobile. Frostbitten. Okay. You know, it happens. Um, chance. This isn't a good attack. We're not going to attack here. Okay. Glacial Sherman. Uh, we could do... Catermobile or something. I don't know. Like, like we're just going to take damage from that, I think is what's, what's happening. So what, like, take less damage by doing this. Take five if we do this. And then we can still blow back it. It's probably this, right? Hmm. Or we can do this and Mystic. I think it's this, though. Uh, okay. Let's do Zhirp. And then we'll get rid of this... Display drawn, and I guess the Crimson Pigeon. Actually, Crimson Pigeon could do some fun stuff. I'd rather mana cheat. Drop Crimson Pigeon. It's gonna mean that we're not getting the pl full plus four. The yes, the tech units do grow very fast. Or the um the Mecha Yordles augments. Okay, we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna try going wide. We can put the um. This is now four four. Nice. We can also play Echo depending on what he plays. He may be playing Ash now to get her flash freeze. If that's the case, we should do this first. So he has to pre-commit the flash freeze. I think that's what we're going to do. Because that might be his only Frostbite. And if so, he can't play it anymore. He has to pre-commit it. You can play it here. And that's what he'll probably do then. All right? Or maybe Reputation Swing. She's still dead afterwards, which is nice. That That's probably Reputation Swing. Or Frostbite. You'd be surprised if there's anything else. Awesome. Okay. Threatening 16. Echo's gonna start predicting for us later. This Chemtech Hitter Mobile was actually a really good pick from the, uh, from Press on Mech. He's trying to figure it out. It's a lot of damage. But yeah, like... He does have a main deck flash freeze, okay. Why that way? Why? I think it's always better to take less damage. Yes, it's, it's main deckable. Um, it is main deckable and standard. Um, like, yeah, I think Thralls runs it. Okay, we're gonna time trick. We're gonna play Echo, and just and play nothing else this round. Blanc. Um, unfortunately, we're gonna need to do some blocking here. So what? We're gonna do like block here and block here. Actually, no. Do this in case of Elixir of Iron. Because we'd like to kill something. We could also do this. This makes it so Echo can swing safely, and blocks the most possible damage. So let's do that. Because if we're not getting through this board, we're getting through, we're winning off of burn and burn alone. Maybe an elusive unit on our Mecha Yordle pull. 
I think we should probably be discarding whatever we draw this next turn if it doesn't burn. Because we want to hold up this Mystic Shot. Sure. We'll discard that. Um, okay, if he has Reputation Strike, we can't do anything anyways. Or, or if he has Frostbite. So get, with that in mind... Probably Bouncer and Bolt so that we can drag some like his biggest unit maybe? Because like the plus one plus one on top of deck doesn't matter. Uh oh. <laughs> That's a lot of draw. Actually it's a little less than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to make three or four. Oh yeah. It could be the slow speed frostbite. That tells me he probably has a way to frostbite echo, which is really sad. Um, even then, if he doesn't, we want to do it like this, right? Or do we want to save it? Like, could we survive next attack round if we just don't do anything? Uh, no, not without spending our mystic shot. So we're just gonna. Or I guess we just have to gamble that he doesn't have it. Goes to overwhelm. Sure. Frostbite. Let's see what you've got. Uh, an enemy. Okay. Um. Can we win? Don't think so. Yeah. Not unless we were striking both. We're dead. It's okay. That was close. Still in Platinum 1. It's going to be a little bit of an up and down, I think, at the end of Platinum. Because it's going to get a little harder. Diamond's definitely going to be like the three hour push, I would guess. Probably looking at 14, 15 hour run. This is just crazy. I have no. Please make this worth my time. <laughs> I would hate to get stuck in Diamond. Oh. Runeterra, please. Yeah, Fissimir, like to see it. Um, I think we probably actually hold on to Electro Harpoon because it can do stuff for us, whereas Mystic Shot we want to find later. Mainly because we're attacking. If basically if he had attack token on evens, we would have kept Mystic Shot to hold it up. In case he just opened. But. At this point. We're fine. Because we're attacking on evens instead. Obviously it could become a problem. If he plays some mirror this round. And then next round. No it won't. We are never punished. We find Mystic Shot on top of our deck. <laughs> okay. Uh, swing 4-5. He shouldn't have that many good blockers this turn. So, not too worried about anything he'd play here. Maybe a stun. Pure would be the best possible thing that you'd have here. He would wander this and stun. We'd deal no damage. Okay. Um, I think that's wrong. Unless, well, he's plundering that, that means. So he has what? The elegant edge? Sure. That makes sense. Now, does he have Samira? He does not have Samira. Okay. We will, I think... He does not have many units, is what that's telling me. We're going to try to go wider than him. Mecha Forcer. Mecha Forcer or, or Smash and Dash? That's the question. Um, I like... I like Smash and Dash. Get that good impact. Okay, and that plunders too. And that plunders. Oh, it's so much plunder. <laughs> he, like I said, he totally doesn't have units, right, guys? <laughs> we totally didn't need Mecha Forcer right now. 
Um, I think we'll still just full swing. Because then we, he'll probably block the return on wrench. Maybe. And then we can Electro Harpoon it back onto something. Actually, no, he shouldn't. He should block like this. I think we might be getting to the point where people know that they should not block their return on wrench unit. Unfortunately, we cannot use that anymore to win matches. Um, if we do this, our Puff Cat Pup is still alive, so we're gonna do that. So that's a more like it's an effective two damage. We have learned today that investing the Mystic Shot on the attacking Puff Cat Pup can be beneficial because that that investment can yield like three Puff Caps or something, which is like more than a Mystic Shot. I will always say the dark. Protect the boy. <laughs> Fizz. Okay. <clears throat> we'll play Clockling for that. We can also gamble and say he doesn't have a spell to protect him, but he probably does. What do we have right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage and burn. And a ton of impact on board. One and stun. I st so he needs to plunder. Um, I just don't think he can deal enough to us for that to be threatening right now. Three mana blowback. Or a zero mana forge chief. I think zero mana forge chief. We're going wider than him. We have enough burn already in hand. We're fine. Basically, this fizz isn't getting through unless he has a way to drag kill Clockline. Like, he's getting five damage through this attack. Like this, this, and this. Four damage. We're fine with that. Also, that was wrong. We should have done the return on ranch in. Err. No, we couldn't have. We couldn't have. Never mind. I was thinking we could do Return Our Wrench and then Electro Harpoon the Return Our Wrench. Um, we're just going to do this. This is fine. We don't need this blowback anymore. We're just going to hold the Mystic. Two buff cap. Yep. <laughs> Two caps. He has one card left in hand. We're not worried about whatever it is. Even if it's a unit. Yeah. We just open. He hits buff cap. So, do that. And it's 11. Good game. Wait, hit the GG. There we go. Hit the GG. Okay, so three matches now. Three matches till out of pot. Yep. 25 LP. Gaining 25 per win. Hopefully, if we don't lose, three matches. Fingers crossed. Then we're in diamond. And then it's crazy because we have gotten to diamond in one day. Masters will be the ultimate goal. I think I think it's possible. It'll be a lot. I'm going to be tired at the end. But I think we can do it. Is it is it like the best thing to do considering I work on Monday? No, this is a terrible idea. But do I want to do it? Yes. <laughs> Team Olusus. Spear and Squire. Jin, Annie. Well, the issue is we're only playing uh, cards that we start the game with, so we actually can't even build Jin, Annie. We we'll start well that we start the game with any resources we get beyond that. We're not spending any money. This is a fresh account. Um, that's what makes this run crazy, is we have to use jank jank deck to get there. With that being said, <laughs> please follow because um, if you haven't followed. I still, I still appreciate you being here, but I'm going nuts. We're, we're, we're at 11 hours of Legends of Runeterra in one day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, let's do the quick attack, because this is not a good attack otherwise. The misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy. I'm not going to sing. <laughs> I've been considering three Puff Cap Pop, but I like the distributions. It's very good when it works, but I don't think we need three. It's at two right now. The landmark? This could be. This could be a landmark Timo deck. Like, we're not playing one right now, no. 
if that's what you're asking. Uh, I think we do this. Then Zonite, Zonite Urchin and the Flame Trumpers. Time trick. What's he looking for? Yeah, he's playing standard Caitlyn Teemo. We're playing Jank. It's supposed to be a Jinx deck, but we literally don't have Jinx. We must protect the boy. He protect. We protect, and he attack. That's the difference here. Do we play Teemo? There's so many things he could have. I think we're just going to develop. We'll play Teemo next round. We still deal six like this and force him to spend spells. High toss is fine. He would have probably pied. I don't know what he would have done, honestly. I think it's still a fine attack. You get to kill an Arpus for free. This Flame Chompers will keep that one damage. That That's why. That's why we open. <laughs> that thing. Uh, Now I think we'll play Teemo. And then we'll play Squeaker next round if we have a good target. We don't get Jinx with the starting decks, no. Um, so we could do the thing where, like, if you have the Xbox Game Pass, I believe, you can get any, um, I think all of the Foundations cards, but we're really just trying to do this super vanilla, which is extra painful. <laughs> um, yeah. Do we want to open next round? That's the question. If we want to open, we should do Bouncer and Bolt, and I think we do want to open. They may, they may have... You're probably right. Okay, I was worried this was going to get plus two cost. I was like, no. My bouncer and bolt. Minus one power and can't block is bad, though. If that's what he, that's what he did, right? Yeah. Because now he can't drag Puffcap Peddler. How many Puffcaps do have we planted? 11. Oh, we won't be able to double. We've won one short of doubling unless we can't find... Actually, supposedly, if we play this right now, we could top deck another Teemo. So maybe we should. We're just going to take that. We will play the Mushroom Cloud now. Is this a created card? No. That's not how it works. It's like a flip. It's going to say maybe it could do augment. Stop it. Plus four cost. Or it's a six mana parts made whole. He's playing Prank Pinner or something? Or is this just traps in general? This is normal traps. This feels like a Prank Pinner deck. Right. Put five. We deal a decent bit and we still burn. I, we might just get rid of this, honestly, discard it. We're right in buff caps. We only have five puff caps in deck. That's so not concerning at all. Like, we're fine. Alright. Um. I suppose we're gonna discard this turn anyways. So let's just see what we find. Maybe there's something better. <laughs> I was literally about to say, if we find scrap heap and ret return our wrench, then this is like technically correct. And we found exactly scrap heap and return our wrench. So awesome. <laughs> um we'll take Von Mech because our hand's small. That was crazy. What? Um we wanna actually do it like this. Yeah. What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> the best? The best top decks? Um, like, sure. He, may, he might have been better off stunning Squeaker. We're gonna do Forge Chief. We're really just looking to burn him out at this point. This dog will pierce the heavens. I agree. He will win us the match. He's gonna all the puff caps. Oh, look at that! Two puff caps. We wouldn't have had those probably without dog. Protect dog. Okay, this is a lot of puff caps. At least no Karina this turn. We should be fine as long as we just open next turn. Not don't give him no chance of careening. Uh, we block like this. Yep. We could mystic shot this Teemo, but I think that's wrong. If we die to 13 puff caps on this open, or he plays a draw card, sue me. Uh, Overwhelm feels good, right? And then we put, uh, we play Return All Wrench onto, onto Dog. He's going to be equipped with a wrench for his final strikes. The final attack of the match. The win or the lose. 
Man, that's not going to help you. <laughs> that's not going to help you. You need to do with the impact and the overwhelm. You need to, you should have put that on face for a better chance at killing me. I think, right? Watch it be 12. Oh, it's four. It's a lot. Uh-oh. Now we have to be careful with Caitlyn. Right? Okay. So, dog is going first. Right? Followed by this, followed by this, followed by this. Because then if dog is blocked by Caitlyn... And we do we do the impact units first always. If dog gets blocked by Caitlyn, then Mystic Shot um, damage will trigger first. And, well, Mystic Shot goes first, then um, Return Revenge impact before Caitlyn gets a chance to strike because dog has quick attack. Dog. Come on, dog. We might just not even need it. Dog, when's the game? You got overwhelm, man. I can always shot the dog. I can always shot the dog if we need to. But I really don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. I'm just going to miss a shot. I don't want to shoot the dog. That would be really mean. I would honestly forfeit instead. Dog has won us the game. In the end, he died, but it's fine because basically we already won. The next is kind of broke. He's kind of fine. He has pierced the heavens. Two matches. Head Pat. I don't have a dog, unfortunately, but if he was here, he'd be getting Pat Pat. I can Pat. Your Minecraft be. This guy was on my shoulder for like half the day. Not half the day. That would be a complete lie. He fell off my shoulder like five times today. But we can kind of keep him around. Maybe we'll like shove him in here. <laughs> no? Okay. What is this, Darius? Nor. Nor Darius. We're going to do this. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, lo I love Minecraft Legends. They're great. These are actually my partners. They're not mine. Hello! No dogs today? Maybe one better. Aww. We have a cat. Break. There's a cat. We do have a cat. Oh, she, can't she, can't doesn't want, she doesn't want lift. She's not interested in Nintendo gameplay. No. She's been watching for the last few minutes. Um... You know what? She's hungry. Yeah. She's hungry? <laughs> <laughs> that is my brother. He has brought me pizza today. He's making this run happen. Would not happen to them. So true. We wouldn't normally block that if we have, like, a way to drag in hand. But we don't have a way to drag. Um, I think we're going to just go wider. We could like do squeaker return on wrench, but I like Teemo and Forge Chief more. How do you deal with Darius? Yeah. Win the game before he wins the game. Don't get below 10 health. We, um, maybe if we have a Gnar on board, we could wallop, but that's it. Okay, he should never block here. That's wrong. Well, that's his overwhelm damage, I guess. So that is how we win, if he blocks us instead. If we apply more pressure than he does, we can win the game. Just don't give him a chance to do overwhelm damage. Or not much, at least. Okay, we'll return our wrench. Bouncer and Bolt, very tempting. Because then we can play on the same turn as this next squeaker. Both of these also are just not great. Okay, we're taking four. But we're getting another squeaker down. And we get to play Bouncer and Bolt. This is actually a huge turn. Now that we draw that we drew that return on wrench. We can play Dune Hopper Mech turn five. And then this turn we're playing Bouncer and Bolt to drag Iron Ballista. We can play a Spear on Teemo. These get buffed up to 3 damage each. Yes, Darius does get to do what he wants. Which is unfortunate. But hopefully we can just make sure that doesn't matter. At Omenhawk... Yeah. 
So he, that Omen Hawk can block one of these, but it will not kill it, which is nice. Um, Elixir of Iron will punish us here either way, or just make it annoying for this drag. Okay, so we deal five to him, and he loses his entire board, and Teemo's at ten. Next round, all we have to do is play Sand Soldier. He does have Elixir Iron. Okay, so that's unfortunate. Luckily, if he develops it all next round, we have Sam, uh, Dune Hopper Mech to um, to block the overwhelm damage. He only has two cards left in hand as well. We are in a far better position due to us having these two cards. Okay. Uh, we just get to block Gnar. We can't swing this round, basically. If he does swing... He'll get at most three damage. Maybe I don't think there's any other spells he could have. Alright, so our Teemo's leveling, assuming he doesn't have frostbite. The dog is here. Two puff caps. Okay, pushing 19. Don't give him a chance to develop more units. Dune Hopper is such a busted card compared to the warrior uh Celestial. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Mechie Yordles are so much more powerful than Celestials, it's not even funny. Opening in this deck is so strong, just because you can force them to do terrible blocks. Like, put things they would never actually want to put in front of units. In front of units. This is going to be Nar spell, right? A stun on the 6-6. Six, six. Then he takes 5 only. <clears throat> but he's still not in Darius range, which is good. Nerf Celestials. I think they actually buffed Celestials recently, right? They did, uh, like, obviously losing Zoe was terrible. Like, Celestials died when they lost Zoe. It has to be stunned, right? Hello? They nerf it secretly, exactly. They, they just don't buff it, that's a nerf. It's like, it's like inflation. Power creep, that's the word. In the inflation of card games is power creep. Okay, at this rate, Diamond is probably going to take the exact same amount of time as Platinum. If I had to guess. So we're looking at a 14-hour run. Stun. That's a really good way for us to draw out a decisive maneuver. Like, that is the worst decisive maneuver for them. Oh yeah, that new card. Is that... So I know they're doing like the community deck picks or whatever, or like community card builder. Um, okay. Okay, he's drawing, meaning he's uh doing that. Wait, couldn't he have? Did he deal the damage to Nexus? He could have dealt. Oh, wait, maybe Puff capped us. No, he didn't. He could have leveled Nar. I guess it wouldn't have mattered. This is his thought. Um, Electro Harpoon, that's damage, and a way for us to put in a, a return wrench on something. Do that now. More impact. Oh yeah, Hugh, I don't know if you know, but they're, they're doing a thing, Community Card Kitchen. It's basically like a bracket where you are choosing as the community, like, what card they print. There's like eight cards that I think the community designed. And now they're in a bracket to see which one makes it to the top cut of becoming a card in the game. Whichever one wins actually becomes a card. Okay, good game. We have Mystic. We're fine. Which is really cool. I, I really like... It's so cool. Like, there's some really, really, really cool cards. If you haven't seen them, you should totally go check it out. I have not made a video on it. Um, but there, some other YouTubers have. And there's, I think, a Twitter um, thread on it somewhere. Or it's an X thread now. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, my bad. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you for staying around, Crossman. Fingers crossed we make it. I will use dog in your name. Okay, we're just going to do these. Go super aggro. This feels pretty good. Let's try pushing three. 
Can we do it? Hello. Um, we'll screen here. Swing here. Oh my, we hate darkness. I'm I'm glad darkness is not meta right now. Do you have any advice to champion way mode? I would. Can you rephrase your question? Because I'm slightly confused as to your question. We're in a team. Well, actually, it's probably it's probably Earl Square. Shout out to GG. Thank you for the follow. Okay, we're gonna. I think we're just gonna spear open, right? This is still six, which is a lot. Um, he could have the one three, which would feel bad for us to play like a boom boom into. Oh, Path of Champions. I don't play Path of Champions at all. So if anyone in chat has advice for Path of Champions, drop it. But I don't actually play Path of Champions at all, so I cannot give any advice for that. Okay, um... Waltz of Helio. With that in mind, should we just play Nara? I think it's just play Nara. Because what? Like, this is becoming Vigar. There, there, oh, I did not know there's a dedicated suburb path champion. So yeah, that's probably the best place to do that. Bada bada bum. Mm-hmm. Oh. We can burst out the flame chompers. Okay. So this is 11 damage, assuming he doesn't have vengeance or anything. If he has vengeance here, he should use it on Gnar. On Gnar. Okay. He has it. He is at 5 HP. I don't know if he has any life steal. This is our this is our diamond match, so hopefully we can make it happen. Um I think we'll play Teemo. Actually no. We'll pass for now. There's a chance we could like find a Mystic Shot off of this and then win with Blowback. Um, we will actually, well, do we want to block? No, we can't block this, right? Yeah. If we want a chance at winning going wide, we can't block that. And we should still leave that open as a possibility. Electro Harpoon? We win, right? Assuming we're no rave negation. Yeah, he just went on a rave negation. He went exactis. Everybody, I think we're. I think we got it. It's been three hours since I've split. We still, have, we still have to commit the blowback, but down darkness, the vaults, the darkness, the same difference. We please. Wait, what? What could it be? Hate spike. It's, it's still dead. It's still dead. What do you think? What do you think? You were here. Well, we're in Diamond. We're not in Masters yet. You can say you're here soon. Okay, one more rank. This is going to be the hardest one, I think. We're going to split it once we hit it. Bunk. Okay, cool. That's Diamond at 11 hours and 9 minutes. Okay. I'm going to take a, like, 3 or 5 minute break. I'm going to get more tea. I'm going to use the bathroom. If you haven't yet... Follow and sub to me on YouTube because I'm probably going to make a video on this whole run and like do a rundown. I'm going to modify the deck if... Well, let's see actually. Wait, let's see if we get off this epic card. We are not going to use this card. <laughs> Say in diamond. Yeah, I can see that. Let's see. How do I, uh, how do I edit the stream? 
I don't actually know how to do that. Edit. Here we go. All right, I'm editing it. So I'm saying we're 11 hours in. I'm gonna update it, there we go. All right, stream has been updated. Awesome. Cool. All right, I'm gonna be back in like three or five minutes. I'm gonna, yeah, grab tea, use the bathroom, follow me on YouTube and here, I'll be back in a bit. As I walked away, I realized we didn't pause it. I came back, then I paused it. <laughs> We're good. Time saved. I'll be back.
All right. The music stopped. Cool. Music restarted. And let's keep going with this run. Oh, we're in diamond. That feels good. Very happy about that. I've acquired more food and a drink. Thank you, everyone who has stuck around for like the whole run, half the run, whatever. I appreciate it. Doing this with no viewers would suck. <laughs> it would feel so bad. Okay. Viego Nidalee. We're going to drop her a Chenar wrench, I think. And probably Boom Boom as well. We need some, some things at discard. Squeaker does that just fine. Okay, so we're going to do Girl Scar turn one. Then Boom Boom, boom turn. No, actually, no, we'll do Squeaker into uh, Return of Wrench turn two. Casey has blocker. Um, what would be best here? Shadow Tech Walker, probably. He doesn't have any ways to deal with Lucif. I don't know if he has any. Just a straight up alter and trooper. That's fine. Okay, we get our wrench back. Deal three. And then we can do probably boom boom this turn. Um, rummage? Rummage is good because we can. Okay, well. Oh, that's unfortunate, actually. Because we're gonna lose this sonnet, uh, this Yordle Squire. If we pass here, right? Because we don't want to block this anyway. We can play Shout Tech Walker, put Return of Wrench on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it's gonna deal four. And he's under Vengeance Man next turn. But what do we want to discard as a second card? Do we want to discard Tiny Spear? Or do we want to discard this? Probably the Zonite Urchin. So we do this, then we discard the Return Wrench and the Zion Urchin. And put the Tiny Spear on. We're going to be dealing 5 damage elusive then, on each strike. And I, I'm i going to bet he has absolutely no way to deal with it. So we'll do that. Tiny Spear, right here, swing. Nothing to do. Nothing. Which makes me feel nice about getting an augmented clockling as well. He might have a um, hate spike in hand. Based on the slight pass there. He might be trying to bait us into blocking here by just opening. We're not going to. We're just going to clockling. And Teemo. Uh, we'll take another blowback. That's three more burn damage. It's possible. Thank you. Okay, that that will that will kill it. <laughs> Unfortunately, that'll do it. But that might mean there's enough hate spike. Maybe. Uh, we can do. We can do puff cap pup next turn. Maybe. Maybe maybe maybe. I don't know what that is, and I don't really want to risk it, so we're just going to swing for three. If he has Hate Spike, we have Blowback. Okay. Is it worth it here? Probably worth it, honestly. <laughs> it's a little more damage. So what? We're going to get rid of Puff Cap Pup, right? Yeah. Puff Cap Pup is not doing anything right now. And then we're fine doing... Sorry, I bumped the mic. Fine doing nothing for us this turn. Doing seven this way. Has another hate spike. Avenging with Staya. Deny, sure. That works. It gets, draws out of deny. Before we do, like... If we have to play Electro Harpoon and Blowback at some point, 
This feels better. Um, okay, and we get our Return of Wrench back, so Parthamid Hole is going to be more useful now. We can do Harpoon. I oh, know Harpoon, Baboon. We're losing the words today. Pretty far in, so it makes sense. More elusives that he can't deal with, probably. Or has trouble dealing with. He needs removal to do so. I think at this point we are not going to be outboarding him. Or maybe we can. I think it would be a little risky to try. We're going to do we're gonna do this. Yeah, we're going to do this. Okay, cool. We're sure we're not on the ones dying, which is very good. Because now we can parse mid hole. Um, total, to actually no, that's fine. Hate spike. Okay. Like, yeah. What can you do? Uh oh. We're gonna kill that now. We need him to not have elusive because this is effectively a mystic shot if he doesn't have elusive. I'm just gonna kill this. Unfortunate that Flame Trompers has to have the wrench now, but still. Well, actually, no. He was going to get the wrench either way. Holy crap. What does that tell us? He has a unit that he needs this. He he just he just ancient hourglassed his own fading husk. Is there any reason we should open here now? Probably not. Probably no reason to open here. I'm going to predict. Um, a wrench again. Versus a blowback. Oh wait, we're fine. We can just drag. I just realized that. We're, we can literally drag the elusive. So as long as he doesn't have removal, yeah, we're fine. If he tries to hate spike the undying, we have another blowback. Should be exacties. Assuming no deny and no hate spike on. This is the correct unit to hate spike if he has it. If he has third hate spike. Quicksand? That sucks. That does let him live. Um, okay, how do we live? How do we win this? <clears throat> I guess we have to discard the equipment. And try to find like Mystic Shot. Right? That is a deny. Which is problematic. Due to the fact that we need to use the blowback now, that means. And we won't get a good draw off of it. We need to do this now, and we need to top deck. Burn. We have we have parts made whole though, so it gives us a much better chance at finding burn. It just sucks that we have to use this now on the deny, because like he's opening for too much this turn. If we find equipment, maybe we can live. Nar, okay, not does not work. But could we find burn, mystic shot, or blowback? Nope. Cannot. Unfortunate. It's okay, this is the first match of Diamond, so. We're not losing LP down here, so. We're fine. We could have honestly forfeit that match instantly if we didn't want to play it. But I think we had a decent chance, so. The final stretch here. We have to win, I think, in Diamond? It's what, 22 for win. Um, so that times 10 is 220. So if you won 20 matches, it'd be 440. So that's minus 22. It would be 19, 39. I think we have to win, I think we have to win 19 or 18 or 19 matches. I like to see elusives, that's better. Better than Viego Control. Definitely. Uh, we're gonna need to I think I want to hold Scrap Heap for later. Our one-off Echo is here. Cool. 
Let's get to work. Crazy, crazy, crazy stream. <laughs> he did not, he did not opt to block, which is interesting. He thinks he can outspeed us. He might, he might be able to. Um, I think we're going to do, we're going to do a uh, Machiordal shield in case he decides he wants to start blocking. We want to take two. Um, yeah, let's do shield. In case, we, in case we need to start blocking. I don't think damage is actually going to do anything for us here, because whatever we put damage on, he's just going to block. Turn wrench feels awesome. This feels so good. Uh, what do we feel like now? Our turn four plays Echo. Let's grab Earthshaker. Could be our turn. He's like later down the line, but I feel like we kind of have our plays out for the next few turns, and whatever drawing is going to be what we're playing turn five. That's an early something. Like that. that feels wrong, in my opinion. But hey, okay, let's attack like this. So put the shield on this one. This one has the return wrench, so he doesn't want to block that one. This is like his ideal block. Whoa, he's just taking it all. Okay, he's just going to try to. He's just trying to burn us out. All right, he's trying to win before we can. So we just need to focus literally on as much damage as possible. So Echo's going to do that with 4-2 quick attack stat line. Our burn cards really don't do anything. Anymore. We want stats on board. Yep, he's, those are probably two one-drops. Yep. Okay, so Echo's coming down. Mystic Shot on Nexus actually is probably worth it because it's 8 damage. So we're going to do that now. Like, f I don't really care about the extra damage on the elusives. Okay, adds another 8. Gives him a chance to draw them earlier, rather than later. We should try to predict into an elusive, though. There's some puff caps. Enjoy. We'll swing like this. Maybe get him to block with Teemo. Then we can Electro Hardpoint Teemo. And then we'll we'll scrap the mecha or the squeaker. Unless he blocks like that, then we'll just scrap the um scrap the oh. Okay. Just feels really weird to see him not not block like at all. It's a lot. Okay. Let's get that time trick going. Okay, um, we really, really, really need an elusive here. We are probably actually going to place... Well, we can't. Oh, there is an augmented clockling. That's perfect. This is a victory card right now. Assuming he doesn't have Mystic Shot, which... Can we even play around? No. No, we cannot. Um, and Not another elusive. Let's try to find... Let's just literally skip. See if we can find our other clockling. Hearts made whole? Sure. Okay. Um, honestly, let's do this, right? Or no. Um, yeah, in case. You know, it, I don't think it really matters which one we do. Probably Acorn, but his hand's so small, it's not going to matter. He's 102 puff caps. He has to have a Mystic Shot in his hand. Five puff caps. Okay. You're getting puff capped right now. Okay, we can find we can find an elusive off of um Oh that's his swing, we're so happy. Please. <laughs> Let me block now before you have a mystic shot. Does he have overwhelm or something? Okay. Perfect. We will take that. I think we're in the clear now. Assuming no crazy puff cap luck, which can totally happen with some monument. He can just t like luck out. We're just gonna swing here. Deal whatever million damage. 
Maybe we can find a chrono break. <laughs> or get a chrono break. That'd be awesome. 20 million. Oh wait, this is a created card. The small the slight synergy with augment on Echo. Actually huge. Okay, let's do this. Uh yes, please, elusive. <laughs> and also, just in case you're wondering. <sighs> We just leveled Echo in the deck that literally only plays one Echo. And we got Chrono Breaks. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> That's awesome. Now we need to find a Chrono Break and use it. Or he'll hit one of his 156 Puff Caps. Oh my god, he's still alive. <laughs> oh, we found it. We're playing Jinx with no Jinx, and we found Chrono Break. Hush, no. 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 <laughs> Mystic Shot. Oh, we... No, it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. Right? There's no. Is there any way? That's so sad. He had the hush. I don't think so. No. There's yeah. There's nothing. That's so sad. That is so sad. That was so cool. That would have been so awesome to rally against him after he just killed our elusive, but he had hush. It's okay. It's better to lose at the bottom than in the middle of diamond. We're just getting losses out of the way now, and it doesn't matter. That's what happened in silver, right? We lost like five matches in a row in silver, and then we won like most of them for the rest of the rank. Okay. Hello, Annie Jin. Annie Jin. <laughs> Okay, um, this is a fine hint. Don't necessarily want Mystic Shot right now, but hey. It's fine. Uh, we'll probably... Probably just go with Spear. I don't think there's anything we're blocking. Like, I suppose we could... If we grabbed Shield, we could put it on Squeaker. Um, let's do this. See if we can find more discard stuff. There's more discard stuff. I'm gonna play play Spear now if he has nothing. He might have an Annie and he doesn't want to play it. I think we will play Spear here if he does if he passes or has an Annie. Pyrrhite would obviously be the punish. We would be upset to see it. That's what I'm saying too. Um I think we'll just swing with the 2-1. Um but well, we just won't swing at all. Yeah, we're not going to swing. Stuns are bad. We don't like to see stuns. But it's okay. Returno wrench. Or Squeak is discarding Returno wrench. Um, sure. Zip. Uh, what do we want? Probably Professor Von Mech. Because we don't have many units at all. And we have two Return Ranches, so we want things to target them if we end up having to block stuff, which it looks like we will. Alright, this is a very good Tiny Spear. Because now we can block two things. The Fearsome, if he swings with it, now he can't swing with it, because it will block with 3-2, and we can block the Crimson Pigeon, because it'll die. We can go like this and like this, right? Just fine, right? It feels a little bad that we're losing it, but we're getting both of our wrenches back in hand, so we can burst out parts made hall. I think it's probably the play. Not much you can do about that. Yeah, like Von Mac is too slow to play right now. Just do that. Um, push seven. He only has a bad block, so and he has no chance to pair right now. 
Next round, we might want a Gnar. If we like are looking to play Electro Harpoon. Um, Fervor? It's Fervor, this is correct. Well, or that. He's gonna try to win in the burn battle. We're not gonna let him. Good team. Okay. We have so many units to block with, it's fine. His gin is- he doesn't even have Lotus Trap, right? Yeah, we'd have seen it by now. So no Jin in hand. Probably no Annie in hand, because... Well, we would have seen her, and we would have killed her with Electro Harpoon or Mystic Shot or something. Amazing. There we go. I'll speed it up. Get those matches fast. Um, and we'll do Gnar, actually, and if he swings, we will block with Gnar. Because then he has to expend extra resources to... um. Deal with Gnar. And he has to, like, if he swings. Because otherwise, Gnar levels and then he's taking five. Stun an enemy. Um, I think it's worth Electro Harpening here. That, that stage hand is getting through otherwise. We have no way to block him. We're not using Gnar on stage hand. Hello, Annie. So, if it's disintegrate, we block with we block Sunhawk. It's not disintegrate. We get to do the stuff now. His hand's so small, I almost want to go even wider, and I think we will. Because we get two guaranteed one drops out of this. I thought this was an elite at first. The uh, Rune Dragon Guard. And I was like, oh my, we just got the Elite Synergy in hand, random generation. But no. Um, What we draw, I think we win. <laughs> With this amount of burn hand, Fort Chief and Ram Hound. We'll use Ram Hound to drag the 2-3. Stun enemy. Oh, no. You're gone. I'm sorry, man. We got Nightfall. No, we don't want to do that. Is it? Mm. Oh, no. That's so bad. Intimidating roar. Dude, that sucks. Okay, well, hey. At least we get to drag this, I guess. Like, we get impact. It's an unfortunate, unfortunate card for him to have. That's very, very random. Intimidating roar in Indigen. I get it. I get why he has it. I kind of feel like it's delaying the inevitable for him, though. Because he has one card left in hand and an Annie at two. Two cards in hand. We can kill Annie. Crack shot Corsair. Okay. We are going to... We're going to do this now. Right. Just because. If he wants to swing with Crack shot Corsair, he can. We will just block it with Gnar. Gnar levels again. This becomes vulnerable, and we win. Should not be... Yeah, there we go. Good game. Not be possible for him to win that one. Oh, we've almost been streaming for 12 hours. I think I started the stream... Well, I guess it's a little bit delayed because I've taken like four or five breaks. So the run timer is different than the stream timer for that reason. If anyone has questions about the run... Chats on followers only, so if you follow, you can ask. We can tell you at the beginning of the room. It was not, we were not actually playing this deck. We're doing the whole run without um, spending any money, and this is on a fresh new account. So, like, we're just using whatever the heck we get from starting rewards, basically, which is this weird deck. And this is Shadow Isles Lissandra. This is definitely super heavy control. So, we could actually see some issues here, and that is M5 Lissandra. Wow. Um, we don't care about Electro Harpoon. I think we just want to do a lot of damage before Avalanche on turn 3. I think. Um. 
I th like I guess we could play like Forge Chief. There's a lot of lot of ways we could do this. I'm gonna just do Forge Chief. You choose a not swing, whatever. Okay. Okay, now we go really wide. This is actually ideal. Uh, because unless he has another one drop, or like I guess he could have the two drop create a thrall. That might be what he's doing. I'm not. Unfortunate that he has these, but we have to do this now. Otherwise, we're just we're losing them anyways to the avalanche. So get two mana back. We can find a mech yordle that might be valuable. Yeah, unfortunately, those are probably his only one drops. If I had to guess. Okay, the opts to not avalanche makes sense because it's just our two one. Cool. Um, let's just pass for now and let's see what we find on the scrap heap and determine if we actually want to play it. He probably has an avalanche at this point that he's looking to play. So I think it's extremely risky and it has to be super rewarding if we want to. Definitely not worth it to play any of these right now. So we're just going to grab Dune Humper mech and play it round five. Put a spear onto this one and drag like this. Yeah. Cool. Five damage. Probably has an avalanche. We're just going to make sure he can't use it. If he could use it here, not going to. Well, Mystic Shot face. We're going to stay high in mana, or like good mana efficiency. Um, and next round, he should hopefully go under 6 immediately. Okay. He just kills his own Lissandra. We have a blocker. He probably does, like, awesome. Now we just get to open with the Sand Soldiers. Perfect. Uh, and we can return our wrench mid combat, depending on what he does. Frosh, flash freeze. Okay. Um, as long as the return our wrench. Hmm. If we do this, we want to lose Timo. Basically, I think so. Timo, we're not putting any puff caps on. Timo's probably not worth over the two damage the electro harpoon is gonna do. Okay, that's 10 damage now, instead of whatever we would have done otherwise. Perfect, that dies. He doesn't drain anymore. That was actually the best possible unit that could have hit, because now it drains, and we're not having to deal with that anymore. So that was crazy, and I think we would just win now. So that was a really, really lucky thing to happen. Now we just do this, and we win. Oh, wait, is it? Okay, we just have to put click done, and it lets us go through with it. Okay, I didn't know how that worked. He has to make a drain card. He doesn't have it. Cool, good game. Oh, I couldn't throw that the GG, no. Sad. Okay, first win of diamond. Oh, wait, no. Second win of diamond? God, I'm losing track, man. Second win of diamond. What was our last match? I've gone mad. <laughs> We've gone mad. Oh, I need to stand up for like 10 seconds and stretch. Oh, okay. No, oh, we're back. We're good. Uh, Nora Kaisa. Pizza. On, drop all those. We could have like kept the mystic shot around, but I was pretty confident we would find another one by the time we need it because it's like we have, I think three of mystic shot and three electro harpoon, maybe two electro harpoon. Either way, we have a lot of ways to deal damage to Nora. So, I don't even think that's the main thing this deck is doing. Boom, boom, boom. Do you guys think that we can make it? Do you think we're going to make it tonight? I think I'm going to stop.
at. I think I actually will not be able to continue at 1 a.m. I think I will be way too tired. But do you think we can make it? I think we can, but I don't know if you guys believe. Because that, that will boost my spirit if you if you also believe. So I'm basically telling you to, to believe with me. <laughs> um, he might not be here, which would be nice. Thank you. Wow. Let's see. If he is here, we probably just pass honestly. May do more efficient discards instead. Like we don't have anything good to use with those on nights. We can just now, like next round, well, this uh, round three, we can discard the flame trumpers and whatever we're drawing, probably, will be discardable. I want to level Echo again and have it actually work. That was so sad that match <laughs> with the Sun Monument. He also totally could have just died to all the puff caps, but didn't. All right, opponent is gone, I think. I hope. <laughs> okay, ending. I think he's not here, I doubt it. If we do this, this is world record, which is because no one's ever timed this, I think. Also, I don't think anyone's ever done it this fast, period. Um, I know that people, have, from what I've heard from other people who've talked to me about this run so far, is that people have done eight hours from platinum to masters at the start of the season, which makes sense. The start of the season is going to be harder to get from platinum to masters. But we, yeah, we're just doing the whole thing, the whole shebang with, yeah. Just random stuff, so. Alright, we're gonna do Yordle Squire Tiny Spear and discard the Tiny Spear. <clears throat> I'm gonna start to lose my voice probably in the next like two hours. I'm trying to save it with tea. We don't know if that's gonna happen. Who knows? I might phone a friend and have them commentate over the game. But then, then you don't know what I'm thinking, which is like kinda lame. Opponent? You here? I think you are here. Given the fact that you're still passing. Alright, um, we'll take eight on open. Just in case. I always am slightly reluctant against people who stay and are still passing on turn seven. Basically, I'm reluctant to play a unit because they could be doing some castigate mind games, basically, where they're holding up castigate till turn seven, then just being, gotcha, I'm actually still here, then just rolling you. Because you committed all your resources. So yeah. We're going to not fall for that if that's what's happening. But they're probably not here. <laughs> I just genuinely think they're not here. This happened twice today. We'll this card find a mech yordle. Let's see if we can get like the 6 drop or something. Or 5 drop. The Sand Soldier one. I guess we'll discard Scrap Heap. Because we're basically just getting a unit from it. Um, Von Mech? Mm. It really doesn't matter what we pick at this point. In case of a board wipe, we can do that, but I think we win. Got to get to the next round. If he passes this next round, we'll just swing at him and win. Because we have, like, seven damage and burn at this point. No, oh, I wish people would just forfeit. Then let's make this a faster run.
Pau. So do you guys want to talk about the state of the economy? Something fun? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're waiting for this match to end, man. Please. Just end it. <laughs> Play till turn six without the opponent doing anything. Kind of numbing. Talk about how I can get this bubble sword to stay on my shoulder. Because I've tried for hours today with this stupid tape gun that does not work. I'm gonna slap it. He's got like a little tape ring now, see? And the, the goal is for him to sit right here for the rest of the run. We're just gonna like press him down for a minute just to see if he'll stay. This is the support Bulbasaur. And there he is. Stay there. Okay, continue. Come on. Yeah. All right, three wins. Three out of 19. Masters before 14 hours would be pretty crazy. Um, before 13 hours would be insanity. <laughs> I don't think that's even possible. It would have to be like very good luck to get into Masters before 13 hours. Probably more like 15 hours, if we're being honest. All right, um, Demacia traps, definitely interesting. Drop Nar. Um, I think we'll just do Yordle. Uh, well, depends for turn one blocker. Could be Teemo. In that case, we'd want to do Yordle Squire. Right. We'll just swing into that now in case he has some way to remove it or like buff it. Form up. I don't think he would use it here, but hey. Ah, uh, we will see. Mm, okay. Um. So it's boom, 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 right? Yeah, because he discard fodder. He can block if he chose to block. Otherwise, cool. Otherwise, we just put the spear on flame chompers. <clears throat> um, so it's squeakers and zonite urchin probably. Because oh, now it's definitely because we can double return our wrench. It feels insane. Maybe flame chompers if he plays a unit that we can drag and guarantee more damage. Yeah, like that. This is now this is now the better line. Uh, so we're attacking on three, so Dune Hopper Mech is correct, I think. We're talking on evens rather. Odds. Numbers. Ah. Uh we do this. Swing for five. Hit him for five. End round. Okay, we'll do we'll do augmented clockling, probably. Or I guess no, maybe we do Teemo. Um, I th I honestly will block that because I don't want Nexus Strike to hit Zonairgen, like the uh, flash bombs. Maybe we'll even Mystic Shot it. Actually, now that we think, now I think about it, like, uh, let's see what he does. Do we'll do uh. I think we'll just do this, right? And if he, uh, cause I don't want him to like form up. Yeah, I don't want him to form up this. I'm fine with Acorn coming through and dealing damage to us. We form up this. Yeah, we'll just, form, we'll just shoot it. Actually, will we? No, yeah, that's a fine use, that's fine. I'm fine with using his form up like that. I don't think we care. 
Um, okay, we'll, we're gonna do just Dune Hopper right out the gate then, and then swing. Probably putting spear on something. Now we have these mystic shots for burn, so that's good. If we put spear on hex obliterator, that is unfortunate. Nothing we can do to stop that. Uh, let's just swing like this. Like this, so he can't block the others. Yeah, like this. This is fine. Then he has to use an elusive blocker, the sting officer. Or he'll just take four. That uh, We're so fine with that. That's actually very, very good. We like to see that. Um, okay, so now we can play Clockwing pretty safely. So we're gonna we're gonna get a flash bomb on our deck, unfortunately. Hmm. Electro Harpoon's very, very good here. Because we can kill Sting Officer and discard this equipment. And have exactly three mana held in spell bank. So unless he has another form up, which if he has another form up, he's gonna swing with Acorn. He doesn't have another form up. It sucks, actually. Well, because we do return on wrench. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. No, well, actually, this, right? Do we want the extra damage? I think we want to keep Electro Harpoon around for extra damage. Right? Yeah. Just like that. Deal two. So then we have. A decent amount, and so that if we find another unit later, he, he's not getting flash bombs. He can't kill our Zion Urchin. Well, he's getting flash bombs from this, but we have a lower chance of hitting them if we do it like this. So, see, so that's good. Yeah, we're taking four. No way around that. Unless we blocked, which we're not doing because we need the impact. Okay. Glad we did it like this because now. We can Electro Harpoon onto Boom -a Boom. Alright, we'll hit that uh, Augmented Clockling with our uh, Electro Harpoon. If he doesn't have another unit, he, totally, he might have just pulled a unit here or a form up or something. Then we can just, we can just play Flame Trumpers and uh, go wide on him. Okay, he does. Unfortunately, uh, we'll still play Flame Chompers and drag uh, Acorn. Actually, no. That sucks. All right. Um, in that case, we're swinging for our burn. He has to block. So, yeah, that, that's technically beneficial for him, I guess. It gets it out of Electro Harpoon range. We're probably going to Electro Harpoon this anyways, though. Okay, so we need any burn or any unit, basically, and we win. Um, he four Demacias, then we're fine, right? We can just like, yeah, we're fine. Um, scrap heap onto this, find something. Vonmik actually is huge if he decides to go for this four Demacia line, because we have what. Yep, so he's gonna he's gonna try that. He's gonna deal eight to us. So long as he doesn't have double mystic, which he doesn't, because he only has one card in hand. We can we can assume that he won't. Um manifest a follower. I think we're actually gonna predict and then create three copies of the chosen card deck or card in in deck. There you go. Where's our heart? Um what lets us win? Does any of this let us, like, help us? I guess Clockling lets us find more burn if we need it, so let's do that. Okay, Fortimacio. Sure. Um, so, <laughs> we'll do the impact damage. Plucky Portal. We take nine. 
So long as both the flash bombs don't get triggered this next turn. Or like, it, as long as we don't hit two flash bombs. We should actually still be fine because we can throw a return wrench onto Deck Hunter. Okay. Um, is there any reason we should... Well, he could have picked like... If he picked Hex Obliterator, then we should do Deck Hunter. Right? Yeah. If he picked Shock Blast, then this is bad. And we shouldn't do this. I'll play Exalted Poro. Round and... Oh, this is actually... This could be good. This is more dealing more damage. If if we somehow didn't manage to swing, I think we'll just do Exalted Poro though, because we want to play. We want to be able to play Clockwing. That could do one more damage, but it's not. I don't think it's relevant enough. Hmm. Okay, um, I think we win. We just have to make sure it's not a Hexbliterator, basically. So we play Exalted Poro, play Return on Wrench, Swing, Double Mystic Shot. Two impact damage. <clears throat> I don't know what this could be. Like, Hextech Anomaly? Exploiter. I'm glad we did this then, because now we win. We played around it effectively. Awesome. Exacties. Good game. Four of 19. Four masters. Bum, bum, bum. Let's get to Diamond 3. Good pizza. Pizza fuels 12 hour streams. This is going to be such a crazy video to edit. Oh my lord. Going through 12 hours of footage. And this is traps. Well, 12 hours, not for like 14 hours. My lord. Um, we'll just do this. We don't really need scrap heap right now. We have a very, very low curve hand. So we can... Assuming we don't find a wrench on top. Wow. Let's push crazy damage, I guess. So he's probably not going to block this. Shouldn't. He doesn't know we have this hand. Squeaker is going to get huge. Pop. Um, okay, we can't deal with that, but hey. Okay. We take three. I'm actually going to grab a shield. As our last one, so that Squeaker can get through if we end up doing Squeaker. Because uh, Puff Cat Pup is. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to discard a spear and then put a shield on this uh, Squeaker. Let's think here. Do we just go Ultra Low Curve and do Fury Horn Crasher for that reason? I'm fine with that. Yeah. So that means the next round will was be being very, very mana efficient. Yeah, so we're gonna do this. So then he's a three three. He can't be blocked and killed by one of those. So that matters. <clears throat> yeah. Awesome, we get to use him twice. Definitely correct to do shield there. Let's push so much more damage. He opts to not even touch it right now. So he might have a mystic shot. If he swings with Puff Cap Pup, he has a mystic shot or a um ping. Go pie toss. Still holding up two mana. 
Um, do we want to just blow back? We have nothing good to discard, though. I think we just keep going wide, honestly. Yes, keep going wide. We're fine. If we... No, I think we still... Uh, so he definitely has a Mystic Shot. And I don't want him to use it on our stuff. So we're just going to play... Ugh, actually it's hard. If we do Fury Hunt Crasher, we get to buff the top cards of our deck. But if we do... Um... If we do Boon Boon, then we can do uh, Parts Made Whole. I think that's better, because then we get to do Flame Chompers pull. We're just trying to burn him out here. I'm very, very, very aggressive on him. So we're going to drag Pup. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we're threatening lethal. We have 5 damage and burn in hand. He has a Mystic Shot, I believe, because of the way he did everything this match. If he has a Sump Monument, this is the best possible time for him to use it. And we can't really do anything about it. Except for put Puff Caps in his deck with uh, Electro Harpoon. If he has that, I think he sealed it. Okay, he doesn't have it. I think we win. It's crazy how that card can literally just be like, okay, if he has it, he wins. And if he doesn't, I win. Just in PNZ. It's just so weird for a monument to give so much. Like, how it's health. Um, I think we kill just in case something goes wrong. Nah, we'd actually rather do it like this. Because we have blowback for Teemo. We'd rather kill Puffcap Peddler this round so that he's not planning as many Puffcaps. Now he's going to play all of his spells, right? Or he just loses. That's fine too. Okay, Diamond 3. Three more divisions. Uh, that's five out of 19, I think. Awesome. Are we going to get this epic capsule tonight? I don't know. Like, do we have any rewards? No. Yeah, and there's no way we're getting this epic capsule tonight. That would be insane, and I really hope we don't get this epic capsule, because I think that means we, the run would be like 16 hours long at that point. And that is my... I think that's going to be my hard cutoff. If we don't do the run that time, that happening. Three more ranks. Exactly. Three more divisions. Is it divisions or ranks? Like, is it division diamond? I don't exactly know how that works. Or, like, what you call both. Oh. Jin Nora. This could be bad. Definitely. Uh, blowback. I don't want... We can find another way to kill Nora. Dun, da, da, da. I think we just for chief. This gives us. We're just playing around him having Nora. We want to play two ones. He just can't play Nora. Or well, if he plays Nora, there's no point. That is unfortunate. Okay, we can't swing into that now. We could have just opened for two, but... You know, there's always, like, I feel like the chance of him not having that's better. Okay, Nora. We can't deal with you this round, but we can deal with you later. Maybe we can find Geode Mecha Forcer? Nope. Shadow Tech Walker. That'll also help. Okay. So next attack round, we get to swing with Shadow Tech Walker, and we're going to drag the 2-3 with our uh, Flame Trumpers. We'll just take this. Just pushes maximum damage. Yeah, let's do Spear. I don't see any reason to do Shield here. Okay. This is one of the like most interesting cards that I've like I've just noticed how interesting this card is today. There's so many lines that can change based on whether or not you pick uh, Spear or Shield. Like actually, they can change the whole outcome of the game. Just like really, just cool. 
Like, uh, we'd rather him trade down that junk construct. And then do some stu other stuff with it, so. If I were him, I would probably block the elusive here unless he has a way to remove it. Just because Nor's not getting through anyways. I know it sucks for him to like throw his Nor in front of something, but like this tells us he should, I in like a ideal world, have a way to remove this Shadow Deck Walker. Also, we could have totally dropped a spear, I just realized. Oh no, Forward Chief gave us the mana. Never mind. I forgot. I forgore. Okay. Um no. Oh my god. That is literally the perfect card for him to have grabbed. And I am going to kill it now. <laughs> that is the perfect thing for him to have top decked. Or like gotten from that portal. It can kill the 2-5. We have to do this now. That is insane. That is such a good pull. Portal RNG. What? Deny? That would be a worthy deny. Stun. Yeah. Um, I counter your stun. Actually, no. We're going to play Gnar. Gnar's going to level. And we're going to drag Jin. We're fine with him planning one more portal. That's okay. Uh, we can afford to block just junk. Um, actually, no, Jin. Because then it's more damage, right? We'll block like this and block Jin like that. I don't think we're winning on Wideness this turn. Or like this game. So we can just do this. Because Jin's going to be the one that gets uh, vulnerable. We'll drag into him with Gnar. Instead of the 2-3, which would be one less damage. Okay. And then we can hold up this blowback to do damage later. Yes. Okay, we're at twelve. We're twelve hours in. <laughs> Please follow. I appreciate it. I am staying on a stream for twelve hours playing Terra for you guys. I'm gonna like follow it. I appreciate you so much. I think we're just gonna swing like this. We have five damage and burn in hand. He will probably block with Nora here. He should. Yep. Still doing burn damage though. We could have chosen to like group shot. Um, so is there a way? No, there's not. I was thinking maybe we could find a way to like get it to be four or less than four units, but I don't think there's a reasonable way for us to do that. Oh, wait. Duh, we just do this. Jin, uh, Jin takes more overwhelm damage to blowback. He doesn't have wallop. He would have used it already. Uh, denied. Nope. I just got noped. Okay. So we just discarded cards and didn't get the benefit. Could be bad. Now our transform is back. We're probably going to use him to get a pokey stick. This is good because we can throw someone, throw her down for the blowback, blowback fodder. Ideally, we don't lose this one, but if we do, we only lose 10 LP because we're at uh, diamond three bottom. So, okay, we will block here, right? Probably block the lava lizard or. We're dealing. We're killing his. Oh, that is tough. I don't want to have to blow back. We'll blow back. Like we'll do this because we need Nar. If he has a way to kill Nar, and he commits it during combat, then we'll use it. Yeah, then we'll use it. I do, like, if he's smart about it, he shouldn't do it during combat. He should wait till after combat. Um, okay. Yeah, that was not correct. Should, don't do that, basically. Uh, 
we just do this, right? Two damage blowback. We don't get the stick, but we deal two to Nexus. Nar levels, and we drag. We could have honestly just pre committed the blowback and assumed he wouldn't misplay, but we kind of assumed he would misplay for some reason. Don't assume the opponent's going to misplay. General rule of climbing. Uh, pre commit this mystic shot. Man efficiency in case we find something like Mecha Yodel expensive. Portal Palooza, he is looking for stuns, I guess. The strongest ally, if the strongest ally has four health, he's fine. <gasps> or if he does that, he heals. No. We hate to see that. Disintegrate? Does he have another? Does he have another Pytos? Okay, he doesn't. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, this is the strongest. Never mind. As long as he doesn't have a stun or three damage. He doesn't. Awesome. That was so close. Good game. Very, 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 very close match. It's so dark in here. The light, my usually my natural light is like the other side of my face light, so now my face is just blue on this side. You gotta invest in a second light for my the left side of my face. Or a ring light for the camera. That would just be way smarter. But ring lights are expensive, I think. Maybe they're not. Yeah. Alright, if we reach if we reach 50 followers by the end of the night, I'll buy a ring light. And then I won't be in the dark. That that's that's what I'll do. Cause then I can justify it. Exactly. Nice lurk! We're playing against BDO. This is the best hand ever in a lurk. The best lurk hand. Okay, can we just push like 50 million damage? We might. Yeah, let's just discard this, see what we find. Well, wish we had that last round. Oh, he missed Lurk. Awesome. He's so mad. <laughs> uh, we're gonna grab Shield. So if he plays, um,. Like a 1 2 or something? Or actually, no. If he plays another Snapdraw Swarm, we have a blocker. Because that might be his only attacker. Actually, no. That won't matter. Whatever. Actually, this could matter. Because if we put shield on Chompers, Chompers can drag twice. That's relevant. Unintentional. The opponent's turn. Alright, cool. Fast match. Opponent did not hit Lurk. Opponent has FFs. Makes sense. Halfway through Diamond 3. Three more matches in Diamond 3, I think. We'll be at 98 LP after 2. Unfortunately, but hey. We'll take it. Yes. I might get more tea soon. We'll see. I think we're going to keep going for a bit. Next time I need to take a break, then I'll go get more tea. But hey. Oh, it's Lurk again. I think we do really well in Lurk. I think we just have really good odds because of all the low cost units we have. It's like we have can always make an easy mulligan for it. And like our return our wrenches are always coming back to our hand because we're trading our units off after discarding it. Two Nars. Both Nars in hand. Um Squeaker. Or Yordle Squire. I think it's Yordle Squire, right? Just wishing you and Spear, probably. 
Okay. Um. Yeah, we will. Uh, just for the sake of doing more damage on this attack, we're actually gonna do it like this. Because we have discard fodder. Maybe, maybe we should have not, but I don't know. I like a little more damage because we're probably gonna be blocking with this anyways, basically. No, this round. Okay, more discard fodder on Yordle Square. Summons a pike, striking an enemy. Okay. That's fine, I think. Like, that's not very much pike damage. We're just gonna make it so that our units are more damage than pike. Or than pike's health. Or equal. So then we can just keep pushing through. Uh, we'll take three. That's fine. Alright, block here. Or not block here, my lord. We're, we're tired. You can tell we're tired. Uh, let's do Dune Hopper Mech because we're attacking on e uh, odds, not evens. Yeah, okay. And then we can just buff it once. Then play Gnar after this. We could, like, I don't know. I, I like doing this because now it gives him only a bad block. If we develop Gnar, it gives him a good block. He has to trade away his pike, basically, if he wants to not take 7 damage. And he's rather... He's in a rather bad spot if he takes 7. And he knows this. Uh, we can play Gnar at the end of this round, and he's going to level. You know, overall Gnar. And we have a second Gnar, so we can do Wallop, so Gnar's effectively 5 damage. Cool. Wait, we're attacking on evens. Why did I think we were attacking on odds? Dude, I'm losing it. We're fine. We will just gnar into the strand. He took the 10, so it's great. Snap draw swarm. Okay. We will block. Gnar. So gnar is going to be get granting pike vulnerable, vulnerable right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he comes back from this. We have we have potentially decimated his whole game plan with that turn four attack. We could get to mass halfway through diamond at about an hour and thirty minutes into diamond. Okay, wait. Do we care? <laughs> like, if Rek'Sai levels, do we care? We probably should care. Yeah, we're, we're gonna stun Rek'Sai. <laughs> I, I think he has Ruthless Predator, and then we would also lose Gnar, which would be bad. Um, You don't understand, sir. I'm sorry. But you are mistaken. Like, this is bad, obviously, because Pike is living and doing damage. But so you don't understand. Okay, we can play Dune Hopper Mech. Do, 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 do. Pike goes back in. Okay, like, Bone Skewer here or Pike Spell would suck. He didn't hit Lurk. Okay. I think we're gonna play Teemo. Actually, wait. We just do this. Do we just win? All right, do, do we just win? I think we just win. We should just win. Yeah, good game. Pike down. Pike down. Good thing we stunned that Rek'Sai. Because then it would have been a blocker. 
He thought it worked the other way. It didn't. It didn't matter though. Like he could have. Wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Come on. Two more diamond to two. Dun -da 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 -da. Dun -da 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 -da. Hey guys, soon you're gonna need to start telling your friends to get on because they might, you know, first time this has ever been done. We, I think we're, I think we're on pace for f under 14, under 14 hours. If I had to guess the exact number, I'm gonna say 1353. 13 hours, 53 minutes, and 42 seconds. You can hold me to that. I'm not going to guess milliseconds. Karma set. Um, he has so many ways to kill Echo. Oh, I can keep Echo. I'm just going to do this. Try to go for the more aggressive line. I think it makes sense in Karma set. Um, let's manage heat a bit. Then this round we're gonna probably we're worried about caustic riff. We just have to pretend he doesn't have it, maybe. We'll play as if he has it, act honestly. Let me do this. And then we can make shield. Because um, we he can't see what we make. Uh, it's definitely Perez on map. If we can go wide, he shouldn't have many ways to stop us. Okay. Um, cost of grip is 4 mana, right? 4 mana, I cost 2 less. So he does not have it. Very good to know. So, what does that mean we should do? Probably just... Tiny Spear. Then Augment's gonna get plus one damage. He could obviously have Mystic Shot. Um, and if he does, he should use it now. Yep. Uh, we'll just grant something random the Spear. So then we can attack like this. Doesn't actually matter the order. So then he has to block one of these and we get to continue mana cheating. If he wants to block for the most damage, obviously. Okay, now, depending on our draw, well, not necessarily what we want to see. I think it's decent, but let's play Von Mech this round. Let's see what we find. Um, no, we're not in a block. If we just attack, we're dealing some damage, but like... The, the chance he has two units is low, and if he starts using spells, then we're fine. So we're going to play Forge Chief, Come on, people. Let's make tomorrow today. and then probably Clockling. Ooh, that's really good for us. We'd love to see that. Uh, four mana, if it's another heal, Oxtra Shock. Sure. We can, go, we can continue going wide now. So we're going to discard Destined Foro. Hunting Boar. Could be funny. Probably just going to discard it though. Actually no, we're going to... Forge Sheaf? Right? And then Electro Harpoon the Smooth Mixologist. So we get all of our mana back. Three spell mana returned. Then this dies on the block. So we're dealing 13, he's taking 10 guaranteed, then we just blow back, next round start, and we have so much mana anyways. So he's taking, we have 9 mana. We have made more mana than the Karma set player has, I think, at this point. Okay, he's probably just found a blowback to die. So we're gonna use Clockling then, try to search for Mystic, or another blowback, that works too. We're just going to play the higher mana blowback. Um, 
We're just gonna do we're gonna do it like this. We'll take we'll take damage, obviously. He's not gonna kill us with damage. It's stop blowback. Okay, so now we just swing, and if he has some way to kill our whole board, like a uh, what's it called? A Costa Griff. She would need more than just that because we have some two health units. Even if he has that, we have another blowback. Okay, he's trying to find Costa Griff, probably. And does he find it? If he finds it, we can blow back because he's only at four mana. High note, I think we're still fine. We still win. Good game. We're good. All right. Continue onward and upward into almost diamond two. We are at 98 OP. So it's 10 more matches, 10 more, and we are there. Or maybe nine, actually, wait. 10, it would be, I think it's nine matches. Yep, nine matches. Mm. Chat, you guys might need to tell me a bedtime story at the end of this. <laughs> Gonna be so tired. Um, Girl Squire, boom, boom, boom. Try and scrap heap. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, uh, we'll do spear. I think that's what we've learned in the lurk. We've seen so much lurk. Probably tells us if we're seeing this much lurk in diamond, lurk is probably something that's actually helping people get out of diamond. Thank you for the follow. Uh, actually, there is no reason for us to attack here. Uh, actually, yes, there is in case he doesn't have an attack here next round. Okay, we'll do boom 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 this round. And then put the spear. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm really glad we attacked there, because I don't think he has an attacker. But you do. I got baited. It's fine. Not not that bad. I think we want I think we want to develop anyway, basically, so. Yeah. Um do we want to do... Let's do this. Yeah. Um, How does Lurk deal with Elusive? It pretty much doesn't, unless it has Pike spell. Free attack. He hit it. Block. Fortunately. We, okay. We could not block and then push four. But... That kind of goes against the entire way I play against Lurk. Um, actually, no, it's probably a beneficial time to do it. So let's let's take the two. Tiny spear on on the uh, the boy, the squeaker. We'll do that. Then ideally, if he just doesn't open, we can play Boom Boom to kill this, and we'll have our big squeaker. And we like that a lot more. Can I just play Shadow Tech Walker? Um, Pike, hello. Let's just do this, because then we can get another um, Flame Trompers on the board. Shouldn't swing with that, but hey. We'll take it. And then we drag, yeah, we drag Zonite. Right? No, actually, we do this first. Return our wrench. So that Return Ranch does not have a chance at hitting Flame Chompers. Um, I think we just grab another Shadow Tech, I, I guess. Yeah, we're... So the thing is, we're not actually playing the Shadow Tech Walker at next round start. We're just opening, because we're dealing so much damage. Right, seven. If he has any blockers, he'll use them. And we get to play Gnar now, so this is actually even better than I thought it would be. Pike's only at 8. That's fine. And you might also have that card that, like, is the attacker. Pike spell? Rip. Um, so that's bad. Because Pike's really, really, really close to leveling. Pike is leveling. 
Having double pike, that could just win the game. Right? Like, even with Gnar, why would, like, what's the point of playing Gnar here? I don't think there is one. We're going to drop this Mystic Shot on his face now for mana, mana efficiency. Because basically, we want to do this block, and he's going to kill this 2-1, right? He, we want him to swing here. Oh, uh, stop. Uh, we'll play Yordle Squire, because Yordle Squire is not getting through anyways. She's just going to be a blocker. We're going to do Tiny Spear for more damage. We're going to win through these Shadow Tech Walkers doing damage. That's it. That's the only way. If she has a Rally, we're dead anyway, basically. We block like this. It takes 7. Pike's leveled. Unfortunate, but... We have to. Okay. Hello, Pike. So, I would love to see Blowback on top right now. And he has Rally. Okay. <laughs> Nothing we can do about that. That was a crazy, crazy... There. To be fair, we went against Lurk that literally hit nothing, and then this was Lurk that hit everything, so it happens. We go next. Oh. The, the Bulbasaur's been staying up. He's good. Chilling on the shoulder. Do -do -do -do. Set. Seraphine Karma. Okay, Return o Wrench. Uh, so this would be a little risky because we don't have any discards guaranteed in hand, but I think we'll find some. Okay, we haven't yet, but now we have things that we can play otherwise, so it's a little better. Do -do -do. I think the music has stopped. The music has stopped. There we go. Fix the music. Oh, YouTube. We will swing. Ding. Um, that sucks. <laughs> <clears throat> There's only one of those in their deck, so. Yep. We'll poison Puff Cap Pup. And then we can return. We can press made whole. Next round open. Oh, the return our wrench. Get a 3-2. Hopefully he doesn't Mystic Shot like now. He sh like doesn't need to do that. And it would only interrupt this play. Like That's the only reason if he sees this play. He has it, I think, based on the way he's playing now. Yeah, he should just wait. Little does he know. He shouldn't, actually. But no, no one plays around that, I don't think. Okay, boop. We get a Mirage. So now we get guaranteed damage, I think. Unless he has double Mystic, double High Note, whatever. One of them. Okay, High Note. Definitely not as good as our, that other match we had against, uh, like, Karma Set. But Set Seraphine's going to be much, much more difficult to win against, because they have a lot more pingy stuff. I think, if I'm for a call. 4-1 Quick Attack. That's frustrating to deal with. Um, yeah, I, I guess we'll just ignore it. <laughs> boom -a boon And then we'll play Puff Cap Pub. Scrap Traption. Uh-oh. Okay, so now we're not going to be able to do the wrench, or two wrenches. We're going to have to drag the Scrap Traption in order to keep our uh, his blocks bad. Yeah, so we're going to do it like this. So wrench here, then Flame Trompers. So wrench goes on one of these. Cool. Uh, three blow black is way too many <laughs> right now in our hand, I would say. 
<clears throat> but it is still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 burn damage if we play slow. That's a ton. Stun. Okay. Yes. Indeed. Um, I think he has elusives. Right, he has like the... He might have the 2-1, like the one that creates a coin. That's actually honestly more of a karma set thing, though. So do we like... Commit a blowback right now? Like this? No reason to do it now, I guess, because we can't block it anyways. So we'll just skip. It's clockling now. Let's see what we can find. Maybe we'll find something to discard. Uh, press made hole. Or boom, boom, boom. Parts made whole could let us discard an equipment again. But could we actually get wider? Probably not. <laughs> Honestly, probably not. So let's just do flame jumpers. This 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 will let us get wider, maybe. How's a chance at it? Are you gonna recall this? Okay, so that's definitely something. So we'll play Flame Chompers, and then I think we're gonna actually blow back this Tail of the Dragon, uh, the Dragon card, whatever it's called. Now, uh, 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 wrong order. So this, then this. Yes, and then we drag, and we're gonna deal like twelve, no eleven. The twelve minus, so it's we get eight attackers, we get ten. If he has nothing, which at this point maybe he doesn't. We might have, uh, could have gone him down. Yeah, 10 damage. Let's see. He has, if he has stuns, we use him here. Double stun? Mystic and Riff? That definitely works. Rip. Alright. Definitely works. Now. We're gonna parse made hole. Let's get another blocker on board. Get some more cards in hand. Okay, uh, Yordle Squire. Let's do damage. What's the Seraphine at? Eight out of nine. That's spooky. We don't like that. Whoop. Um. There's no way we can make this big enough to block, right? I guess we could do double blowback right now, and it wouldn't be terrible. We just do this, and and action, and just this, right? So we discard a four. Stops it, and we we deal six damage. If he has a deny, he uses it, right? This checks his hand for a deny, I guess. We could also mystic it, but it's just, we're going down to six is kind of scary right now. They have a lot of things, like if they have mystic shot still, that's four damage burn. Hex tech transmogulator. Progress deck. Transmogulator wouldn't do anything. Recall. Okay, nice. He is looking for ways to survive this next attack. We'll just open if he doesn't have anything. Oh? I'd say that definitely kind of screams he doesn't have much. Maybe a Mystic? If it's another Costa Crypt, that would really suck, right? Oh. Are you kidding? We t we deal no damage. That's a that sucks. Dang. Um. Uh, stop. He doesn't have Seraphine. There's always a chance, but it's looking a little iffy right now. So we'll do. Um. 
I guess Yordle Squire with Tiny Spear, Scrap Heap, Return Our Wrench, try to find something that's going to do a lot of damage for us. Big. Little Dipper. Let's play my discard a unit. Well, Little Dipper is the biggest unit, so we're probably just going to play it. It's hardest for him to deal with. So get rid of a Kathleen Mirage. It's just like Little Dipper kind of doesn't do much here. Mainly use Little Dipper to cheat out uh, like a big, big unit early, but that's not happening here. Okay. Um, we will now FF because this isn't happening with Karma <laughs> on board. Yeah, good game. They, we almost got it, but he had a lot of answers. Makes sense. It's Seraphine. Doo -doo -doo. Thank you for the follow. Nicolti. Nick to lie. There we go. Karma broken. Yeah, Karma broken, dude. Karma broken. Seraphine's annoying. I hate playing against Seraphine. Why can't we vault Seraphine? I know that there's some Seraphine enjoyers in the chat, probably, but... I'm sorry, I just don't like Seraphine. <laughs> For that reason, exactly. Pain drops. I have no clue how Kane Trucks will go. Probably not great, considering he's got effectively lifesteal. And actual lifesteal with, um... No, that's a Varus card. That's Cultist. Right? They're Darken. Yeah. We got it. Okay, I think we can develop here, though. I don't know what they're playing in turns 1 and 2. We got, like, Boo Cultist. We'll develop. Might not have anything. Cool. He does not. No development for him. Much development for us. If he plays a unit, we will blow back. To put the two wrenches on these two. We will absolutely, definitely blow back now. Oh wait, he can play Keeper. Let's just do this now. Casey passed for some reason. He also doesn't get to play his equipment now. I mean, he'll have to cycle it. And in case he has, like, the tough equipment, that would be really bad for us not blow back there. Um, his price? That's unfortunate. Now he gets to swing with his equipment. And heal. Well, hey, at least we played around it. If he had it. <laughs> but, yeah. Ooh, how do we stop this now? I guess... We discard everything. But then how do we win? Well, I guess we win by a blowout of him not having any units. Maybe, maybe. Hey, I'm trying it. This is the one maybe line that will let us get through this, because, yeah, I forgot that he could actually have that card in this matchup. Zero mana, summon a Oh. Zero mana, summon a powder monkey. We can't even afford to swing with anything else now. We didn't even need to do that now, then. Oh, it sucks. We're trying to push extra damage. That's a good thing for him to have pulled. Maybe he has no way to kill Teemo. Feels bad. Oh, three puff caps feels even worse for him, though. Three puff caps. Yep. We could have done Forge Chief just to get our wrench back, I guess. Uh, well, we're going to be getting a wrench back anyway. Yep. Okay. We'll just let's leave it here. Get wrench back. Pass. Let's see what we get on top. Clock lane. Okay, can we find something that we can discard, please? 
I suppose we can discard Urchin. Right, because we don't want to play Harpoon. That's not doing anything. <clears throat> we want to rummage both of these. We want to be able to find Harpoon later as well, so we don't want to pick it. Oh, that's good for us, right? It means he doesn't have Aatrox. Okay. An Echo. Um, I'm going to say he does not have any more development, and we just ha should do the Spear now on the Elusive. Based on that play. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Duh. Well, um, with that being said... If we do this, it's two damage that he heals back. It doesn't matter then. Let me just do this. Punished so hard. Well, I guess it's not like full punished because we got to play your Scar's Spear. Uh, we might win. It's possible. Basically, if we echo and find some equipment, or not equipment, some like more burn maybe. Okay, we're going to do this. Yeah, this, because then the only one who can block Echo is Aatrox. And we also get something back to Mecha Yordle. Return, Orange. Return. Uh, not, not great. Actually, a Mecha forcer Echo means that we can swing with Echo without worrying about Aatrox. Hmm. Echo. Echo down. Um. Hey there. That's Kane. Oh, stop. Stop, man. I think we're. I think we've lost now. Right. There's no way. Rip, 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 rip. Okay. Back to three more to Diamond 2. Very sad. This is looking more like a 14-hour run. This feels like feels like what I was expecting Diamond to be. There is more meta decks. There are things that counter us. There are also things that we counter very well. Not as well as we would if we had Jinx, obviously, but still pretty good. It's all good. No, I'm smurfing very hard. Like this, I I am normally masters. This is just a different account. Everyone starts somewhere. I've played this game since beta. Bronze is all good. Everyone starts in lower ranks. Or you just play tournaments. I know people that do that. There's bronze, silver. It's whatever. Okay. So, Yordle Squire. Spear, probably. Or maybe shield? I don't know. That's a lot of wrenches. For nothing to remove a wrench from my hand. Ooh. Uh, I think Spear. I got the game since beta, but never really played enough to get enough cards. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, let's just say he doesn't have cards. He has, like, the draw. Whatever. We kind of have to win early if we're going to win against Nessa Swagger. Okay, he has Cecil Sentry. Should have just swung, but it's okay. The only difference here is he gets draw. So I'd say it's fine. Also, three wrenches, not the best. With nothing to remove them. No utilization of the wrench. Like, we could have kept that parts made hole, but... I think there's other things we want to be doing early game instead.
Hello, Forsaken Bakai. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll just play another. He totally is gonna have, uh, Vault of Helia. And if he has Vault of Helia, we want to Flame Tompers drag Forsaken Bakai so he doesn't become the two drop. Just saves him a little, or makes him not get a little value. Okay, well, now it doesn't matter. <laughs> if he full swings, he doesn't have vaults. He has probably has vaults. Now, here's the thing. Oof. This is a little tough. I think we pop cap up, though. Then do chompers with a spear. Drag Ceaseless Sentry. He might not have another one in deck, and he might stall on, on for second by Kai at this point. He has another one in hand. There's a chance. It's also that our if we get him to take a lot of cards out of his deck... Oh, does not have vaults. Okay. Good to know. Um... It sucks, but it might actually be the best play to just pass here. I think it is. It is probably the best play to just pass here. And hopefully find something that we can discard all of this stuff with. This is the most discard stuff full hand ever. Because this attack isn't doing anything. Unless we, like, play Flame Chompers with a spear to push two damage. Which doesn't feel great. We just have to hope he bricks on finding vaults. Obviously, he has a million cards to find it, but it looks like he might not. Oh, blowback. Awesome. So, now we can clock them and then blowback to some of these two chompers. He still doesn't have it. Um, let's get this other blowback to discard these return our wrenches. We need that really badly right now. That's unfortunate. Um, let's do this now, in case he has a unit. Yeah. Boop, boop. Okay, now we're going to deal four damage to Nexus, which is... Much better than only dealing two last turn. What rank has taken you the longest in the speedrun? Uh, Platinum to Diamond, which makes sense because the LP gain loss is the worst, is like the worst so far. Rev Negation. Honestly, that's fine. Um, I think Diamond to Masters is going to be the hardest one, though. I'm going to stop the run at 16 hours. Like, that's the hard stop, I think, for me. I'm going to say they will. Either continue the run some other time, or just say we have not succeeded in the run. So it's probably going to be Diamond Masters at like four hours, if I had to guess. Uh, we'll just do this. We could like drop Blowback down now. Oh wait, we probably should have done that. It's just like it could have hit the Flame Chompers, which is unideal. It's okay. Definitely was that. The misplays will begin to stack up. All right. well, let's do four mana blowback. Just to do some stuff, yeah. Zip. If he literally never finds Vault, we could win. It's happening, so... Dun, 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 dun. This is a crazy, crazy run. Oh, man. Almost at 13 hours. Woo! I put him, please. Hello. Huh. 
How has he not found Vault yet? You know, if he if he's not here, that's fine. But okay, he is. I say like, this would be a great time for him to not be here. Which harpoons? We're doing five right now. Five burn. Uh oh. Vaults of Helia. Mm hmm. Suppose, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. none of these are good, but we want to do something at least. Nasus is at like probably close to 10 at this point. So, we'll if we're dragging Nasus, we're gonna drag Flame Chompers to the end. Um, okay, sure. It's unfortunate, but yeah. I'll take it. We need units. We need, like, Mecha Yordle discard. Kill unit. Oh. That sucks. Like, we could have tried to kill Rock Bear, but the thing is... Um... Well, now we'll probably do that. <laughs> right? Because we, we could block this... I don't think the one damage is going to change it. Delaying Nasus for a turn is probably better than that. Yeah, delay now. Let's delay Nasus for a turn. This is, yeah, this is a tough matchup. I don't know. I think you need to basically beat it by going really fast early. It's like we've done decently. Like he's at six. If we can find some crazy way to go ride right now, which we didn't. Um, yeah, so like right now he's just gonna darkness this Kindler. So that's Vigar. Not. Wait, what? Now he never gets Nasus ever. I think we have so much better of a chance at winning now if we just play slow. Like we're gonna. Block Rekindler, blo uh, block Desonata if he doesn't just immediately darkness. This is good for us. <laughs> Suddenly this became winnable. <laughs> because he played that. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool, his, his vault is stalling now. We might just win by playing very slow. His darkness doesn't do anything this turn. It's the same. Sure. Uh, we can't play Gnar right now. Gnar's actually going to be discard fodder, honestly. Well, if he goes under three, like what? We're taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, fourteen? Huh. <laughs> well. I think I think we just kind of have to. He will darkness. What? He will darkness. Nar. If we play Nar. Right. Yeah. Okay. He will darkness Nar. We will play. We'll play Teemo. Put return rent on Teemo. Oh, uh, that sucks. <laughs> uh, cause now we can't play Demo. Rip. <laughs> but we get chip. Relevant. Let's see what we find. Maybe we can find another unit or something that he'll target instead of Timo. Zonet Urchin. Maybe he'll target it. I doubt it. But we can try. Squeaker. Well, hey, we'll see what we find on Squeaker. Oh, he does it. Okay. It's more possible now. So we Teemo. Now. And then uh, return our wrench. 
If we find okay, if we find Geo Mecha Forcer, bounce from Bolt, that'll work. That'll do, right? What will it do? Oh, it's gonna. It's gonna <laughs> if it does it, it's gonna be exactly. I and mean, it's as if he doesn't have vengeance, but he probably has vengeance. Oh gosh. Okay, I like that. Come on. Don't have Vengeance. Don't have Quicksand. Don't have Hate Spike. Don't have any of it. Oh my lord. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did it just happen? Oh, he had a puff cap? Is it. Did it just happen? Did we just win this? I think we just won. See what we can find off this, but I think we just won. Yeah, I think Mystic Shot just wins it. I'm just worried about a Rave Negation, right? So I'm, I'm going to kind of stall for a little bit. See if we can get him to uh, not like go under or something. But then we're just going to slam it because we have a rummage. <laughs> That's crazy. Also, um, never mind. I was gonna say we should have done shield to block the overwhelm with one health more, but it wouldn't have mattered because we don't even have blockers. Yep, Mystic Shot should win it. I, I, I speak your language. <laughs> Mystic Sigit Websby. Just as long as he doesn't have deny. Don't have deny, please. Yes! Cool. Okay. We shouldn't have won that. That was crazy. <laughs> good. Good game. W. Okay. Back up. Going back up. My mouse is low on charge. I need to find my mouse charger. Actually, that's a problem. Actually, that's no, not. We'll, we'll figure it out. Go figure, your mouse runs out of power if you've used it this long. Do this. Stretch. Cable. Okay. Auction. What is this? Auction. Diana? Or something? Pantheon. I've just never seen that Pantheon skin. That's a cool Pantheon. Oh, wait, kill auction. Probably don't want need want blowback. We'd rather something like electro harpoon. Hey, look, it's electro harpoon. Cool. Uh, we'll just for he's not attacking on two, which is good for us. Uh, let's just do boom 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 development now. He may, he may well not have anything. Sacrificial scholar. I don't think he has anything. Yeah. He'll wanna... He's gonna try to just use spells on that throughout the game. And we will try to avoid that working for him. If he plays... Um, okay. A Super Scholar is so not a problem for us. We'll just do this. Right? We will take four from him. And then we will go so wide. We're gonna deal nine to him. Take four. Timo, I mean, for Chief, then Timo. Like, whatever that is, is lo it can't be Life Steal. Lucky find cannot find. That would be the best. This would be the best card ever if we could find Life Steal. Plus up plus two. Doesn't matter. We're dragging. I don't know if he has realized what's happening yet. You're taking. He could have. What could he have? Uh, yeah. Sure. That's the same as just doing it. Well, you should have just reduced one of these to nothing so that I wouldn't have gotten the mana. Alright, um... This is good. Basically what we're gonna do now is play Gnar, then Sacrifice Scar is gonna get vulnerable. 
Okay. Uh, unless you can push 16 next turn, you're dead. He's going to get vulnerable. And then any of these effectively becomes Flame Chompers because it doesn't matter. Anything can drag it. I think when we like accidentally closed our game like five hours ago or something, we actually fixed the audio on the uh, champions. Pantheon, what? Uh, two out of five? Not a problem. Um, let's pass. Because he, well. Let's do this. Okay. Now he doesn't, now he won't want to swing with Pantheon. And then we also get mana back if we have to block with Forge Chief for any reason, which we shouldn't have to. He's under Deny, so we should probably do Mystic Shot now. Ruthless Predator. Okay, that's the reason that uh, Clockling works. It was necessary. Okay. We will, we will take that. We will take 10. Right? So I don't see why not. Clockling is here. Um, I guess it's blowback. Just because it's fast. Yeah. Sir, I don't know if you understand the gravity of the situation. You have to have exactly spirit fire main deck, which doesn't exist in standard anymore. <laughs> Or like triple heal. Triple heal will do it. All right. Um, so we go like this, 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 this. Let me actually swing like this. So that our mana cheaters stay alive. Please. Um, I think you're. I think you're dead. I think. Just a thought. Pal cascade. Okay. Maybe maybe he heals. Like if he has another heal card, he would go even. Then we'd just blow back, like on to Pantheon, and he would take the same amount of damage again. Um, exacties. Cool. We're not going to show him that we had blowback. Don't want to defeat his spirit that bad. Oh, this is not a good matchup. We're seeing a lot more SI control, which makes sense because we're higher in ladder. Our Maokai deck's any good, he looks cool. The only Maokai deck I'd recommend playing that is semi good is Deep. It's Maokai Nautilus. It is semi good. He is a cool champion. He only works in that format. I believe I played deep in the only seasonal that I top cut, so it's a cool deck. Wait, now is it Zonite? Double Zonite? It's probably double Zonite. Push six instead. Drop the Pressmate Hole. Hope we find... Actually, no. Drop the Electro Harpoon, because this is effectively the same amount of damage by doing this line. Well, Reggie. Toss concept seems interesting. It is interesting, yes. Uh, do this again. Hello, Scrap Beep. Oh, that's just... Actually, it's not the worst. It sucks, though. At least we're pressuring him to lose tempo. A toss is cool. Milling yourself. Like, basically, it lets you find your champions faster, because toss will only ever get rid of followers. Um, and once you're like very deep in deep, you're like in a really good position because 
Once not if Nautilus is on board level, do you always have this stun that will send Nautilus back in your deck and then you just draw the stun again? Okay, well we got him to kill that instead of Timo. Boss. Uh I think we're just gonna push. He could have Jace, he could have What could he have? Um, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what he could have. This is not a big turn for him, I feel like. Hmm. What do we want to do here? Teemo, maybe? Maybe Teemo, we can zero him out of Mushroom Cloud. But, eh. I think it's probably Tiny Spear, Yellow Square, just for another unit. Then we can keep doing this wide board on this turn. I guess if he has Caustic Griff, but Adaptatron. Let's just let's just try it. With Adaptatron in mind, do we want a Tiny Spear? No, we want we, yeah, we want Spear for the Elusives actually. Just don't have another Adaptatron. That would suck. If he has Tech Summon card here, he should use it. Aftershock. Okay. That's definitely an Aftershock. Okay, so he's taking six. He's gonna be at ten. We need, we need the, the Dune Hopper. He needs to play his first six spell on turn five. So we've destroyed his tempo. She feels very nice. Um. Hmm. Tough. Let's do spear. We will discard one of these. Formula, okay. We're going somewhere. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Scrap Trafton is fine. I'm gonna discard this. See what we find. Impact twice? That's really, really good, right? Yeah. It's perfect here. He can't swing even. Okay, uh, we're gonna grant Clockling plus one plus zero. Or are we? Because now we have Scrap Heap. Yeah, we are. I think we're going to use Pressmate Hold to Draw instead of playing Scrap Heap either way. So, Swing! Alright, he's at one. <laughs> we have outpaced Hammer Jace. That is the way we win. We're going to discard now to see if we can find our burn early. Uh, no reason to play this right now. If you found uh, the six cost drain card, this could be actually suddenly in his favor. And because we did not find burn here. But we are going to now go wide. So maybe it won't be. Like, we can play all of these this turn and something from the squeaker. So he has to have found that drain. He found the drain. Okay. So now we have to play a little more carefully. So he's going to be at six. So we get to do this. Hmm... I think we're gonna do Mecha Forcer and grant Flame Chompers two damage so we can kill Jace. Yeah. And so you'll have to use in case Jace would survive. Oof. Okay. Well, now we just Forge Chief and send it, I guess. It has to be like Caustic Griff, I guess, for him to live. Uh, what do we give? What do we give? I guess this. Doesn't matter. Just not this. Cool. Let's see, is it possible for him to live? Mystic? Like a Mystic and something else? Maybe draw? If it's just Vengeance, we win exactly. Perfect. Good game. 
Okay, can we get to Diamond 2? We were so close. I mean, not... Yes, Diamond 2. So close, yet so far. That's how ranked goes. Thank you. Right, 98 again. We were here like 40 minutes ago. <laughs> Let's keep going up. Come, come up. I'm gonna stretch. I need to stretch so badly. Oh. Thank you. All right. Hugh, you have sat here for all 13 hours. You're like actually insane. Like, anyone who has, if you've been here for all 13, can you type in chat, because I think I'll probably remember you already. Oh my gosh. Like, that is insane. You're, you're sticking this out with me, and I respect it. And I appreciate it. You might be, I think you, this possibly might be the only one. <laughs> like, it's a long, that's a long, long stream. Okay, um... Electro heart boom. Do we want to? Like, we're in the mirror. You need to do the thing better than he can. Well, he's we're playing in the mirror, but he's got the real deck. That's the thing. <laughs> we're going to keep scrappy. Playing into the bad mirror. Or, we're the bad. He's the good. Maybe he doesn't have one drops. Kind of knew that he was like playing Yorl Squire and debating over shield or not shield. I think we also just don't do anything here because if he has two drop, it was weaker. Okay, we'll do this. This is great, because we get to mana cheat more. Okay, if we can find 2-drop, we might play it. Like the... Not, not that one. Um, I, did, I should have specified. Uh, let's... He can definitely, definitely develop here, so we're going to do this. Just to stay more mana efficient. Yeah, like. I'm gonna grab shield and see, because bounce from bolt being a 3 3 would be relevant. Okay. So. We bounce from Bolt and Shield, that's enough mana to bank for next turn. If he doesn't, if he swings now, we don't have a chance to shield. Then, whatever. Okay. We'll pass now. We're going to play Gnar next turn and attack with him. I don't think he has any way besides a blowback to deal with him. And reading his hand, I don't know how much he has left to discard. We'll, bl we'll block here and here. We're not going to block Ural Square, obviously. So Bounce from Bolt gets to kill this with that shield. He has to do it like that, because otherwise... that Oh, what does that tell us, actually? The fact that he did that might... I think that means he doesn't have a Mystic Shot. Relevant. You Mystic Shot now? You want a Mystic Shot now? We're trying to be super mana efficient. Like, not waste a single mana. Because I think if we win, it's going to be very close. Okay, he doesn't know a way to discard that efficiently. So that means no scrap heap. No scrap heap, no mystic shot. Probably. Okay, we get to Gnar. We'll drag Kennen. He if he wants to do a bad block on Yordle Squire to get 
uh, his return wrench back. We'll let him. Okay. Then we'll get a pokey stick. Do one Nexus next round, probably. So we're still doing one with this uh, bouncer and bolt. Interesting. Okay. Sure. That's fine. You get your wrench back, and you get your unit back, but... Like, if you were called Cannon, you could have saved Cannon and killed Bouncer and Bolt. He might just be trying to win this next turn, though. Just, you know, the winning's good. We might have a little trouble with that winning thing. Okay, Jinx, we need to kill you now. Right? Like, even if... Yeah. Bye-bye. We could get rid of the blowback. Nah, that's not worth it. Wait. Does he have a way to kill Bouncer and Bolt? That means, like, he has an Electro Harpoon? He must. He must have an Electro Harpoon. 98 LP Curse? It's the 98 LP Curse. Yes, but Jason, we are very, very close. We're, at, we're in 13 hours in. This is crazy. If this is attack, we're super happy with that. It's awesome. Okay. We can trade this for free. Right? For we just blow back this now. We push for way more damage if we do this. I'm gonna do it. We don't have much to discard anyway. I think it's a bad idea to not do this. So you should just be like out of stuff. Yep. Cool. Timo, uh, we are not gonna give him priority. We're gonna just do this. Hit him for four and be even with him on damage. All right. Timo, you might actually get damage through. Uh, not like that. Alright, we'll, we'll play Teemo next round after he drags Gnar, probably. Yep, okay. He'll drag Gnar, we'll get a Pokey Stick, we'll be able to play Teemo. Draw two, he, so he doesn't have another equipment. Oh, he just didn't want to use it. Transformed. Maybe we find, like, another... Oh, pass us priority, please. Then we win. <laughs> right? If he doesn't have another unit. Yeah, well, that sucks. Uh, the only way we survive is this. We live on one. No, we don't. We die to the equipment. All right, good game. <laughs> We're trying here. Oh, oh, the 98 LP curse of diamond three. 98 LP curse. If we're like really close to 16 hours, I will push it a little bit past 16 hours because I will have the energy from being very close. I think if we're not close at 16 hours, then we're done. But we're I think we're going to get there. Hello, bit. Oh, we're playing against Masters players now. So this is this is where it gets a little bit dicey. Like, hard to climb. We have to just go so fast. This is a pretty big achievement, though. To get all the way from the bottom of ladder to we're facing top ladder, like, players at this point. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's pretty good. We can push a lot this next turn. We gotta start the base again. Yes. Still watching. Um. Any reason? I think we should just spear. No reason not to. We're discarding it anyway, I think. With Urchin. Da -da -da. Thank you everyone for sticking through the stream. This is a very, very, very long stream. And you guys do not have to watch, but you are still watching, and I appreciate it so much. So thank you. It helps me not go mad. <laughs> um, okay. You know. Man's got a lot of one drops. Grab another spear. We'll deal two. And then we can play, I guess, Teemo and Boom Boom next round. So then we can burst out uh, Flame Chompers. Emotional support Bulbasaur has stayed on. I'm so happy about that. Um, Teemo? Yeah, I think if that's everything for him. Quietus? Thank you for the vault. Uh, okay, so we'll do flame chompers. See what we find. Oh, geode mecha forcer is so tempting to put on Teemo. I think we're gonna do that. It's probably the line. Then spear onto uh, flame chompers. Spear Flame Chompers. Like, we could boost Flame Chompers, but I want to push more damage right now. I think that's how we're going to win. Do this. I guess we could have just boosted one of these. He probably wouldn't have blocked with Vigar, but maybe he would have. Now, if he plays Vaults next round, we can Mystic Shot Vigar and prevent him from developing Vaults. I've grown more and more fond of this card as the day's gone on. Geode Back Enforcer is really good. Bye, Teemo. <laughs> You're gone. I'm going to hold up to Mao. I believe we can just drag anyways. But if he has vaults, that's like his way of saving Vygar right now. So he'll do it. I think this is a good game. Like he, He's about to take so much damage. I, I don't think we'll pass. He could, uh, he could be running Eradication. I would hate to throw this just because we didn't respect that. So we're going to do this and just hope he we can deal one damage later in this game. Obviously, you can Vengeance like Geode Megaforcer or something, but our damage is split evenly amongst all of these, so Vengeance is not going to be a very good way to deal with this. Quicksand reduces it by three, yeah? So... Okay, we're gonna. Okay, sure. We're gonna play Squeaker, probably, and then get rid of Puff Cap Pup to see what we can find. Press on mech, awesome. So now we get more value. We can stay wide. I think we're not gonna play him yet, though, because right now we're winning on the next open, anyways. I have a feeling he does not have board wipe with the way he's playing. We still kind of respect it. It's like we didn't. We're not really burning mana right now. Okay, so he's not board wipe. We just need to go wider than him, which is totally doable right now. I think we're winning this one. So good game. 
Stun stackers and stacker, stacker. No trespasses. The stacker is trespassing. Stacker, stacker. I think we might need to restart the stream music again soon. Second time. I think that place is like seven or eight hours long. So what is, does the order matter? Like impact units first, I guess? Shouldn't matter. Cool. Good game. Okay, now I think. Are we now diamond two, please? Yes, no? No, we lost the last one. All right, we're back at the 98 LP curse. That's what's happening. The 98 LP hard stuck. I'm just gonna keep on getting up and doing stretches, man. Ah! 98 LP curse! So stop! Woo! Okay. Oh, stop it! Stop playing this deck, everyone! I don't appreciate it. It's making it so hard. Stop! <laughs> so not nice. I think we're good tagging on evens though, it's very nice. So we can pressure them on their turns that they're trying to do, um, what they're called, Vault of Helia. It's like if we're playing in this match, we like being on this turn. Quietus is here to wreck our day. Mm hmm. I guess we'll play Boom Boom in case he has a second one. We'd rather not lose our uh, other Forge Chief to it. Well, now we just wait. Talstones for kill landmark. We could tech. Talstones are a common. Bandle Talstones. Could be huge. What does anyone else think? How does Bandle style Talstone? Or actually, no, you could do uh, PNZ Talstones, actually. Right. For draw. Or is it Bandle or PNZ Talstones? Because basically, Bandle Talstones has Electro Harpoons in it, so it's effectively. More burn. So you could actually swap out one or two of the electro harpoons for a red lantern removal. Um, what do we want here? I think we want to discard like this. Nar, hello. That's could be helpful. I'm actually thinking if we can build Bandel Telstones. We should do that. That is a great suggestion. I appreciate that. Because, yeah, I think that would that would actually help us out a little bit. So what would we do? We would swap out... We would swap out one Electro Harpoon for a Bandle Toss Stones. Is that it? Maybe? Oh, does he not have Helio? Because we've just seen so much of this. Just so that we have it as an option, because like it's not like oftentimes we're just gonna want electric harpoon. Um, okay, we'll we'll take that if that's if that's what he's gonna do. His hands bricks. That's it. Please let that be it too. <laughs> Castigate or um, Ruination. For Ruination, what do we do? I guess Pokey Stick. Because he can't play it this round, but he can play it next round. We need to open, obviously. We Pokey Stick, blow back, both wrenches. Play T Pokey Stick, play Teemo, blow back both wrenches. Oh, wow. Okay. That says something. <laughs> you 
can't he can't kill any of these. He would have totally just killed this first, then tried to strike Nar down. Okay. Now we're gonna do discard a wrench and flame trampers. See, can we find like a burst? Burst discard? Nope. I think we still need to do this. I was like debating not. Okay. Big Nar! Wakabo! On set 11, if he has, he probably has a vengeance given the way he's playing. No, he would have killed Nahar. He would have just killed Nahar. Probably doesn't have vengeance, yeah. We have four burn. Killing nine. If he has a way to stop Nahar. Then yeah, he has a way to stop Nahar. That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. At that point, it's going to be a little harder. We're going to use augmented clock lane to find more burn. He should vengeance here if he has it. He had it. Okay. Making it really hard for him to use the ruination if he has it. It's good. Yeah. Doop. Getting lucky in the matches we're waiting for this. Ooh. Echo. Uh, no, it's probably Zonator. Oh, but Echo. <laughs> Zonator is objectively just... Oh, is she, though? Is she better? <laughs> yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. <laughs> we can go wider. We'll not play right now, though. We don't need to. We find a blowback. Cool. Okay. This is good. Can't ruinate this turn. You castigate. Oh, that would you lose the game very easily. You're not gonna do that. Nessus. I think we're just gonna take thirteen. And try to develop as much as physically possible at this point. It's fine. Oh, a triple wrench? That's, that's great. Yeah. So we're going to scrap heap, return our wrench, see what big mech yordle can we find. Mecha forcer is actually perfect. Sand soldier guy? You're cool too. Kind of, I'm kind of tempted actually though. See, the reason Mecha Force would be good is because it could give the elusive spell shield. But Mecha Force, excuse me, Dune Hopper Mech is actually probably just the better one. Because we just get to go full wide six, like perfect six wide board. All right, we're going to Electro Harpoon on repainting Bakai. That's a lot of impact. Sand Souls won't hit us. You're right. Okay. You're so right. Think it's fine, though. Yeah, so Nasus will flip and they won't hit. You're right in that. Oh, no, if we do, if he blocks like that, it won't, but he should block the other way. He might not realize. There, there's no way we could have done it to like prevent it. Yeah. yeah you're correct. But I don't think he realizes. He didn't realize. Okay. 
right? If you deny, then I'll electro harpoon after. Deny? Okay. Electro harpoon after. As we get the equipment back and discard it. Yeah, so he could have won that if he just flipped the order around. Vex rule gaming, you are so right. Oh wait, no. Oh, he did it right. Never mind. We're good. <laughs> I'm tired and not realizing that he was dead anyway. Oh, tired Runeterra. Now it's good game. Yeah, so we're... I think we can build one Telstones. That doesn't work. <laughs> there we go. We have beaten the 98 LP curse. For now. For now. Till next time. Cool. How are our awards looking? Are we are we get gotten anything? We're very close to this epic capsule. Like I said earlier, I was like, please don't let us get this epic capsule. We are now sitting in the spot where we're be getting this epic capsule. So, what is it, Telstone? So you can see how few cards we have, right? So. Bandle Telstones. Electro Harpoon, it's definitely Bandle Telstones, actually. This is huge. I'm going to build two, because like, I don't know what else to build tonight. Drop an Electro Harpoon. I really do want to fit two in because we're seeing so much Nasus. Like, do we go down to two wrench or do we stay at three? Because sometimes I feel like there's a lot of wrenches in hand and we just can't use them all. I've seen Dex run two, but I think three might be correct because it's just that more damage. No, 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 we want... Oh, I don't know if you know. This removes landmarks. L Yurtle Contraption destroys a landmark. While still keeping... Yeah, exactly. So it, it lets us keep Electro Harpoon tech and get a board buff. Yeah. Alright, we're going to go down to one dog. Two Bandle Tell Stones. I think it's one dog. Like, dog's good. Oh, I love this curve, by the way. 15 one drops... 15 2 drops, 10 4 drops. Perfect. Okay. Diamond 2, 20 LP. We're going to do the last bit. I think Heroical Frain will win a lot. I agree. Okay, this is super aggro. I wish we'd done that earlier. Actually, the, I have a feeling already that that is going to change a lot of things. I forget who, who suggested that. Lagfest 101? You might have just saved us some time. A Euro Squire. We can make a fearsome blocker now. They might be able to go faster than us. So we just have to be careful about that. We have value over them with mech yurtles. They have no manifest. In theory. Maybe they do, but I doubt it. Let's see. I'll, we're going to swing like this first if he's willing to block. Yeah. So now we play the Tiny Spear and say we're going to be able to block you. And if he commits a Mystic Shot next round, it's fine. Alright. Um... 
Unfortunately, we can't fully block that. I think we're going to just play like team or play this. Discarding this. No. We won't block this. If he swings, we'll do this actually. We could mystic this. It's something that can't block later. I think we will. I think we will. Because he, he looks as if he can go faster than us this game. So we want to keep that in mind with how we're playing. Because we can keep damage up on him right now. Okay, we'll Teemo, then we'll return our wrench. If he plays this, it's fine. If he has the 2-2 two -two that discards a unit to draw a unit, or discards a card to draw a unit, that's okay as well. Okay, cool. So we do this. Let's see what we can find. We will play this. Beer Hunt Crasher, we'll play this. He'll probably block. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad we I'm glad we're doing this the way we are because he appears to be getting a lot of burn good burn cards. So now all our units are bigger. Which could be very relevant in this matchup. Timo's planting puff caps, we're getting there. And if we need to, we can do this and create two random multi region followers in hand. So I like that even more for that reason. Hmm. It could even be to just, if we see so much, we could just drop this one. Hmm. I want to see what we can find. I'm going to get rid of the Electro Harpoon. Look. Alright, let's play, let's play Bouncer and Bolt. No. No, Earthshaker. Let's just hold, we'll take five here. That's okay. Five is fine. We're fine with it. Oh no. That's 12. Oh. So much damage. Yeah. That's so much damage. Wakabo. Actually, I kind of want to play Nara now. Yeah, we're going to play Nara now. <laughs> we need we need draw. We can play Earthshake around 7 as a blocker. He'll probably want, he probably will not expect it. Right now, he's probably not blocking either of these, depending on his hand. Scion's leveled. Okay, Heroic Refrain about to do some work. Nope. <laughs> He's not going to do it. He knows. Something's up. That attack. That's yeah, just Pokey Stick Nexus. Um, well, there is an argument to be made to Pokey Stick Noble Rebel. Actually, and then Electro Harpoon River. Yeah, no, this is correct. Because there's a chance he could just win by burning us through. We're going to get rid of this Puff Cap up now. We have exactly enough for Bandle's Telstone's Electro Harpoon. Yeah. Now we'll play Earthshaker, round 7. That can block Ancient Wormmonger. No levels. Okay. Um, could be helpful. We need him to hit some puff caps. Also, what's sign at? It's going to be a 10 6. Earthshaker would be a great blocker for Scion. Kind of. <laughs> It'd be sad. 
because like we would lose our Earthshaker for nothing. I just hope he doesn't happen. I think he does based on the fact that he's taking long to think about this. That's usually how you know they have Scion. Is they're like debating, should I play Scion and tap out? Or should I play a bunch of... <sighs> Holy crap. You just take that. I see no reason for us to not just take that and run. Run, run, run far, far away. <laughs> What's his hand? Like a Jinx or something? No, he would have played her. So we're dealing one with Nar, two with Timo, eight with you. What do you okay, what do you discard? Let's see. You discarded a rummage and a jury rig. We might be able to just win with impact here. Okay. He's going down to his top deck damage. Wait, oh my lord. Does this double his impact to four? No, don't have, oh my, is it just fervor? You kidding me? All right. Well, hey, you know what? He had exactly enough. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> like, it happens. I still like the Telstones. The Telstones are good. Basically, at the 98 LP curse, we just get a nicer looking little two lines in front of our name. In front of our rank. Under our rank? Under our rank. Guys, thank you for sticking with me on the stream. I'm just gonna say it again. I'm gonna keep saying it in these last few hours. Holy crap. What is happening? Calista Nora? Okay, we like to see more meme decks. <laughs> Please give me more of these. Like, I know it's still definitely possible for him to win, but it's better than seeing like Shadow Wild's Shurima control or Heimer Jace control like every match. So, thumbs up. I'd rather lose to this as well. <laughs> this is cooler. If we're gonna lose it all, we're gonna lose this because it's cool. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay, free attack in an aura. Man's playing fast, fast, fast. Uh, yep. Right, yeah. So we urchin. Do flame chompers. Then. Do discard what? Do, do, do. Parts made whole? Yeah, parts made whole. Uh, let's do a Professor Von. No, actually. Bouncer and Bolt. <laughs> so you can drag Nora. Cool. And we can discard this. So he has to have, like, he has to do the drop the bomb if he wants to kill Bounce and Bolt and protect Nora. Poor Blizzard. Okay, he's looking for portals. Well, that gives a kind of permission to develop more. So we can do Return Nora Wrench and then find a two drop, maybe. Another Bouncer and Bolt. I think we should do that because then we can drag another boat security. Right? So we get to push 11 damage this turn. Because we're doing this, this, and this. Awesome. 11 damage. And we get to keep one of our bouncer and bolts as well. Uh, no puff caps in this deck, right? No, just portals. Uh, I guess we'll do Augmented Clockling now. Try to find... 
something. <laughs> like, more damage. Because this will go through no matter what, is the idea. No, or might not. A Teemo? And I think we actually like a Teemo, right? Because that's just a little bit wider. Or maybe it's just blowback for damage. I like Teemo. He's not going to board wipe us. Not going to let him. Sure. Play Teemo. We're not blocking him. We're just going to take whatever amount of damage this is. Eight. And we'll hold, just hold up a uh, heroic refrain and push four on the two he doesn't block. This is actually huge. This is so much better than Electro Harpoon in so many ways. Sure. It was an even trade. Now he, he brings back something. But I think we are still just going to ignore it. He has a lot of portals. Well, one, no, he only has one portal. Never mind. I thought he had a lot. Bad security, that's a cool combo. It brings back bad security. <laughs> Was bad security from a portal? It must have been, yeah, because he's Ionia. It's funny though. He also has a uh, Warlord's Palace, which is absolutely nerfing his board right now. Double Bandle Telstones, nice. It feels good. Would I ra would you would we rather have three Bandle Telstones? And then drop the last Electro Harpoon. Because, like, we just win here with damage first. And then if he can do something about it, we can just still play the Electro Harpoon. There's no difference. Okay. So now, well, we will just do Heroic Refrain. Damage like this and this. Give him a worse chance at coming back from this. One man is important. That's fair. Uh, we'll discard like this. We have a blocker. Um, and I think this next turn we'll spend going wide. If we had a puff cap, then we can play Gnar. And if we find, you know, burn, we just win. We found burn. Is there a way he could save himself from this? Um, I'm trying to think. Is there a way he could stop this? Bandle Deny is four mana, right? Four mana, stop a card. He doesn't run any heals. Yeah, I think I think we win. I think this is just... Good games. Pretty, pretty sure. Yeah, good game. Alright, that's the 14 hour mark. Two left until I'm like, really tired. <laughs> I woke up, played Rodera, went to bed. That's today. But, made history. Add that in there. Hopefully. Thank you for the follow. Oh, Air Sander. Targon. Poro King. I think we're just going to try to do the thing here. Wake up, make history, go to bed. <laughs> We'll try. Say yes, thank you for the follow. That's a shirt, man. Everyone who's following, I encourage you also to sub to my YouTube. We're trying to get 100 subs, and we're probably going to make a video on this whole run. It's going to take me like forever to make it. it. Might be on the back burner for a little bit, and we might just do hides from this run. But, definitely sub, and you'll get a big video there doing all of the good highlights from this run. I'll probably just honestly spend forever just a little while doing 
editing for that video to make this run look good. Um, is it shield on someone? I actually think it might be shield on uh, like Forge Chief or something. All right, we're gonna do, I guess, just scrap heap return on wrench. Unless he has, um, what's the Poro card? That one Poro card. You know, the one Poro card. You guys know it. The one that they eat. The snacks. <laughs> the snack Poro thing. You know, the thing where the Poros eat. So then we do, if, if he doesn't have the thing that Poros eat... Well, this sucks, actually. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Because the thing that pours eat, then he just blocks like this. He had it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. The thing that pours eat saved him. But we get to attack again with Mechaforcer. Yeah, I know. I do. I know. I'm going insane. I've laid in terror for 14 hours today, <laughs> and I'm not willing to give up. We will make it. We're still playing pretty well, I think. You guys be the judge of that. <laughs> um, let's. There's no puff caps in this deck, so we're just gonna echo here. I think. Mental durability, exactly. Yeah, Echo. Echo's good here. We play Narn next round. I just don't think we. I just don't think we care. Take six, it's fine. And I think we just play Nar as well. Any reason to not develop? I can't. I can't think of one. Like, just more quick attack. He could have Sunburst, but hey, that's his whole turn, I think. Not even that bad if he has Sunburst. Can we do it on Echo? Yeah. Okay. It definitely, it's definitely unfortunate, but it's not the worst. We still get an R spell. Deal 9, nice. We can parts made whole for on the equipment. Very good. Mecha Forcer, you have pushed through many, many damages this game. Mm. You know that thing when you like close your eyes and like if you've been doing something for long enough you start to like see it? I have a feeling that when I close my eyes to go to bed tonight I am very literally going to see myself just playing this deck in my eyelids and it will never escape me for like the next week. <laughs> not looking forward to that one. Uh, Poro King, he's not leveled. Not even close. I don't want to play this deck again. I won't play this deck again. It's just a worse version of the other one. I probably, yeah, no, I'm not playing this deck again. That's for sure. Uh, I think we just pokey stick. We don't really have any good plays here. Scrap boot. I think we'll actually get rid of parts made whole. Um, it's, is it Von Mech? Is it Earthshaker? If we play Von Mech, we go five wide. Earthshaker, we're not wide, but we have double impact. I think it's Earthshaker, because then we're trading down pretty well. It makes his attacks bad. Offensive wall is, yeah, we have a very good hand to win right now. 
the strong hand. Uh, so we can just do this. Mm, yep, because we have offensive wallop. Also, yeah, this. <laughs> I'll watch back tomorrow and see my history. Cool. Thank you. I hopefully, hopefully will. It's not, hopefully not jinx it. I hope we make it. We're three hours into diamond right now, and uh, diamond. More than halfway. So we are going at the expected pace. Um, platinum, around this time, we would be in our mass, last match to platinum, from platinum to diamond. So. The wall should work here. I don't know if it matters how we do this. There's this, right? No, it's like this. You do it like this, and then you do it like this. Because then this gets around spell shield. Because this will still do damage to the Nexus, and then this will get... Past the broken spell shield. So if he has Bastion, this is the best play. I think that's the only thing that can get him out of this. So this gets around Bastion. Yeah. Cool. Good games. We're getting we're getting there, guys. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your Dog, I don't know. Pikmin movie is playing Legends of Runeterra for way too long. Epic capsule, come on, the kid jinx. Okay. You know, I, I was really hoping that was like our last <laughs> at finding jinx. <laughs> no jinx the whole time. Jinx without a jinx. We jinxed it. Ah. Huh. Okay, I'm getting up and stretching again. Oh. Flap. No, we have to go. Yep. Yep. We're going. Frel. Oh, this is. What? Hey, mom, pick through speed history. Take a break from our night. <laughs> exactly. That's how it goes. Uh, I think this is fine. It's always just mulligan for the lower lower cost hand. Forge chief. So they could probably have out. They probably have avalanche. So we just want to play around that. Just pretty much all worried about. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Do spear. And then we're gonna we're gonna top deck our uh what's it called? Return our wrench. Oh wait, no, it doesn't matter. We that won't work. If we spear, then we can't do return our wrench. We should have waited, because spear's focus. Okay. Didn't get punished. Cool, seven damage. Um Yeah, sure. If we commit more resources in the avalanches, I think we're kind of screwed, so. Just pass again. I'll totally take another seven. Uh-oh. I think we might have man dead now. I think we got him. Um, he will grab... A dune hopper, I got. No, actually, Professor on Mech is the most valuable. Concerning hands lower. Right now. This is a very, very fast match. If we win. It's probably, he probably has at least one stopping card. Right? Um, I guess we just get rid of our Echo. We don't really need him. First one mechs like our wide card. He's under deny. We're good. Good game. 
Let's keep going. Yeah. Wow. Maybe I'll recover from my like lingering cold by the end of the day too. That'd be great. So we're seven matches off. Seven. If we win all of them. So that'll take like an hour. Well. Woo! I, I noticed that. I was like, is do you have a different account? Because he was taken sounds like you just tried to do your normal username and then you were like, oh wait, I already have an account. So you just made another one because you forgot the password or something. This hand is good enough that I feel comfortable keeping Echo. Uh, but I don't know what he does. I don't think... I just like keeping Echo. I don't think it's actually good to keep Echo here. At all. It's probably better. It's gonna last burst speed someone something, maybe. Sorry, Echo. We'll find you later. Maybe. I will swing. Okay. He probably has another card. We, we always swing there just in case he doesn't have something that he can swing with on turn two. Or if it's like only snap draw swarm. Okay, he has something irrelevant, but. Um, I guess boom boom. Doesn't really matter. Lutimo and Forge Chief. Actually, Forge Chief first in case he has the two drop card. Ooh, now, now it might be Squeaker. Depending on what he plays. Like Pike Spell, maybe. Um, interesting. So he probably has a call the pack in hand then. For that line. We're gonna do this. Um, Shadow Tech Walker. I think we determined a little while ago that um, Lurk has trouble dealing with Lucis. That's a good way to push the last bit of damage. It's like effectively just three damage per strike. Okay. Pushing for this attack. Next turn, he's going to be attacking with probably like. I don't actually know. Like, in a good world, he has a pike spell that he can use. Who knows, though? Maybe he's just going to swing and then Rek'Sai on top. Maybe he didn't even find one. Hey, we could play Shadow Tech Walker here. And basically, if he has... because that Well, give Squeaker Augment, basically. And then if he has no Rek'Sai on top... Now he definitely has Rexand. Um, I was saying we could walk, block with the Shadow Tech Walker, but alas. Rexai is on top. Do we like. Eh, no, we really can't block here. If we want to out aggro him, we have to do it like this. With Rex on top, he probably doesn't have Pike. We can afford parts made whole, return a wrench, Teemo. Even if he has rally, like a rally wouldn't do much. Let's see. One, two. Um I think we go Forge Chief. Then Teemo. He has five cards. Five mana. And five cards. So cool. So Hugh, you do not need to feel... You do not, like, do not feel obligated to stay up to watch this run. 
I won't stop you. <laughs> but uh, you've been here the whole day. Like, you're devoted. Okay. Okay, we're not burning mana, which is good. Morning can stop me. Do you have work? You might say nothing. Cool. You do work? You'll be fine. Uh, what do you want? Mystic shot? Probably Mystic shot. Battle Tellstone's gonna get heroic refrain victory, maybe. With these two elusives. We'll play Pop. Might have made sense to just play Pop. Dog. When you look ahead, we know how to prepare. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dog is blocking. Not on my work site, Bob. Do we have to block like this? Like, can we afford to just ignore it? We do this, right? Could he have? Uh, Ruthless Predator plus Rally spell would make us so sad. I think we're winning off the Elusives anyway because he's blocking. Like I don't think the one damage will make or break us because we have Heroic Refrain. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Return of Wrench just playing it on, I think, this one. This one's the harder one to kill. Although, I suppose, the only way... Hmm. Let's just kill him. Yeah, this will just kill him, so we can we can hold it up. Quicksand. Pike spell. Alright, we win. Isn't it crazy how Lurk is a medic ever since it came out? Wait, oh, was Pike not even gonna kill? If we just did. Oh, we could have literally just done Heroic Refrain and won anyway. Whatever. My bad. Let's do this, right? No, we'll just do it like this. Two like that. Two with our uh, her, uh, yeah. I we should have just done her refrain. I didn't. I forgot to count the pike mana. Electro pin. We're fine though. I don't think he can't have denied at this point. Yeah, lurk is like a deck that just sits around fifty percent all the time, and it's like really, in my opinion, really, 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 really hard to climb with because it takes so long. When it gets a higher win rate, then it feels okay. Like when it's in like the 52s, because it's like it's not, it's not that hard of a deck to play. There's de it's definitely a little easier, a little harder than like, I think any, G no, I don't know. Like what's harder, any Jin or Lurk? I don't know, honestly. I haven't played either very much. I played Lurk a little bit. And the one time I played Lurk, it was because I wanted to play Runeterra, but I really couldn't, like, focus, so I just sat there with, like, my phone barely playing. And I think I climbed from, like, Platinum to Masters in, like, a day. It was, like, at the end of the season. Let's see. Nasus Viger. But this is where our Telstones are going to come in clutch, potentially. Why does it look like you're emoting? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. This is such a long stream. I'm surprised like Put has stopped the stream for some reason. Yeah. 
guess we just boom boom boom. Then Mmm, sus. Do this. If we can drag for six, it's great. Um Got no tech walker or Dune Hopper mech. Probably Dune Hopper mech, because that just makes it gives us so much value on turn five. That he has to vent it's it. Right, no option. What's it gonna be? Is it Quietus? Probably Quietus. Oh, Quietus. Okay. Deal four. Um, we did not find our Bandletel Sun removal. Unfortunately. We could, we could find it still. It's obviously possible. Oh. He doesn't have it yet. Now we're just going to focus on dealing a ton of damage to him in this next tech. Uh, Fury Horn Crasher. Or Bouncer and Bolt. I think Fury Horn Crasher, actually. If he swings here, we will block with something. Like, we will block... If he kills something. Th yeah, that's actually fine for us, because we have Dune Hopper mech. And like we're we're gonna be filling our board anyway. This is an, this is like one of the few scenarios where this card is actually okay. His whole board, besides hibernating rock bear. Okay, sure. We've drained most of his resources already. Yeah, it's still it's still better. Like we can get a little wider than him. There's the vault. So, how do we kill that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think we still have to do this. They're your friends. At least we get to attack with Dune Hopper multiple times. Yeah. We are one mana off from being able to blow back and save us from that. What's Nasa's at? It's like eight? Nine? Eleven? What? Wild. We can, we can technically speaking, kill Nasus. Is it worth it? If he doesn't have Vengeance, this works. If he has Brave Negation, we lose the king. Like, this Dune Hopper mech isn't doing much after this if we can't kill Nasus, so I think we just have to do this. Let's see. We get our parts made whole. Just don't have Vengeance, don't have Deny. Or Hate Spike. Hate Spike would let him also live. Then he can kill Rock Bear Shepherd. Or, like, it's actually so many things he could have. But his hand could be like a Vaults of Helia, a Ruination, and something. Renegation. Rip. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I think I think that's it. All right, well, we'll see what we top deck, but I, I think we're done. He has no cards. Maybe? We we have done this once before. Where we found like Yeah, it's so cringe. <laughs> um Let's do this first. Maybe we can find enough mecha yordles to just keep blocking. Well, that's how we won that last game. 
Oh, Jesus. Come on. No. No, not happening. No. Alright, keep going. Back at seven. I think once we get to diamond one, assuming that's not... Okay, at 15 hours, I'm going to take a quick break to finish up the run. For the last, like, hour or two. Dun, 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 dun. Miss Fortune Quinn. Scouts. I think we should do good in the scouts. In theory. Like having a lot of units. Okay, it's the same hand. <laughs> maybe, maybe actually get rid of Boom Boom. I don't know. You might have a terminal blocker. Very good chance. If his team is better. If he has the dragon bird, it's like whatever. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Uh, he may not be here. If that's the case, we will not emo. We will just take. We'll just take an FF. Nope. Unfortunate that's what he has, but hey, at least we get some puff gas planet and some damage with the trade. I think about it. If that if this was cannon, we wouldn't get any potential more potential damage. Did we get two? I guess it's like kind of the same, right? We're kinda of gambling for our damage here. We could get four damage, we could get no damage, probably no damage. More likely just one. Okay, um, Guess we just baboon. Yeah, doesn't doesn't really matter. He's swinging anyway. This is nice because now we can block here. Grant. It, and then we could later get flame chompers to have um one or no, like flame chompers dragon now doesn't die to this. So it's kind of the same when we block it like that. We just kind of need discard. It is the issue that we're running into right now. It's like this, this turn we cannot attack, for example. Because we don't have a discard. Besides blowback, which can't use right now. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, music stopped. Let's continue. Um, yeah, it's probably actually. Ugh. Well, now he now he's getting value off of it because it's dragging. So it's probably just spear. Gah. Perhaps they brought him as a definite hard counter to some of our stuff. Stop. Stop. If he has Inspiring Light, then we should have swung. Otherwise, it's fine. Woohoo! <laughs> Rip. Pass. Play Echo. Oh, stop. Oh, jeez. What the heck? Okay, now this is more of a question of... How do we... Uh, I guess we can just make it so that this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna blow back this. His hand's dead, right? Like once we get drain him out of all this. What? Sorry. What? Excuse me. What? 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 Why? Someone explain why. <laughs> why? How does that ever ever make sense? 
if he has champion strength that's how actually so um that in mind we want to Champion strength is going to destroy us. I'm just going to do this. You can take it. Probably. Yeah. If he has champion strength, he just takes it. Is there a way we even survive champion strength? Basically, if we have... If we have six damage up for this. Or six mana up for this. Uh, right now, we're going to be at nine next turn. I think we just time trick and try to find... What? What do we want? We might be okay with Zon Arjun. Might let us survive this. So we'll sack a spear. Yeah. Then during the spell. We're going to commit a blowback onto the Broadwing and a Mystic Shot onto the Mirai Warden. And then we have blockers for the whole thing. Alright, you can tap out whenever, dude. Seriously. You do not need to stay here through this. I will tap out. I will tap out. Oh. That's interesting. Let's see what he does. I want to pass. Like, if he doesn't want to swing, sure. Now we blow back this, right? It's good for us. Mm-hmm. dun 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 Da -da 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 -da. Skin light. We're determined though. Uh, actually, we want to be able to play Echo's time trick. I think he's gonna drag it, or at least discard Echo's time trick. Okay. Do it like this. Cool. So we've taken two damage from uh, to scouts this game so far. We still need to be very careful. Um, if we found like a blowback, could we use it? Two, three, four. No, we wouldn't want to. We want to be able to develop. We're gonna get rid of this. Try to find a Mechie Ordle. We need better things to discard anyway. Do you have Mecha Force there? That could let us drag. Right? Because all these are temporary boosts. Let's do Geode Mecha Force here. So we can what? Like, we can kill... can we kill that we couldn't kill otherwise basically is the question no probably just more yeah just come on yes champ strength we're still pretty screwed i think this is great if he has champ strength <laughs> Uh, this makes me think he doesn't have it. Double Mystic these via champ strength. Uh oh. Or maybe these. Hmm. A little sus. We'll take a pass here, though. Because we kind of need to keep these mystic shots up. 
we're, we're we are the more control based deck, so we we have the ability to like wait out, wait it out. Champion strength. Okay. So we do this. We do this. We do this. We look for units and we look for. Not that, but hey. Can we live? Did we need to keep this alive? He has form up, it doesn't matter, obviously, but we'll lose if he has form up. Or single combat. I think we lose. Yeah, we just lose anyways. Unfortunate. I don't even think we would run one with our clockwork, to be honest. I'm actually going to take a break for like two minutes now. She's the bathroom. Then we'll try to push the rest of Diamond 2 and Diamond 1. So yeah, be right back. Pause timer. There we go. Pausing timer. Good. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it here. I'm pretty determined. I don't I like. I don't even know if I'll quit at 16 hours. Okay, we are going to actually go to the music and reset it. I don't know when we're reaching the end of the playlist, and I don't want a copyright strike, so because it will totally start playing random stuff. Okay. This is Elusives. Fizumi. Oh my god, it's Dontibu. Let's do this. Drop that. This is going to be good for round 2 attack. Drop low back. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. So I guess let's see. It's probably Forge Chief then Pop Cat Pop. Dun, 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 dun. The pop is here. Okay, 
right, so now we're gonna do. <coughs> uh, this, this is a really good turn two attack. We're gonna do boom boom turn three, Zion urchin, then probably Yordle squire squeaker. Really big attack turn four. Yep. So doing Zion urchin first before uh, squeaker means that we might be able to find something better to discard. Gets okay, purifying flames time. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll do this. It's now. This is this is pretty much a free attack. Um. So yeah. Could block, but I think we'll just take the damage and keep going. Actually, this is very good now. You can turn some 12 damage. I think we will. Now it's like, we're pushing so much. I don't think this region combo has many ways to deal with this. Like a quick, no, quicksand doesn't even exist here. Ush. Ush could reduce the damage by two. But yeah, he's just taking 12. And so he has to push 15 on his next attack, otherwise he loses, I believe. So we can block Eula. It's now, it's now time to start blocking. That was a really good top deck. Uh, yeah, let's just do Spear. Yep, Purifying Flames. Not Purifying Flames. Uh, Heroic Refrain, doing work. Pokey Stick. Zenith Blade? That's awesome. I like that. And he's gonna Zenith Blade that one too. Yep. Okay. Let's see if we can find a big mech yordle. Has a good blocker. Drop a spear. Yes. Trump attacker is perfect. I know Zenith Blade on Yula. I guess he's kinda just dead anyway, honestly. Oh, hey, maybe not. That, that was cool. I didn't realize that was going to happen. All right, cool. Thank you. That's why he didn't do the Zenith Blade. He was swinging more with Fizz. Seven matches again. Seven matches out. Seven wins out. I guess it's actually plus 22, minus 22 once you're in diamond. I didn't realize that. Okay. Reputation. Uh, we'll drop Echo, we'll drop Parts Made Hole. I think I think we might have lost everyone who was at the stream at the start. So, me okay, you know, definitely there's some people who are still here, but from earlier in the stream, not the very start. So anyone who's new, welcome. We're very close. We're, we're actually like, so close. Uh, it's not a worthy attack. Okay, we can squeaker, return our wrench, and we might be able to find something. Let's do this. If he has a frostbite, that's just hilarious. Okay. Um. Mecha Forcer would be interesting. We could make him into like a three, fi a five. Jeez, that'd make him up. 5-4. Um, but 
I don't think that's worthy because of all the five attack units in this deck. This plays probably better and safer in the long run. What's his turn three plays? He could frostbite us. I think we're still going to try developing Spear. Because if he has like a LeBlanc, he's not going to want to block with her. Trapper? Okay. So, it's fine. We still do a three. He'll... Okay, sure. Real Steel? That makes sense. Uh, well, Von Mech... This next turn, we don't have any buff caps, so there's no chance of us leveling Nar. Hello, Timo. Now you can level Nar with us. Maybe. Let's see what we want to do. Oh, that sucks. So, if you swing just a 5 5, we're taking 5 damage, I think. Oh, LeBlanc. We'll probably Mystic her. He might have Elixir Ryan, that's a punish. Can we afford 10? If he does. I think so. Cool. He does not. Um, okay. We're gonna do... We can't really play Gnar now. Do we have any multi-region followers? Actually, we do. Teemo is multi-region. We're gonna do this. Um, improvising could be crazy. <laughs> Scout Timo. Any equipment on Timo would be crazy. Or Nar. I think we like this. Scout. Scout Timo is crazy. problem uh we are pretty much blocking now like we don't actually have many ways to push damage all right like we could full swing there and then we'll probably die to these we're gonna throw iron hook master in front right so that we can get the scout on teemo starting some puff cap stuff early frostbite enemy summer pack okay that's fine. Um, I think we'll... What? We don't have a multi-region follower right now. We played both of them last turn. Just, I guess we could have played like Iron Hook Master this turn? But probably it does not matter. We'll just pass. See what, see what he does. If he doesn't want to swing, that's great. I'm I'm expecting some strike spell to kill Teemo like later. Okay, so this. Um, let's do yeah, discard this. See what gets the equipment. You get the equipment, so we can do this, right? So three. Oh no, we need to do this. So then we get the equipment back, and we can. Oh no, I just did Teemo. No. <laughs> Oh, it's happening. We're start. We're starting the tiredness of putting th the wrong things in front of blocking. Okay, we're gonna. I guess that just sucks. That just sucks so bad. Well, oh, it, you know it's bad, but like we're not really punished for it now. Uh, okay, we can level now this round. Let's see. How do we want to do this? Um, I think we're going to play Teemo and just strike with him again. Frostbite. Okay, Frostbitten. We will play the scout equipment on now if he's willing to block here. Okay. We just have so many units, it's great. Problem is we okay we can play Nar but like he's not 
leveling. I mean, no, he's not like we can't strike with him. Okay, well, at least we know that that did not actually matter how we did it last time. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have dealt damage this round though, so let's do Nar, and then maybe we can do some Scout Overwhelm Nar stuff. That's like that might be our line. he's running low on cards and we have we can block with all three of these another another is not good we don't like that uh okay, we'll do this now he's gonna have frostbitten uh and they're not gonna be able to block we can return our wrench for a burst speed blocker so we're still okay but yeah we kind of need to hold up blockers because otherwise we're just losing Still good, yeah. We still have good blocks here, though, relatively. I would say, as we do this, right? Return our wrench. Then we go. You in here? You in front of here? You in front of this? You in front of that? Yeah, we only take two. He loses half his board. Okay, now we might actually be able to start pushing damage though. Who do we want to have scout? Can't like can it matter? Will it matter? And will we want to open? That's an important question, because he's gonna be getting that ice arrow. Oh, that's not good. Um I don't, can, is there any way? I'm trying to think of a way that we live here. Actually, there is a way we live here. It's, we play Boom Boom Boom, it works. And then we Mystic Shot the Rhyme Frame Pack. We live on three. Not on my work site, Bob. Right, no, we live on four. Awesome. Make, we're surviving. This last card could be something, and he's getting that crystal arrow, which is what a draw one. Yeah, frostbite all enemies. So he shut down our next attack as well. Oh wait, we can kill an ash now. Relevant. Ah, uh, it sucked. Okay, if he has another ash, our flame chompers can't block. Mmm, that's bad is there any way we can kill that i've spotted a line maybe if we put the scout the upcycle drake if we put the upcycle drake on the flame chompers and swing into it with a spear no it would only be two Mm-mm. Um, I guess we should try to make something big. Uh, we should get him to use this now as well. So we need to basically bring our Sea Scarab up to as much health as we can. Oh, uh, not nice. Don't like this. I guess we'll throw wrench. Yeah, okay. The wrench on something. So many things he could find. A lot of things we could find too, though. Uh, yeah, so we're not attacking. Can't attack. Glory Seeker? That just... And also, he just became an 11 attack, I just realized. Uh, is there anything at all we could find? Yes, actually there is. If we upcycle Drake attack like this, and we find exactly blowback, then we could survive. 
Damn it! <laughs> no! Sea Scarab, you're nerfing us! Maybe it's another. Maybe we can get another. Uh, yeah, no. Okay. Hey. It, it was there. Sea Scarab just decided that today was not the day and that we weren't going to be able to use it to win. Unfortunate. But that's how it goes. I believe Sea Scarab must have reason for everything. It is too wise. Dun 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 eight matches. Uh man, if you guys haven't followed or subscribed, please do. I am playing Runeterra for 16 hours straight probably trying to world record this i think i think it's a world record i'm gonna make a youtube video on this after i'm done i have no i have no idea how long that YouTube video will take but yeah it'll probably just be highlights of everything from the run there have been some really crazy matches really funny ones as well it's been it's been a really good time as long as much as playing 15 hours of entire seems not enjoyable <laughs> sometimes it's been a little unenjoyable a little few parts Specifically, all the Shadow Isles control we've been seeing. But that's just kind of the meta. We chose to do this during a Shadow Isles control meta. So, yeah. Yeah. Set surfing could be hard. Teemo? Um, let's just do this. Uh, we're attacking on. Hmm. I think we're gonna grab Dune Hopper Mech, and we're just gonna open next round for five. Oh, or will we? See, my thought is if he has like the heal card, we don't want him to use it right now. Actually, they don't run that right because they're they're not the coin deck. Caustic Rift would be a huge punish for an outswing. You could always use shield. For that. Yeah, let's just use shield for that reason. We could grant shield to Squeaker. Especially if he just if he just passes, it's probably Caustic Rift. Oh. Okay. That means he's looking. He's searching. I'm gonna hedge our bets on that potential of uh, of ca of caustic Rift and just do this. Shield cure guarantees six damage even if it's caustic Rift that he just pulled from that. Is that? I know. Okay. Still five damage. Pretty good. Okay, Seraphine, wow. Okay, so he's hoping for something good off Seraphine in terms of damage, I guess. I think we'll play, depending on what he plays, we might play Gnar this round. Also, Clockling. Just see if we get a one drop. You know, one mana Mystic Shot also seems okay. Or Heroic Refrain. I actually like Bandle Hellstones for Heroic Refrain more. Is your mana? That's an effective 4 damage later. Potentially. You might spend mana here to kill something. Um. Sir? Oh, Caustic Griff. He, okay, we played around that Caustic Griff very well then. Uh, this Dune Hopper mech's gonna be great. Like, I think we're going to push so much with this. He, he can't even Hexbliterate because he's only uh, 5 mana. Yeah. Dune Hopper's pushing crazy damage. He's like, how do I deal with this? A stun or, or a call? Is the answer there. Tag out. Yep. So he's dealing the inevitable 
Might have a hex blade raider. We get two damage. Still nice. Um, okay, we're not going to be dealing damage on his turn, so we can't play not right now. Set. Um, I think we just keep developing. Okay, we just play Dune Hopper. Then play Teemo. Oh. Interesting. That means he might be trying to like high note or mystic shot. Dune Hopper. Okay, so that, that's interesting. Good to know. We can still swing at the full wide board now. Because the press made hole. And then we can potentially just win off of Faroka Frame. Let's do that. Cool. Let's see what happens. Uh, like, if it's second cost of Griff, that's a bad spot for us. No, actually, no, it isn't, because we can add Rogue Train. So, that. Dreary Rig blocks Dune Hopper mech. Blocks the 3-2, then he has a removal spell. Make sure you safety block, sir. Yeah, that. If it's just a mystic, then we're golden. Text Bliterator, a little worse. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, Set. I'm kind of confused what he's doing. Is it Caustic Roof? Like he's blocking as if it is. I note. Um, so, uh, the Heroic Refrain. Works pretty well here. Just like this. Right? Just pushes four more damage. Or no, six. Six more damage. So this is exactly lethal if he doesn't have any more spells. And either way, we have blowback next round. So. Okay, he's pulling for Mystic and Seraphines. Found one? Yes, found one. Okay. Oh, uh, what's our team at? Yeah, 15. Eh. Basically, we hope he finds a uh, ends up mushroom. Puff cap. I think we've killed most of his value anyways. Like, I don't know how. It'll be hard for him to come back from this. We're going to augment and clock and just try to find burn. That's burn. Cool. Good game. I think. Probably. We can, we'll just blow back Seraphine. Could have, I guess, blow back Seraphine immediately, but it's fine. Dun dun. Apologies. My voice is starting to be sore. I'm probably not going to be commentating as much. So. I'll try my hardest though. Fifteen hours of commentating is a little, <laughs> a little bit on the voice. Um, I think we'll just let that go, and then do a blowback electrical. So we discard what scrap heap and boom boom. Oh no, it's like this, right? Uh, we get our team as much. I think. Let me do this. Yeah. Five. So we're good. Cool. That had to be nope. Nope of five. Good game. No, that went well. 
That Bandle Scout leaves no trace. We're sitting in this forever 4466 LP Diamond 2 zone. We must escape. We've been here for like an hour, I think. Hard stuck Diamond 2. We're not going to be claiming any of the... I think we're, we're past midnight now. I think we're getting daily rewards. Actually, we've still been getting daily rewards the whole day. I think they removed the XP cap. Does anyone know? if? Because I know there used to be an XP cap. But I honestly don't... I have not seen one today. Does anyone know if there's still one? Like if that exists in the game anymore? Big stretch. Um, we'll do just Forge Chief, then Puff Cat Pop probably. In case he has a turn two blocker. We can, we can develop Baboon later. Because we can't discard with it. This hand. With this hand. The pup. Dun, 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 dun. It's Conchologist. Honestly, let's just swing like this. If he wants to block and give us a free trade, I think that's beneficial. He will. Now, this is a good top deck because we can boom boom, then Zion Urchin. Swing next round for a bunch. Cool. Sounds good. Lost cost card? That's so fine. Okay. I guess it goes left to right. I would. This would have been really bad, right? <laughs> if he was able to hit Urchin, but he wasn't. Um. Okay. I'm gonna play down here. I think we we need the value from his Pokey Stick. Also, a chance that he like, only has a Callista to develop, to develop, which will just drag with Flame Chompers anyway. Oh my lord, he has nothing to do with Okay, that is punishing for him then. He might have pinks, I guess. Hate spike, like that. And then... Orc. You know, it's like kind of looks like hate spike. You like blend them together and squint. It's just that the Nara ended up back in my hand instead. Anyways, still did a lot of damage. Happy about that. We can play, yeah, Forge Chief and Nara this round. Then I think we can just win with a Heroic Refrain and Mystic Shot next round. Welcome back. Nara's here. Makabo. Okay, um, so he has a Vengeance mana. He has Vengeance mana. We can Heroic Frain and do that, and also we can find Burn with Clockling now. Okay. Victory, right? Good game. Unless he has uh, Pytos on Forge Chief. Okay, cool. Does not. He would have used it, I think. It's six. We will go over 16 hours. I know I said initially that I was not planning on doing that, but we are very, very, very close. Let's like drop down a bunch. 
I think we're good. The diamond grind is just the long one. Makes sense. The amount of LP you're losing is equal to the amount that you're gaining. The difference is just that there's that occasional time that like when you're at the bottom of a rank, like diamond three and you have like two LP and you lose, you only lose 12 So it makes it so you need a little less than a 50% win rate. This is, seems like it should be a really good hand to potentially beat Nice as my girl. Let's see. Doom, doom. Well, we'll just take that for now. Might get something better later, so. Okay, now, now I'll just take the block. If he has, yeah. I guess we should have swung in case he had that one, that one protect guard, I forget. The one's like, um, if you have, it's just like predict, give you minus two, minus two. Yeah. All right, we can throw. We can drop scrap heap immediately on the return wrench, and then see what we find. We it might be worth it, especially with this forge sheep now. We found like the two drop. Wait, okay, that's not not great. Not a great pulse. We'll grab bond mech. Um, we'll probably just swing like this, honestly, because he can probably develop the one three, and we don't want that. We'd rather him trade here than be able to trade twice with the one three. Okay, that's the correct block because then we can't keep using the return wrench for value. But honestly, with our hand right now, we don't have any discards, so that's fine for us. Okay. Um. Oh, we can kill a vaults. It doesn't have vaults. Okay, it's good. It's good to know that we can kill vaults. That's why we added it, because we've been seeing so much vaults. We need it away. Uh, Mysterious Portal, actually, huge, I think. Could be really, really good. So we need to hold up five mana before the attack if we want to use this. Which tells me we might just want to open. Mm-hmm. Because if we don't open, there's probably going to be hibernating rock bears. <laughs> and we don't like that. Um, yeah. kind of wish this equipment wasn't on so we could use parts made whole now, but it is on it. So, yeah. Hit spike. Uh, anyway, we can count on that. Nah. Alright, well, that will pop these. It's like some when you summon an ally. Advances, advances, okay. Now you have to deal with rock bears. Um, if he plays vaults, we'll kill it. He also play wardens. I'm assuming he doesn't have it. Yeah, let's play, play team maker. Get a portal in there. Um, he would play it. I, I don't think he's playing around battle tell stones. Uh, let's recall. Let's recall you. So we can get another draw, basically. Okay. He's vaultless. We'll assume. Oh, hello, Nessus. Hello. Let's do this. This is a chump. I don't really... We don't have enough discard to make putting the return wrench on right now. Worthwhile, I don't think. Okay. Block like that. Kills one unit. 
But then Ness is still not at 10. Now he's at 10. 11 or whatever. Okay. Um, Urchin like this. Maybe it'll go on him. Nope. We're going to get rid of... I don't think he will not ruinate if he has it. Dune Hover Mech? Eh. Like, not really what we need right now. Probably just gonna play Clockling next turn. We'll do Professor Von Mech so that we can, like, have blockers, probably. Um, and then we will... I think just discard our parts made whole. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah, we want to we want to be mana efficient here, so let's just get get rid of that, and we get our portal. Oh wow, that's a six seven four. Whoa, Chemtech Hater Mobile is gonna come in clutch now. I know, right? <laughs> it's huge. Okay, I think I block Nasus very well. Now we might just do this. Put the this is vengeanceable for him. Okay. <laughs> uh, wait. If we, I don't. He does not have vaults at this point. If we do tarot refrain, this works. Awesome. <laughs> He's a ten five quick attack. Yeah, we get free trade on that. Boom boom. We like to see that. I hate Spike, obviously, could. If he wants to th throw away a Rock Bear. For that purpose. Um, okay, we're just gonna do this. We're gonna save Clockling. We're gonna try to be very, very efficient with our board here. And then we'll do this. No, actually, we don't want. We cannot let Nass slip. Until, like, the last possible second. <laughs> the 10 1 Cater Mobile. It's nice when the Nasus players don't find Vault. I don't know, do people mulligan away Vault into this deck? Or like this region combo? I feel like that wouldn't make any sense. Just pass. Like we have good blocks here. And we, do, we don't want to use up our resources. Until he's attacked. I suppose we could have like played another one drop. I will do this though. Even if he like hate spikes, well, actually, hate spike would hate spike would do it. It's worthy of Mystic though. If we can get rid of his Nasus. Let's see. Then we're more open to start swinging with stuff. Right of negation? Okay. So there goes Kidomobile, there goes Nasus on his leveling. Should be okay though. A right, him using a right of negation on something that wasn't burn, like to his face, is good. Blowback. Hmm. Do we want blowback? Can we even use blowback right now? I think we just want Mystic Shot. Yeah. Cool. I think we will full swing. Calling strike? Okay. Okay. Uh, we will... We do need to keep our fearsome blockers, so we're going to full swing with our non-fearsome blockers. Because we need to make sure that Nasus is not going to hit us. Call an ally to grant it my stats. Call an ally to grant it my stats. Uh, is this worth it right now? Call an ally. 
I think it's worth it. Big star cross lover. Okay, oh, uh, that's really bad because that can kill our squeaker. Mm hmm. Um, how do we prevent this? Without sacrificing our, uh, that. I guess we do a two impact. And then we, we can't use the clock ring this round. That's what that means. Unfortunately. We do two damage and impact, and then we just settle. Keep then keep developing. Because that's the fact they outburn. Okay. Then I he would like to darkness this. Um oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. I thought he would. Uh look, I guess I guess we're not doing that then. We do have to play a squeaker eventually, just in case. Quick attack, elusive. Okay, we'll do that now. Uh, Shadow Tech Walker. There's our elusive impact. We have to win with our elusives. And then we'll we'll do a mystic now for mana efficiency. Do 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 do. The craziest run. Okay, he does that now. Then we play what? Wait. Oops, did I just do that wrong? No. Oh. oh, I just did that wrong. Okay, I thought we had enough credit cards. Whoops. I don't know if this is winnable anyways, to be fair, but... Um, yeah, okay, that sucks. Can't block Nasus. Was there a way we could have done, like, because he... Oh, he was cre... We had... Was one of those squeakers a created card? I don't think so, right? So, like, if we had... Oh, no, I don't think so. Basically... The th I, the plan was to play, try to play around NASA's fearsome, but I guess it wasn't possible. I miscounted the number of create codes we had in hand. Yeah, unfortunate. If we had like one more mana, we could have played the um like non spell mana four four unit mana. We could have played the four mana card, I guess. Um. Not Darius. So this is deck. Let's Darius do Darius things. We're going to just do one, two, three. I like this hand. This is a nice hand. Because we're taking on two especially. It's pushing like five damage turn two. And they don't have much of a way to deal with it. Let's see. I think YouTube music stopped. Continue watching. All right, we'll do... Uh, Girl Squire. I think we're gonna do Spears this game. I don't see much reason not to. Spear gain. And Teemo. So unless he has an Elixir of Iron, we just get to deal 5 here or trade with his Ruthless Raider. Or like Brittle Steel. He's like, no. <laughs> cool. Free five. I'll take that. Depending on what he has, or what we think he has, we could always like put all these spears on Timo. Uh, I guess just do boom boom.
Probably just block Ruthless Raider. Right. The like heal deals a little damage to us, but then Ruthless Raider can't block us. And now we're going to put a spear onto just one of these. So that we can block one of these Crimson Pigeons. Or like full block his board. It's like we're, he's going to block us anyways when he get, can get a chance to. We just want to make it so that he's not getting very much damage off of this attack. So we just do it like this, this, and this. So he, we only take two damage. We need to stay healthy so that Darius can't get to 10 damage. Extra round? Sure. He's running low on cards. I would say resources at this point already. Or pretty stable. We will just Clockling, I guess. Oh, Gnar. Gnar is way better here. Good top deck. If he passes, we might just swing with Teemo. Let's see. Bone Club. Well, you know, now we just. Now we just swing with Teemo. Um, right? Is there any reason to swing with Gnar? Like, I guess the reason is. He's dealing 8. No, because we want to just save a little bit of health. Okay. We did not respect the Bone Club. Should have. Oh yeah, he's vulnerable. That's why we shouldn't have swung Nar. Awesome. She's vulnerable. And we have Nar. Uh, and we can give Nar more damage? Maybe? Enough? Actually, no. We'll just drag her with anything, right? And we can hold up this parts made whole. Alright, we'll take eight. Unfortunately, we'll take eight. Uh, little chompers. We'll probably actually... Oh, oh. Okay. Hello there, Sabatuba. Um, yeah, so we'll parts made whole this return wrench. Big puff cap, nice. Can we find a Teemo? That'd be awesome, actually. And we can use Mushroom Cloud. Nope. Alright. Um, so, we want to attack like this and this. Uh, you are going to come here. You're going to come here. And you're going to swing like that. And Teemo, we're going to give you the plus two, right? Okay. I think this is optimal. Uh, then we have another card to discard with our blowback as well. If he has frostbite, he'll use it here. Okay. Okay. We might be able to live. Maybe. If he has Darius, we definitely won't be able to. But, hey. Hey, Puffcaps. Hmm, spooky. Oh, well, Darius kind of makes it so we don't live. <laughs> right. Um. Yeah, like we take we're taking six here and we're taking eight here. It would have to be we find another blowback. Or another Mystic. Totally possible. Oh, oh. Or he'll take two... Oh. <laughs> or that happens. His fate is sealed by Puff Caps and Top Deck Blowbacks. Okay, well, so we would do it like this. <laughs> this is scary, yeah. This is... Oh, wait. Oh, we don't have enough mana exactly. Ugh. Well, okay. Let's see. I think he's still dead, right? It's still just this. And then we block... Just if we were blocking, we would block like this. I think he does not run any heal.
Popcaps just saved us. Popcaps just saved us so hard. He's molding. <laughs> That's frustrating. Timo. He's good. He's good in this deck. He can actually sub for Ken. Like, legitimately. Imagine. Okay, we're good. That doesn't work. It's and. Oh. Nice. That's not how it works, unfortunately. But. Nice. Boom, boom. Blowback is a really busted card. <laughs> I don't remember what I was talking about. Honestly, I do not remember what I was talking about. Oh, this... Yeah. If we had to jinx, imagine we would have been at Masters probably like two hours ago. Because that deck is just better. They can like do the thing when they empty their hand. When we empty our hand, we're just like, oh, we're dead. Usually. We have to like play very carefully around it. It's fine though. Do -do -do. Chat. We're at 15 hours and 31 minutes. What, what do you guys think? I think my guess, when I first guessed how long the run was going to be, I think I said 14 hours, 53 minutes or something. We're past that. What do you guys think? How long will it be? I'm really honestly at this point feeling like I'm just going to go till I pass out. <laughs> Not pass out, but be like, I can't do this. I believe we can do it. Just got to hold out hope. Hey, Forge Chief. Um, I don't, again, I don't think they run. Maybe they do. I think it is still just correct to attack here. Unless you have the drag card. The flame chompers. Cool. The chief. Hmm. Um. Uh, I yeah, like pass. <laughs> we'll take a pass here. This looks like we have a really weird hand. I'm, like reluctant to get rid of our burn. Um, let's do that. And then I think we're going to discard. I guess we can discard a Mystic. From Macchiotl. Yeah. Or maybe it's discard a Mystic with Zonairgen. In which case we should have done that earlier. Well, it depends. Like, if he were to find something he... If you were to find, like, a uh, Rock Bear Shepherd turn three off this draw, then obviously this is fine. But, yeah. Okay, so, like, this is good, because we can play this and uh, manifest into something, maybe. We won't be able to use whatever we manifest, but it's still uh, getting the flame trappers down. And if he doesn't have a turn three play, then this could be good. Definitely going for the long game in terms of scrap heaping here. Like we're gonna get oh, says Rock Bear Shepherd. Unfortunately. So like yeah, Dune Hopper Mech is just a, just the best pick for us here. So we could be two health higher, but I think it's fine. Oh, Alright, we're looking for 
a one of the bandle toss down so that we can get rid of his vaults. Otherwise, I don't actually think we're winning. <laughs> I guess no, we can blow back. If that's if that's why, right? We will blow back if that's what he's doing. That would be a greedy play, I think, for him to do. Right? Like, just slam it down and say, you don't have anything. We have big Dune Hopper mech. Quietus, sure, okay. We're going to do this still. If he doesn't do anything, we're probably just going to open the blowback. Okay, he does something. Because now, uh, now he gets the rock pressure, but it's good for him. Uh, so we're just going to discard this. Smash and dash, awesome. Impact damage is cool. Then we can grab the hibernating rock for next round. With flame chompers. And we're pushing a lot. Well, the rock bear's here. <laughs> He's here early. He's arrived. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. Alright, we, we don't need to kill the 1-3. Or maybe we should have, because then he can block he can block Sand Soldiers multiple times. Whereas these guys can only block it once. Save us one more damage here. This is one there. Iffy, whatever. This, the the Nasus Fire matches are so slow and they are so weird. Like, they are very winnable, but you just have to play in this awkward, non aggressive way. Like, playing around vaults always, dancing around it, kind of making it so they can't play it if they have it, and then also hoping they don't. Playing so that if they don't, they, you have a chance at winning. It's so, like Dune Hopper here. Vengeance, the hard counter, right? We have to play as if no vengeance. Uh, yeah. Okay, he doesn't have it. If he does, that was a mistake on his end. So now he has to block over here. Really? Sir? <laughs> Sir, you always vengeance first. To prevent these from striking. Sir? May I ask why? What's the reason for your move? Why did you do this? Alright, we can just actually do... We can do nothing burn. Um, how do we want to do this? We'd want to do it like... Uh, pretend like I'm going to kill... your have any rock bear. If you attack with it. Although, we're not going to block with it if he attacks with it. Because we want this impact damage, obviously. We're just going to Mystic Shot. Yeah. Um, could you have a ping? What about ping? Right. Any reason not to do this? Doesn't actually matter. In case he had... Oh, hate spike or something. Doesn't matter. We have, we have blowback. Well, he could have, obviously... Um, Hate Spike and Rave Negation would be him winning it, right? Okay. Let's see, can we just get the two damage off? Nope, has a Vengeance. Uh, but that means he cannot have a Deny. So we just win. Cool. Okay. 
All right. Um, close. I, does that mean are we in? Are we in? Diamond one. Hey, we're in the final stretch, guys. Is this four more matches? No, it's five. Right? Yeah. Oh, we're going to get up into some stretches. Oh, 15 hours and 40 minutes. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Oh, so much. What? You guys are the legends for staying here. In the best. Echo Jinx. Could be okay. I kind of like this hand. Not gonna lie. Two things just. Well, actually, no, I don't. I'm gonna get rid of Boom Boom. Squeaker is so much better. That's perfect. Okay. Um, we'll just boom boom, boom round two, squeaker round three. We would like to hold up enough for Electro Harpoon in case he for some reason plays Echo early. I like he shouldn't do that. There's no logical reason he would. That stinks as hell, three. Yeah, we'll st still play in here. We need to be able to push damage. Okay. Like, sure. Could have passed and he wouldn't have done that, but also this get, does it not on the attack, which is nice. I'd say this is beneficial. Um, what we could do return our wrench. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll do it like this. This is better because we might be able to push for extra damage. Now, what do we like later? Bouncer and bolt is a kill echo and kill jinx machine on our round five attack. Potentially. Right, because he can drag them. You can drag Echo, uh, unless they have the quicksand, this Scrank Sands, or Quicksand. He already used one, though, so. We'll probably Electro Harpoon this Clockling, and then shoot five, or, yeah, five damage at him. There's a one through chance this doesn't work. So we should have, I guess we should have done this first, in case. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> what, what? In case of that, that was why. Okay, doesn't matter anymore. He would have just done that to whichever one had the uh, impact. Still, for the future. So this is six damage burn. He's effective ten. Hi, Echo. You are at three out of four. Do we just kill him? Can we? Do we just do the blowback now? I think I think we do. Yeah, this is an easy way to kill him. Sure, you level him, but he's still dead. Doing that predict then. So that's one less predict that he can find a chrono break with, and we're doing we're killing Echo on around before he can chrono break him. Bouncer and Bolt here also is a way to trade into a drop border without issue. We'll trade away this Flame Chompers to anything he plays. Oh. Um. Well. Now I feel like we should do this. Uh, not this. Like this. Right? It's better. Nine damage. Missed shot. Okay. Still five.
Alright, we can... It's, if he can't empty his hand in one action, we like, during, against our blowback, we can kill Jinx. Can you kill? Let's see. Cool. He might have Chrono Break. Still gotta respect that. Does have it. Okay. So in this scenario, we're just gonna block with our Boom Boom Boom. Oh, oh, he got it. He got it. Okay. Does Jinx have spell? Oh, Jinx Spellman is up. Oh no. Okay, well. I guess we're just gonna take it. Yeah, if he's willing to not attack here, sure. We must go wider than you, sir. Let's do this now. Man efficiency's sake. I uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. We like to see double mystic shot. He may be looking for abnegation. That's just a really nice chain of events if that just lets us do it. Get one pink one. He's like, it's fine. It's not, not a problem. No, it's a problem. It's a huge problem. You just don't know it yet. Drop order. Smash and dash, I guess. Um, or maybe it's what we if we want to play something now and still be able to hold up mana, it's bounce from bolt. Well, play Bouncer and Bolt, and then unless this last card's deny, we just kill him. It's not deny. Awesome. Okay, now we're safe. We're safe to Mystic Shot. He'll play this. We'll just lose Mystic Shot's face. Good game. Definitely pretty lucky on that. That pull. <laughs> it happens. You know, our deck is basically full of burn spells, so... That's gonna. That's kind of bound to happen, a decent amount of the time. Because we're at four, four left. Oh, no wins. Come on. We need to grab water in a bit. May need to grab water. Da -da -da. It's stop. <laughs> it's not this girl. Please cease cease this madness. Um, I guess we'll keep. Uh, yeah, that. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. He might find Vault this round. Our opponent, the nastiest of our opponents, might find Vault this time. Okay. Let's play Puffcap up. Thanks for the follow. Aqua Spears. Okay, so as long as it's not Quietus, we can play Teemo here. If he had Quietus, I feel like he would use it on Puffcap Pup. Okay, cool. It could be Hate Spike still, but yeah.
the puff cap duo can they make it happen uh no they can't <laughs> they are getting blocked Let's see. Uh, yeah. Sir, don't find Vault, please. We don't like that. We're going to try to find uh, Bandle Tell Stones on Clockline. We find it. So now we can kill Vault. That's good. Um, uh, let's take that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Zonite Urchin or this. Hey there, Puffcap. Scrap heap. Basically, if we we could find the giant 6-6 six, six thing. Yeah. The Trumple tech is also, like, decent. Um... Or smash and dash. I'm gonna do smash and dash. Because we can still do your contraption because it's zero mana tell stones. If we do this one. Cool. So let's just do eight damage. He's like, I'll keep my two three alive. And then you get vault, right? No. Obviously, he could have a second vault. He could have a deny as well. I think we're just going to send it. Say, destroy landmark. You don't have deny, hopefully. If you do, rip. Okay, doesn't have it. If his hand's valueless, we can try to roll over him on turn 7 attack. Very possible. Okay, he has a main... Oh, Ness is only at five? Awesome. We can ignore that for now, I think. Um, What would be the best way to do this? I guess it's Yordle... Squire. Spear. Yeah, we just ignore that. I feel weird ignoring a Ness, but yeah, we just ignore it. It's a very odd guy to ignore. He's just standing there. I'm just like, no. We're good. Uh, he'll block with Nasus. And then we can do blo uh, blowback and stuff. Professor Von Mech, I guess. Um, I think we're going wide on him. Sand Soldiers would be nice, but I don't know if it's to play this game. Okay, let's do it. Yes, she does. It's getting blowbacked. Right, like this. Uh, actually, no. It's definitely... Unfortunately, we just have to do that. We could get rid of Harpoon. This is actually safer to deny, though. Just doing that. Cool. Worked. Because now we can scrap heap one of the Von Mech uh, spawns and still have a lot more value in hand than him. I was going to say, maybe it's Miss Call to revive Nasus. Von Mech is a blocker. Fearsome blocker, luckily. And, and we are lucky to have you, second fearsome blocker. <laughs> the young will be found. Okay, so ideally we can also get uh, Petty Officer down so that we don't have to throw away an impact as a fearsome blocker. Right, and we summon a one cost follower so that we can not have to get rid of our Clockwing either. Yeah. Um, this is good for us. Is that just swing at the assets? That'd be crazy. That'd be nuts. Like, you have to. It's basically free. 
I'm gonna do this. We take nothing. Should we do it like this? That's a little bit weaker. Uh, yeah, cool. Then he's still leveled, unfortunately, because he has two of them. I suppose we could have just taken the damage. So it'll be a difference of one damage on... Oh wait, no, it's actually no. We don't get any damage from it. So wait, we get one damage from that. Let's see what we can find on this. Um, I feel like it's still one mech. Or it could be... So basically, if we do smash and dash... Uh, we could then play the equipment through discard. That's probably the line. Is it though? Mm, hard. Hard, hard, hard. Maybe we weren't supposed to block there. It's tough. Play it on Mac though. Ghastly Band? Okay. We can go wider than him. Maybe. We can also obviously find a bunch of burn. We got urchin. Okay. Um. Darkness. Squeaker. Okay. This is very relevant. Uh, let's do this first. Hopefully it doesn't hit him. Hmm. Okay. So, um, Jared Microforcer effectively is three damage. Shadow Walk Attack Walker is effectively two. Right? Yeah. Because uh, we can give plus two, plus two, and this. Oh no, he doesn't have his impact. Doesn't work. Um. So it doesn't actually matter. If we go six wide, it shouldn't matter at all, right? Well, obviously. Zero mana. Oh, you're good, because you have, you're boosted. The double Nasus is definitely, definitely annoying. Like, this doesn't even work, right? Yeah, hi. <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, we're figuring it out. We're trying. It's just annoying. I think we made a mistake by laying on last level. If he has deny here, basically we just lose. Oh, okay. Then we can just... Three. It's gonna be, it's literally gonna be one off, right? Unfortunate. Yeah, we find burn. What, decent chance, one in well, with the draw cards in deck, it's probably like a one in five. Let's see. Let me find it. Fun burn. Oh, he just hit the puff cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think the game wants us to do it. Never punished. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, I'm canceling. I'm getting water. One sec. Pausing the run for a second. For 16 hours. Oh no.
Next good, I think. This is potentially the last three matches of the run, if we can win them. We have beaten Nasus Viger like countless times, which is like a really hard matchup for us. We've beaten oh, Shadow Isles control everything. Um, Jace Heimer a bunch, which is hard to do with this deck as well. We're we're really I'm surprised. Basically, is all I'm trying to say that we're that we are three matches off. Potentially three minutes off. Knock on wood. Seraphine, Karma Set. This is this is winnable. Probably not three boot, two of them boon. Just one. We've been in diamond for five hours. Um, I think it's probably five four chief, so we can man cheat. Then do boom boom. Shoot for four. I don't know what to cost. Like he plays Seraphine and block there, but you know. Okay, Mystic Shot. It's fine. That's a team that's not getting Mystic Shot. It's cool. Um this round we'll just do squeaker flame chompers, I think, and then Teemo. Okay, hi Seraphine. Um, the smash and dash is really hard for him to deal with. So we're going to do that. Just got a difficult stat line for this because, like, not really something you can expliterate. Also, not really something that you can ping, though. Like you could exploderate this, but it's not worth really it. And it's getting a lot of burn. Okay, we're gonna play it. Then we will drag. We're gonna drag the tentacle because then he has to block with Seraphine if he wants to stop this smash and dash at all. Now I can do it with Reggie, but still. All he has a uh, mana for now is a Mystic Shot, because I don't think he flowed last round. Yeah, he did not. He did not have Caustic Griff. Yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, right? Yeah, cool. Maybe, maybe it was the other way around. This is in case he has, like, a Recall, I guess. He can't get another Reggie back in hand. I guess he could have two mana recall, but you'd use it right now. So I guess in that case, it would have actually been. We should have switched around to avoid recall, like play around it. Um. Hmm. We've done damage next this round, but I feel like Nar's still a good play. Feels like this, what else are we really doing this round? Yeah, exactly. What's he really doing this round, you know? Okay, so now we have spells we can hold up. I think I want to... Um, nah, so what, even, what mech yodel would we even want here? I think we just full swing. Let's see what happens. Say, I have damage. What are you gonna do? Call Sarah Queen, I guess. Costa Griff. That sucks. If we found Bandle Tail Stones, how much more damage would we push? One, two, three. We would push nine more damage if we found Bandle Tail Stones off of a draw. Um. And we, or we could kill Seraphine, right? So that could be huge. Uh, and we could still blow back, like backup blowback onto uh, that. So let's do it. Let's get rid of Scrap Heap. Draw two. 
we might just blow back them anyway. Okay. Well. Yeah, we're just, just going to do this. Do we, or maybe we just do two, two damage. Do we need the third, basically? Because we have these, we don't want to keep it around. Yeah, let's do that. Just two damage. I want to keep a Zion Itch around for draw. Oh, nope. Okay, bye, Nar. <laughs> bye bye. I'm glad I did this because at least we have something to work with now. It's still possible. Eight damage and burn. Um, what's she at? Three out of nine. Okay, I'm not really worried. I don't think we need to miss her yet. We're gonna just do this. Try to find something bigger. Probably just play Trample Decker. Yeah. Okay. Like, it's a 5-5. Five five. He could stun it, he could obliterate it. Ooh, Gnar. Okay. Good Gnar. This is our last Gnar, though. If he kills this Gnar, we're done. We're done with Gnars. Uh... What does that tell us? I don't know. I think he just wants to kill Nara, maybe? Is that that's what that tells us? And he can block this, I guess, with his Yeah. Uh we're probably losing this one, I think. I'd be pretty surprised. We'll just kinda of hold out for a little while. Um get him to spend spells just trying to level Seraphine. Just play defensively at this point. Yeah, maybe he'll hit all the puff caps. <laughs> like, yeah, the one damage on... I guess we could've just gone the one damage, but... We're gonna do that. I think we're really... The only way we're winning now is playing long game. Which he can do too, but... As long as he doesn't have a karma, we're not totally lost. If, once he gets karma, we're just gonna FF, I think. Okay, that's too much value. That's a lot of value. He may just have too much value. Yeah, I think so. Let's see how the rest of the turn goes. If karma comes down, we're done. Progress day. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that he has too many cards now. Unfortunately. Back down to what, like four matches? Yeah, four matches. Woo! Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Good German guys. Base. Okay, let's just do that, right? If he doesn't have quietus, we get pop caps. No, quietus. Cool. Okay. Um. I'd be fine just doing this, honestly. Get some more impact damage on Teemo. And, like, there's not many times that we're going to be able to use this spell this game. It's not my targets. Maybe an elusive, like, late, late game, but hopefully we don't get to that point. 
Doesn't have Mystic either. Okay, so no Mystic, no Quietus. His hand is likely very heavy. Or uh, he just draw. He's just drew Quietus. Okay. Good to know. Uh, we'll play just Boom Boom. I'm not gonna play Girl Squire right now. Let's see what he does. Probably scrap heap this Returnal Wrench and see if we can find the Dune Hopper. Puff cap, nice. Mm. Now we're gonna scrap eat flame chompers so that we can press made hole and round open if we don't find a good mecha yordle. Yes, hit all of them. Okay. <laughs> Please find them all. Okay, we'll do this. If we can find a small mecha yordle here, maybe? Mmm, like Geode. I know we could get Dune Hopper here, but if we do Yordle Squire. Because he's a heavy hand. He probably has Vengeances, and he'll probably Vengeance Dune Hopper. Right when you play it. So this line, we can Yordle Squire Spear, and then burst out a attacker. We can press mate hole. Question is, who do we give? We probably give the Spear to Flame Chompers. <clears throat> okay. Bye, Flame Chompers. It's fine. I actually, that shouldn't matter at all, and I don't know why he did that. In that order, like, should have hit a 2-1. Okay. Sure. So we draw, create a, a Kathian Mirage. Uh, so time we can play Teemo here. But if he had, like, a uh, summon turrets card... That'd be very, very punishing. So we'll, we'll wait. Hold Teemo as like our kind of last stand type thing. Let's do that. If he blocks here, which is only kill, we get a return wrench back. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. I cannot wait until the variety patch, and I cannot wait until potential balance changes too. I'd love to see no epic scrap traption. There's no brash, no brash scrap traption. Mystic? Or ven vengeance on the two fours, I guess, is debate. Okay, yeah. yeah. You might regret not doing that. Who knows? We'll just pass here if he... Yeah, if he does not play anything. Why are you all doing one... Well, I don't know what your time zone is, but it's... 1.26 a.m. for me. How is everyone doing? How is chat? Uh, sure. Quick attack, Jace? Why? Isn't Challenger Jace just always better in this scenario? Nice. Jezbo, you tuned in the beginning, I think? Yeah. I'm very tired. Yeah, you tune in. I think it was the beginning. I can't remember if it was like the middle or not. Ba -ba -ba. Let's do. Let's drop a team down. Yeah. Two, three, awesome. I think we're gonna make it. <laughs> I am determined to not give up on this in the last stretch. Gaming for yeah. It's some. It's certainly game. a bit of gaming. I almost pass you. If we decide, if he opts not to swing, it's fine. All right. Will he find three one mana turrets? No. 
<laughs> no, he will not. Okay, now we'll just do this, because mana. What tank are you now, by the way? Oh, what rank? Um, I am Diamond 1. We're three wins off, I think. Four wins off? Something like that. Yeah, let's press. So yeah, four matches away, four wins. Okay, we'll grant Teemo elusive and then just swing like that. Victoria. Yeah, very, very, very close. So, yeah, it was, for anyone who hasn't heard, I took, it's just a fresh account, like literally nothing on it. I inspired you to play a few ranked games, awesome. Sick. Uh, we win anyway. Cool. <laughs> Let's go. Gold. <laughs> I am probably... I don't think I can ever... No. If someone beats the record, maybe I'll do it again. If I think I can beat their... <laughs> I don't know if I can do this again, though. This is insane. We're not even done, and it's already just feels nuts. I ain't, like... We're three matches off. We're going. Oh. This is gonna make a sick video. This is gonna be the best video ever. That's for sure. That's that's the inspiration. That's to keep me going. <laughs> Let's see. More Nessus Vigar, stop. We hate this matchup, but we still play into it, and we've won like the past few times. So, with the addition of Bandletail Stones allowing us to destroy the um, Vault of Helio, I forget who recommended it. I'll scroll back up. It was Lagfest 101. Yep, huge recommendation. Has actually saved us many matches. <laughs> this is much better. I think that um. Honestly, like Jinx, Kennen should run this. I don't know if they do. If they don't, they should. Like at least two copies. Instead of you can just have one electro harpoon or no electro harpoon. It's just like this can just be a four damage spell instead. Effectively. A lot of the time. Or just like save you can be even more if it's like saving you from something. Just drop the spear. Okay, mystics. Okay, um... I'm gonna get rid of this rummage. Try to go wider than him. Okay. I think that means he likely does not have vaults. Or he could just not have, um, Rockbridge Shepherd. But, you know. Sure. Okay, so if he goes and develops vault next turn... We just kill Vault. Lost our lost our unit. Rip. He's killed about three of our units, so Nas is at six. Okay. We actually don't need to kill Vault yet. All right, we can just kill Vault next round. Actually, well, in case he has deny, we should do it now. Destroy landmark. Cool. Bye bye, Vault. Could have two, obviously, but then he has to play one next round. Uh, we can always search for our second one if we're worried about that. Okay, we don't find it, uh, but we do find Yodel Squire, which will be zero mana. Zero mana Yodel Squire is very, very tempting. I think we're gonna do that. We might just be playing these trail benches. Soul harvest, okay. Yeah. The souls are harvested. Just do this. All three of our tournament wrenches. Oh, that feels a little bad. <laughs> that ain't great. Another? Wow. Everything's going, man. Um, 
We're gonna grab spear, but we're gonna play. We're just gonna play return of revenge. He's like, are you kidding? You have more. Yep. Always. Deal three. Four damage lead into burn. Oh, huge pull. Absolutely massive. Are we blocking Nasus here? We're not blocking Nasus here. No way are we blocking Nasus. Hmm. We can play if we do Smash and Dash, we can play him now. So let's do Smash and Dash. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Put spear onto your square. Okay. Unfortunate. Because now Nasus is gonna level. Hmm. So now we need to focus on impact damage. Nar, how can you help us here? How would you help us? Maybe Nate making Ness is vulnerable. Um, because like Pokey Stick. Actually, wait. Uh, no, we can't. I was gonna say like we could do Spear, then like double Mystic Shot, but that won't work. I'm gonna start playing these. Start playing these. Get triple impact on that. See what he does. I can't wait to spam rise on ladder. Yeah. Spam some rise. Whatever makes you happy. <laughs> like, we're spamming this. This is something. Ugh, I want to... Gnar. I think we will. So basically what this will do. Okay. Um, this grants. So hard. This is it though. This will grant Nar. Oh. What? Okay, never mind. I have no idea what he's doing. Out of 10 tiredness level, I'm like an 8 right now. Like, I have been yawning a decent bit. That makes sense why he did that. Like, the plays are definitely getting slower, so I, I wouldn't, like, I would say it's definitely still a speedrun, because we were, like, trying, we were trying to do this in 24 hours, like, that, or, like, one day. The initial goal was 16. I think we're going to do it in, like, 17. I hope. So, yeah, we're, we're at an 8 right now. I think we quit at 11. Uh, we, we can just get rid of this return on okay, We have to start playing, unfortunately. Right, yeah. Sad. I should have played Spear onto Yordle Squire last round, such that she could have been a blocker for Nasus, and we could have gotten the double impact, or the triple impact, again. That was a mistake. Insane. Shadow Tech Walker, that's going to be pushing two damage. Yeah, no, I, it's, Nasus is a, we've played so much Nasus, and the matches are always like this, because we run tech to remove the landmark, because we need to. Like, it's going to come down to whether or not we're drawing burn. Right? Like, if he has a vengeance, we just lose, because we need to strike here or do we <laughs> or do we um i guess we can get so it's gonna be one two three four five it's still just burn right like it doesn't matter what we find uh, he has no puff caps in deck so that's why we won our last <laughs> this match that we totally shouldn't have won 
I think we just do this. Yeah, um, and we have to find literally blowback or mystic or uh, never mind. Now we lose, <laughs> right? Yeah, now we lose. Ooh, a bit taxing. Nexus just isn't. I don't understand Nasus, man. I, I don't find it fun. I don't find it fun to play against. I don't find it fun to play. It's just kind of miserable. It's just a miserable experience overall. Like, Vaults of Helia should not be an actual meta card, in my opinion. I know it's cool. Like, it's a cool concept, right? It's funny. But, but it, like, what? Mmm, whatever, bye. Hi. We can keep a scrap heap around with return wrench. I think it's fine. It's not not fine. Oh, let's do this. It's a good hand. We can boom ba boon. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> well. I just, like, don't... Un I, think we, I think we just keep it like this. Because we do more damage overall like this. Let's, no, let's just do this. If he has the 4-4, four, four, this is sad, but... You know, if he has the 4-4, four, four, or Vayne. He does not want to block with Vayne. We're going to try to force him to, I guess. Yeah. Block with Vayne. And we'll elect to a Harpooner next round. Cool. So yeah, Electro, Harpoon, Flame Trumpers. Okay, I think I might just burn them out here. Yeah. Um, I'm debating now what we should do. He's probably going to try to do like the attack, tumble attack thing. If I had to guess, unless it's a quick attack equipment, which I think he actually would have already played. No, he wouldn't have. Hmm. I'm just going to pass you and see what he does. Maybe he'll go under form up as well, so then we can kill Vayne with a uh, like Harpoon, like guaranteed. Um, so you have form up. And you want to use it. So let's, let's make that happen. Okay, never mind. What? <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Okay, cool. We'll take that. Um, yeah, like, I, okay. Sure. Whatever you want, man. Oh, it's second main. That's what. That's what he wants. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're just gonna we'll pass. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I think we just win off of burn, right? Uh, well, I guess we do discard to draw two like this, just so that we can drag. Yeah. We drag this. 
Deal two. No, deal three. Then we blow back twice, right? Like this. Blow back on Rain. Whoever whoever she's blocking. Yeah. So we do that. By Noir. Let me just hold up Mystic Shot and blow back. So we have four damage and burn left. We're fine. Oh. The tired has gone up to 8.3. Like, single combat is saving your life here, and you should do it if you have it. Mr. Whatever Buy. If you have it, you should. I don't understand. Yeah, you know, I agree. Not normally like that, but I, I agree. In this scenario, I don't get it. Sorry, whatever. I just, I just don't understand. Okay. Back to three again. Three matches. Can we do it before 17 hours? <laughs> mm. I have like... I did not eat my pizza crust. I normally do. I just wasn't feeling it on stream for some reason. I cannot read right now. I'm too tired. Uh, Dill Honey, thank you for the fall. I did. Was that you? Okay. Well, that was you. I have you. You misplayed, and there's something you could have done to one. You should have single combated. Uh, the impact unit. I think you would have actually lived on one health. I was running out of resources. There's also something else, also. Be the good game. Um, what are we gonna do? Vico Ash. Should I outpace them? Do that. You've walked in on a on a speed run, basically, is what happened. Yes. Uh, tiny spear. Think about it this way. You help me get one match closer to not having to being able to stop playing Runeterra for today. That's like your hero for that. Cause um if you want to look take a look at that timer, it's not great. <laughs> but I like when you So basically I'll just keep on going up and down in Diamond One. For the next 10 hours and I'll collapse in my chair on Twitch. Is that what you people want? My god. <laughs> my god. Um, do we want to hold up Okafrain? It's only you have good. Uh, Avalanche would suck. Right. I don't know if he has it, though. you would totally use it if he has it. So let's just do this. Uh, we can do Heroic Refrain. Depending on how he blocks, if we want to. This will also become a credit card. Um... I'm tempted now, because it would push an extra 3 damage and kill this Kem Warren Soldier. Because, like, I don't actually know what else we're doing this round, so, yeah, let's just do that. He has Frostbite. No, not good, but... Give him some juice. Alright, chat. The juice is following me and subbing to me on YouTube, because, yeah, we're trying to get to 100 subs. And I need, I need those subs. We need them. Algorithm be favoring us when we have subs. So this feels so good for us. Actually, wait, that's tempo and tempo and tempo. 
Gas, gas, gas. Thank you. You're an absolute legend. Oh, we're gonna actually do this first, right? Yeah. This one brought, got me good. Alright, come on. We gotta find the two drop Geode Mech Forcer. Oh, we didn't find the two drop Geode Mech Forcer. Um. I guess we're just gonna Earth Shaker. Shake the Earth. I take it back. We're just gonna discard the Earth Shaker and try to find something else. Like the Dune Hopper mech. We just wanna attack really wide here. Strongest enemy? Yo, are you the strongest enemy? Oh, huge. Oh my gosh. This is great. We get the impact now. Massive. I think I said if I get 50 follows on Twitch to by tonight, I'm gonna buy a ring light for my camera so that it doesn't look like this. Cause I have like this weird like LED light pole thing right here. It kind of just sits on the side of my face and it works really well when there's sun out because there's a, a, a window right there. Um, but when there's not, it's just like I'm in this phased line down my face mode. Um, that sucks, Binar. Dark and mysterious. I know, I'm like... I'm in the void. Um, hi, Diego. Oh, that's satisfying. He has a frostbite. And we want him to use it, so we're going to make him use it. No, we, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't. I, keep, yeah, I guess he could have pre-committed it. We'll do this. Yeah, like, like that. And then... Oh wait, that does work. I just realized that... Okay. Sure, this is fine. He he just took it. We're good. We're just gonna, we're just gonna play this? No, we're not. Ten minute in combat. Batman is here. He's basically Batman. Same difference. Okay, let's play a game. Can opponent kill us or stop 17 damage to face? Okay, no. Why do people play Ash, Ash Yego? It's an Ash Yego moment, dude. Like, I'm at 20 health on turn 8, and you haven't done anything at all the whole game. I have never, ever seen Ash Yego work, but I've seen people play it all the time. It's like an Ash Yego moment. But yeah, maybe I'll buy a ring. Like they love coping, right? Well, we're coping pretty hard. But yeah, we are running Echo Nar. What is this? Echo Nar um, Timo? Because we can't. It's all we can run. And hey, it's working. We found a way to make it work. We are about to hit Masters with it. <laughs> just to clarify, if anyone's watching this and is considering running this deck, don't. Unless you just started the game. That's kind of the point. It's a true aggro pile, yeah. Exactly. This is true. Play the cards you like. If you don't care about... I, I don't know. I, I just don't know what the deck does, I guess, is my more of my question. I guess it's just really, really control heavy. Uh, did we keep Mystic Shot around for Jax? No, he has like Elixir Ryan and Catch. Let's do Squeaker. Okay. Um, hi. I would love an FF. Um, okay. Spear. Freezes stuff and kills with SI tools. So it's just... 
Like a slower deck? Chairman's off. Okay, I got you. What about like Nocturne Ash or something? Right? Like, wouldn't Nocturne and then run the um, Fearsome Slay units? Wouldn't that make more sense? Because then everything, things that are Frostbitten can't be blocked by the Fearsome Slay units, and you're already killing units anyway. That's my analysis. Like, why wouldn't you just do that? Okay, I see what you're saying. Makes sense. Um, no takers. I think we'll just discard Tiny Spear. All right, let's see what we find. Oh, well, bye. Um, yeah. Cool. Bye, Teemo. Shadow Tech Walker or Bouncer and Bolt or not? Well, what do we want to pick first? Probably Shadow Tech Walker. Yes. Well, he doesn't want to. We can just like force him effectively to block with uh, Jax here. I'll just win, maybe, on just all this damage. So if we boost up to what? Nah, at least probably just Nar. Well, what if he has um the Bellowing Forge thing, actually? Then we should totally, totally heroic uh, refrain here. I think, we'll I think we'll still do it. I think it's actually fine. We're really, we're really going for the damage here. He'll be at seven. Okay. Then we will play Shadow Tech Walker for an extra three damage. Hopefully be wider than him. Yay, Jax. No. If he has that forge forge card, then we're kind of sad. Well, actually, are we? Because that's like all of his mana. Okay. We will not. We will not block here. Sure. Um. Oh, Mystic Shot, now we just definitely, definitely swing. Full swing. Then, Gnar. He has to block Jax. If he has a Frostbite, he'll use it there. He has double Frostbite. Draw one. He's looking for Frostbite. He's looking for it. Oh, he's big. And no Frostbite. I think we're in the clear, guys. One more match after this. I didn't find the healing forge thing. There you go. Okay, one more match. Then I'm free. <laughs> Maybe. Or we drop down to like diamond three. And I'm in an eternal pit of despair because we're at 98 LP. Diamond 1. 2 LP. Everyone follow, please. Thank you. Thank you, L. I can't read that name. L3rd. Third. Thank you, L3rd, for the follow. Yeah, that would be sick if you. Yeah. Tell the fam. Get them all on here. Traps? Okay, we gotta be traps. So, Karina's on six. That's our worry. Teemo. Our Teemo could be better than his Teemo. 
Scrap Heap could be good. Yeah. Our Teemo can block his Teemo. Because, like, we would rather not him not advance his main game plan than us not advance our side game plan of Teemo. It's like, yeah, we'll, we'll just take that. Yeah, he's not our Teemo now. Let's play Boom Boom. Conscious here. Ideally, if he's gonna ping something, he'll ping this, and then we can play Teemo once he has a Teemo. Because he sees these region combos and probably thinks, okay, we are gonna have like pings galore, and we are not. Maybe we can do some echo stuff. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It's a bot. Um. I think it's just spear. All right, yeah, spear. Um, sure. Play Teemo. I don't think he has a Teemo at this point. Okay. Uh, we'll just pass. See what we get from our draw, and then probably we get a puff cap from our draw. No. Let's see what we find on this. Um, okay. So we're gonna grab Do Not Mech. Not gonna use him right now, though. Yeah. Honestly, we're probably just gonna open right now. Like this. Yep. And even bigger weapon. Derby, that's good for him. Um, okay. Definitely not planning my puff caps, which is good. We have planted more puff caps than the guy playing traps, so that, that says something. Okay. Could play played Echo, but I think we'll just, yeah, let's play him now. Okay, well, Mystic Shot. It's a reason to not. Uh, we'll, just, we'll probably just play Dune Hopper. Oh, he had a trap. Oh, yes, he did. Just Dune Hopper. Oh. Okay, well, we'll just do that, right? Like, let's take four. What's he got? Double Mystic? Nah. It's taking some damage. Is there any reason we could like we could like rummage like this parts made hole on this scrap heap probably not worth it now we're gonna do it if we find no actually it's greedy oh debating debating all the lines think well this is like Karina turn like what's he gonna do if you just like keep going find something bigger like a shadow tech walker play that like what is he gonna do that you have wallop he'll just use that later Explitterator. doesn't matter how does traps punish us Another clockling, not really punishing us. We just have to kind of hold back Teemo for now. Okay, we're threatening lethal now. This is a great blocker for these. Cool. Um, Mystic shot. Right, so there goes our Dune Hopper, but that's a Mystic shot, not on face. And we get to deal with both of his puff cap pups using this Dune Hopper. So we have 11 puff caps. He has an amount. Four. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the we're in a pretty good spot. 
I can see things getting tricky once he has a sump monument, if he gets one. Which he should play this turn, if he does have it, because we'll probably just open. Alright, like... Um, okay, so... I think we're going to Augmented Clockling first, and then Parts Made Whole. Depending on what he does. Poison Dart? Well, good news, our Teemo really isn't doing anything. Clockling. Um... Do we want Mystic, or do we want Blowback? Blowback is technically more... But, like, our hand's so weirdly small with a lot of discard aggro that I think I'd rather Mystic. Just in the situation. Oh my lord, stop! No, what? Okay, we're so glad that we didn't just do that after he had Ava down, because, oh my lord. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> Are we going to lose to that? I swear. That would, that would suck. That's our loss. Because we hit four puff caps on one predicted card. <laughs> okay. Well. Two? Okay. So we're doing four. Five. Let's just... You can see how many puff caps are on each card, right? How do I see how many puff caps are on each card? I can look through my deck and check. How, is there actually a way to do that? Because I do not... If there is... You can. That's tech. You might have just showed tech. If that's true, that's tech. It's so huge. When you predict, you can see? I didn't know that. Okay, that's awesome. I didn't know that. I'll try that next time I predict. Brother. Let's see. Do you think? We can't let him condense. one I think we lose unfortunately I think we lose right because we have one I played this he could have probably condensed if they draw pop cap it's also a tie you're right if we draw if we draw two we're probably dead to one of those pop caps we have to basically say yeah, because that condense is coming down. Alright, we have to draw now. And say that we're not going to find one of those two puff caps. Or those three puff caps. You know? It was a very, very, very close match. <laughs> oh, okay. That was a very good close match. <laughs> we almost had it. But yeah, um, basically we couldn't play uh, couldn't play our two impact guy because we would have gotten just condensed immediately. So yeah, I'm so close. <laughs> but now we know that we can right click to check the puff caps on a prediction. I didn't know that. You learn something new every day. Shen German. All right. I think we want a return revenge, or maybe we just want a full mulligan. This. I'd be like, we'd like one return revenge. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, I kind of think this is actually just good. Because, like, we have plans for the next few turns. We're going to hit just deal four straight up. That's awesome. Okay. Puff caps for everyone. And we will echo. Yeah. Just take four. Echo inbound. Well, uh, that's unfortunate. Um, yeah. Can't swing into that. Play Dune Hopper mech, though. Yikes. Big yikes. Um... I think it's still play Dune Hopper. And he, he kind of limits what he can actually play here. Or drag. Maybe we can do some shenanigans with uh, Heroic Refrain. Warm up. Okay. This is okay. We're fine with this. Because now we can start swinging with our elusives again. You predict. We're going to find. Oh, another Bandle Tell Stones? This could be shenanigan heaven. Right? Do some just crazy heroic refrain stuff. Obviously, this dragon's worrisome. Actually, it might just be Yorl Squire this time. Yeah. Then, yeah, Augmented Clockler. Mystic Shot, cool. Uh, we'll, we'll do Yorl Squire again. Spread out the spears between these two. Get Squeaker up to six, so then... Okay, that, that's worrisome. Definitely a bit worse. So we'll do the we'll spread it out like that. Uh, yeah, because Timo's I guess theoretically weaker. And honestly, I bet he has a barrier card. So that in mind, like if it's just single combat, we just want to do this, and we want to. Try to win off of our elusive damage. If he has single combat, he'll use it now. If he doesn't use a single combat now, he does not have one at all. Okay. Attack with Squeaker. Uh, no, his barrier. I'm. I think. This is my concern. Um, I want to basically survive. Yes, yeah, so if he shields the challenger. Um. No, uh, I don't know why I drag six two. He should drag an elusive. We have another elusive. And then we can Bandle Tell Stones is my plan for winning. Drags like that. So then we do that. Take nothing. Sure. We'd rather that now than like later. Two Clocklings. No, no single, exactly. So now we can kind of play Spirit Refuge. Doesn't have it. Well, basically, we can try to just win on this next open. I think we'll do Mystic Shots so we have enough cards in hand, and it's a little cheaper. We have a blowback already, so we don't. I don't think we need two. Okay. So now we're just going to immediately... Just open like this and heroic refrain. Is 
See, that's nine damage. Just be like, we're doing nine. If you can't stop it. And if he does single combat on something that we could blow back, which is most things, I think the only, th like, Screeching Dragon is an issue. Okay, it goes through. I think we're good. We're good. Um, that would have helped him earlier, but not now. We can just Mystic Shot in response. All right, and if he has Nopify, we have another. And if he has Nopify again for one mana, we have another. Good game. Yeah, he should have. Definitely. All right. Now it's it's once again one more. Wait, did, sorry, did I just see that right? I just want to see this. <laughs> we meet. We reached max vault in one in the first day of playing. Oh my lord! This is a seventeen-hour-old account. Seventeen and a half, I guess, with the breaks. With the stream breaks. Oh. Generous game. Exactly. It's awesome. Now, what do I do with the account after? This is like, because this is on American servers. I should have done some like EU servers. So then I can like play on EU. Then there might be lag. This is my concern. Hopefully, this is the last match. It's finding a good one for us. Everyone, please follow. I'm literally so tired. I am doing this for you guys. I if it, if it were just me, I would have quit. I would have been like, no, I'm going to bed. It's 2.15 a.m. I woke up at like 6.30, I think, today. I'm almost, yeah. I almost been like 20 hours at this point. Whoa. All right. LeBlanc, Ash. I think Mystic Shot's going to be very good for dealing with LeBlanc, so we're going to keep one. And a Parts Made Whole without Return Range. This is just a nice hand, I feel like. Because they have Omen Hawks, like we can't really push too much early game. And we're also not attacking on one, we're attacking on two. So Baboon works. I'm I'm fine with this. The game has decided this is the hand, so this is the hand. We're, we're keeping it. Yeah, like those hawks. Well, we'll block it. Um, yeah. But still. Bah. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Might be able to get through some damage, maybe. Actually, we'll just do, uh, we'll do return wrench here. Pushes three. If he passes, we can probably use Tiny Spear. Push four instead. Right? Actually, if he has a Brittle Steel, that would suck. We are waste. Yeah, I think he does. Just debating it. It's probably not worth it. Okay. Boom, ba boom. Boom, ba boom. Hey there, Trefarian. Um, that is a lot of damage to just take. So we're gonna just do this, and then uh, puff cap pup, right? And then he swings. We block with this, so he's at two, and we can block him later. And. We have parts made whole, so we get to open for like six. Get him Teemo, but I think this is fine. This feels good. This is six. He has to frostbite to stop this. Or reputation strike, which he hasn't required yet. Planning through puff caps.
Oh. Who do I raid if this stream ends in the next, like, half an hour? Who's, who else is streaming? We hope, we hope this ends in the next half an hour. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. <laughs> this could be longer. <laughs> uh, let's do this, and let's play Boom Boom, Boom next round if we can. I think the music, it disappeared. We need it, otherwise I am actually going to fall asleep. Please, dis please don't be disconnected. <laughs> that would be so nice. We'll take it. Like, if... Oh, damn it. Dra almost got him. I think it's boom boom. Yeah, because then they can block the 6 2, then this can block. Well, actually, no, it can't, because Ash. We're taking a bit of damage. Hmm. Also, to take it. And then hold up, blowback, and then kill Ash with blowback. But what's. Oh, they won't. They only reached that many times. I think, I think we're just going to take it. We're not going to be taking it anymore this game. Avoid it. But yeah, for now, we're just going to take it. Okay, we can use Zion Urchin to draw on that risk. We want to make sure that we're able to go as wide as we can here. We could, like, you know, not block this way, but... Is he debating Elixir Rangan, I guess, to save his Trifarian? We'll do Urchin on Flame Chompers. Maybe Echo after um, next turn. Let's see. Let's see at, like, what our board's looking like. Barrels. Wow. Um, either he has a lot of Brittle Steel, or that just makes no sense. He's on Reckoning. He's on Reckoning, and then we'll open it. It's good. Like, that would be kind of wild. you kind of playing like it. I feel like he... Maybe. I think we're still opening now that we drew Yordle Squire, basically. This is a very good open. We'll throw a spear onto Teemo, I guess. Actually, no. We'll throw a spear onto Puff Cap. Pup. The Pup. OGs of the stream, no. Pup has saved us many matches. He, get, he got demoted down to a one-drop just because we really don't need to. But he's a one-drop. And he does things. He kind of holds the spot that Kennen does. He's just like a quick attacker with a good stat line. And he also happens to pair with Teemo, which we have to run because we have no other champions. So, yeah. It's a spear. This should be a lot of damage. I think, I think this should be enough, right? We have five damage and burn. The opponent might have just disconnected. Did opponent disconnect? Did they? Please. Please. Yeah. Please. I need it to happen. We need it to happen. We've lost like half of yours. What the hell? <laughs> I should ask. We went from like 30 to like 16. 
Well, let, okay. Everyone that's here right now gets to see it. Okay, let's go! <laughs> Finally! Oh my lord. I guess it makes sense we don't have many viewers. It's 2.30 in the morning, but hey. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. Oh my lord. That's the run. Is Runeterra the most played card game right now? No, definitely not. That's magic. Twitch time. <laughs> or Twitter. Or whatever. Oh my... Jeez. Yeah, it's the cheapest. <laughs> you want to spend a thousand bucks to play magic. I'm going to bed right here. 17 hours, 10 minutes, and 8 seconds. Masters from scratch account. Awesome. <laughs> that was great. Awesome. I don't... All right, we're gonna send the deck code. So if anyone wants to try the deck that was used to climb, you guys can. Top spear on top of two fifty. No way. I think that's the deck code. That should be it. CQD. Yeah, that's right. Cool. It's jank. What? What? Are, what's technically our ladder placement? One hundred LP. All right, we're like. Top 2,500, I guess, on this random account. Yeah. Let's check these this account stats. All right. So it's Masters with um, one Guardian, one card back, one board, six emotes, no region rows completed, a total of 352 cards, and eight Mastery. That's how you do it. Very low collection completion. <laughs> Yeah. You can see who he used. <laughs> nice. M3 Teemo, M3 Nar, M2 Echo. I'm... I think we're the first person who ever done this. So... I'm very, I'm very happy. I'm glad... Oh, shit. I'm glad that I set up to do this. But I'm going to be honest. I have no idea how much more I can say because I need to sleep so badly. I thought this run was going to be over like three hours ago. That was my hope. But hey, we made it. We're here. Um, if you haven't, follow. I'll buy a ring light. It'll be great. Also sub on YouTube. It's in the Twitch description, I think. Thank you, F. Lauren. Thank you, everyone who's watched this. Because, like, you guys are awesome. And I, I would not have wanted to stream this with no viewers like that was that would have sucked so thank everyone for viewing because this is very fun uh so if anyone wants to try to beat this record uh the setting basically what it is you just start a new account and then like any time that you're spending on the game you just track it so we were able to get to masters with a fresh account not spending money no xbox game pass Nothing in 17 hours, 10 minutes, and 8 seconds. So that does throw it. Then anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. So yeah. That's it. I'm done now. I'm gonna raid. We're gonna see who we're gonna raid.